2023 watch still and uh today it's steam next fest themed um i have always wanted to participate in steam next fest but i've always just kind of been intimidated by how many games are there and you know i'm not like the biggest pc gamer etc cetera, etc cetera. i've kind of put it off for a long time and i'm like you know what i've always wanted to take advantage of this i've always wanted to come on come on here and play a bunch of games for y'all because i know you know a week of time a lot of people have other work to do other commitments can't set aside the time to check out these games so it's like you know one of the many roles i feel like i do play is getting to play the game so you don't have to um you know maybe you don't have time for these demos but you will have time to you know watch this vod watch it on youtube later like however you want to consume it i can talk about it and you know it can help you maybe parse down your time or maybe you have a lot of time to do steam next fest this weekend and you're like i'm either gonna play some of these that you play or i'm gonna you know skip the ones that i saw you play because i already know about them whatever it may be uh glad to have y'all here with me for a long day are we doing a demo Ooh, a demo review score for these we can we can do are we do we want do we want an out of 10 or an out of five i can do an out of 10 or out of five or i can do both um record royalties thanks for being here uh let's kick it off i'm a little scared on how this one's gonna go because i already downloaded it though this should already be in my library I'm really excited about this game, but I am kind of scared. See, it's similar to Lemon Cake. I love Lemon Cake. I have four hours on record for Lemon Cake, but I've played a bunch more on PlayStation. Maybe just my library at this point. Oh, gosh, my million games. Can we do, like, can we search sort by, like, most recent? You can tell I'm not on here very much. Oh, my gosh. There's eight million games in here because I, like, four, I merged libraries with Isaiah, and it's hell on earth. Uh, I think I have five minutes your favorite demo community. the next best thing <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that's cute where how do i find these games can i just okay good enough good enough click on the clock icon for latest okay great i will do that next hopefully the sound's gonna come through on here because it hasn't yet okay here it is okay it sounds cozy and i do have my controller by my side um shoot i forgot to check if this has controller support Let's just do the, let's just do it with mouse. Um, let me put my timer. I'll start with 15 and then, you know, let's do the demo. Nice music. Uh, audio levels may be kind of changing uh, kind of quickly. So I actually hit the space bar. Let me know in the chat if uh, you need it louder, you need it quieter, because different games might have different audio levels. Okay, I might've missed something by accident, but. Okay, so we're in this house. I may I miss like the opening cutscene by accident or something. Ooh. Oh no, what do I do? Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is rotating it. But how do we Oh. Interact zoom in, right? That should be pretty simple. Now I feel like the you're stuck on the thing that's not a puzzle. Could something just be wrong with it? What am I missing here? I must be missing something, right? Should I just like go back and restart? Oh yeah, yeah, it is a bit zoomed in. Thank you for pointing that out. Give me a second. Let me let me uh, redo that. Let me redo that. We'll do for transformation. I want to do. Oh, I might need to hold on. Give me a second here. Let me reset this and then make it. Yeah, it's a little zoomed in just because since I am on my like just desktop. Let me try to. It won't be perfect, perfect, but it should be pretty good. Ooh, maybe just like a tiny more up top. Okay, it's still gonna be a little. It's a little zoomed in, but it's not as zoomed in. Um, no, the screen's not cut off for me at all. Um, let me see. Is that still too much? Maybe. Hold on. I think that's. Pretty much good. I just hate when there's that extra, like, tiny bit of pixels. Okay, I... Mm. 
sorry, I know this is like so boring and annoying to do, but it like bugs the hell out of me when it's like a little too, when you can like see the edges. It's so hard to get it perfect. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think that's like pretty good. Right? right? I think that's pretty good. Not, now I kind of want to look at it. Sorry, y'all. This is dull to look at, but I think it's good. Is it good? Love it. Print it. Okay. It's like so tough because like the pixels are so small. Okay. I think we are okay. All good. I do the same thing. I <laughs> appreciate it. All right. Let's reshow this. Here we go. Okay. Now it's at least much better as far as the width and everything. Okay. Let's let's start this again. Let me not click space by accident. Okay. A fresh start is exactly what I need. A new chapter in my life, a slower pace, a smaller town. I wonder what Paco Pacoe will be like. The advert husband didn't say much. Seems too good to be true. Any Super Bowl plans? Just watching at home, you know, chilling with my family, eating wings. So what about y'all? I hope this isn't a scam. Now arriving in Pacoe. <laughs> okay, so kind of an Animal Crossing intro star style. Oh, we're arriving now. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Time to start a new adventure. Okay, yes. So something definitely went wrong before. One thing I don't like about this is the animals. Something about the art direction for the animals creeps me out. Howdy there and welcome. Yeah, maybe I clicked free play uh, before. I haven't seen you around before. You must be new to our town. My name is Taffy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Is this the best place ever? Trick question, it definitely is. You're in the demo or -er town of Pacoe. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're currently undergoing some renovations, so it isn't quite like the brochure, but I'm sure it'll be in tip-top shape in no time. It's a small town filled with passionate tea makers. There's all kinds of tea houses here to satisfy whatever tea cravings you might have. Very tea house expecting you owner soon, arriving on the train, actually. Oh, it's me. That's me. I'd love to get to know you better. If you can follow this quick form, it'll help me. Okay. So we gotta go quick. Oh, cute. Um, it is in the winter. And this is the date or what? I guess. She, her. Cute. Okay. Um, yes, the check. Those eyes have seen some things. <laughs> Points for pronouns. Yeah, I always appreciate the pronouns included. Wow, thank you, Jan Garcia. Oh, why did I put my fucking full name in this game? <laughs> oh man, sorry, I clicked out of this. Why did I default put my full name in this game? That was un really unnecessary. I run the local post office, so I see a lot of handwriting. If you don't mind me asking, what drew you to our town? Uh, let's say to be closer to nature. Great, I've made a note of that. Why don't we go inside and take a look at the tea house? Oh, crumbs, you don't have anything unpacked yet, do you? You have to need some teaware before you can make tea. Here, I thought you'd like this rustic tea set. You have received the starter, the rustic starter tea set. You'll need some tea and a few ingredients to get started, too. Let me help. Okay, you got some tea, you got some sugar cubes, you got milk. Now you can start making some tea. And really, this is the big part that has drawn me to this game. Oh, sugar cookies. Great Grandma Toffee says I'm a little overenthusiastic sometimes. I just love pakoe and tea. Uh, did you want to make some tea now or settle in? Uh, let me settle in first. Oh, uh, let's make the tea then, I guess. Because it's the tutorial. Okay. I'm like, we're going. We only got so much time. We gotta, we gotta move. All right. Now it's working the way. Okay. Should pack my furniture and teaware. So much to do. Why don't I make a to-do list? Keep track of it all. Cute. Oh, it's kind of weird that it's like off in the side, like that. I mean, how, can I like? Oh, okay. Sure, you can pin it at least. So. He's at the window. To the window. Okay, cute. Uh, clearing clear dust optional. I do like the little dust clouds. They are cute. Okay. It's Pico. 
Am I saying that right? Pico? Pico. Great, thank you. I appreciate that. That is the hardest thing about when there's not voice acting. Like, I have no idea how to say this. Now we can start making the tea. This is, okay. Excited to teach you. Excited to learn. Now this, what we're seeing here, this overhead view, this is like what I've kind of expected. If you want a closer look, zoom it, you know, scroll in. Around, click and drag. <laughs> the scroll wheel button to look around, okay. Simple enough. Let's get started by filling the kettle with water. Left click the kettle to pick up, to pick it up and move it to the dispenser. Okay, I just need the one click and then you like. Oh, okay, cute. Okay, uh, it definitely is barely under the dispenser, but it's all generally there. It means high quality black tea made from young leaves. It's pronounced uh, medulla oblongata. <laughs> um, it's a pronounced amygdala. Funnily enough, I can rounce those. Okay. Clear the dust. Off. I thought I did clear the dust, but. So now we pick this up, put it back. Okay. Water should be hot enough to reach 70 degrees. Want to boil. Okay, sure. Can I put the lid back on? Is it just gonna. Oh. Oh. Oh no. I don't think it went in. Did it go into here? Like, I'm picking it up, right? That's a click. Maybe I have to, like... I think I, like, put eight bags of this tea in there. Oh, shoot. It's way too hot. Do I stop it? Wait, how do I stop it? Oh, no. I think I'm definitely burning this tea. Oh man, I didn't listen to the cat enough, y'all. What do I do? The pressure. The pressure. 110. This is like too hot, right? Is it possible to be too hot? Can I ask them another question about this? Also, we have like a little bit of a bug here. Do you put it in the mug? That's what I'm thinking, but... So I'm clicking with like the left button. Man, y'all, I don't think I don't think this is it. I'm sad, sad to say. Again, demo. There's still time. Definitely a couple little um, UI stuff, but maybe clearing the dust isn't optional. I did clear the dust though, too. That's the thing. And I can't leave this area. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. We can figure this out. We're pro gamers here. I click on this and nothing happens. I right click. Can you throw the mug? No. I'm clicking on the mug. I do one click. I try to move. I do a click and drag. May I have to put the tea? Oh! Oh my god, I'm dumb. No shit. No fucking shit. You put the bet. Yes. Why was I trying to put it into the tea itself? I don't know how to make tea. I got the stress of it all mounted. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. With milk and sugar, okay. You don't want to fill the cup all the way. You should leave a little room, okay. Okay, thank God. Oh my God, wow. What a stressful series of events it was for a second here. Okay, so how do I pour it though? Can I just like, and do I have to put in the cream and sugar? Everything, every step of this has been a struggle. Just get down to the basics. Yeah, I don't know why I was putting the tea in the boiling water, because that's definitely not how you make tea. And I actually do make tea. What game is this? This is Pico. Oh man, I don't know how to do this. Can you put the lid on the teapot? I cannot. Like, what is up? Maybe tip it? I can't tip it though, because it's just a mouse. Yes, it's very cute looking, but it's just like, it is not, maybe I'm just a little dumb. I think we've established that a couple times on the channel. What? It disappeared. 
It disappeared. It disappeared. All right, y'all. Look. And I know I re I'm reading the tutorial quickly, but look, y'all, we tried. We gave it a go. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Okay. No, it's okay. Okay, hold on. How do I pour it, though? Oh, okay. Hold pour. Oh, my God. Finally. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got it. I think the there's some issues with, like, the button prompting not coming up. The way you'd expect. Now it's steep. You can change the color. The watercolor start. Well, you can see the watercolor start to change. Once it's done, click left to remove the tea bag and add any other ingredients. Okay. Okay, I removed the tea. Next, you want to add sugar while the tea's hot so it dissolves faster. Click the sugar bowl to pick up the cubes. Okay, I love sugar. Could you please add it to my cup? If you add too much water, you can right click and remove it. Okay. 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 Okay, we're moving now. We're moving now. Wait, I... Should I add more sugar? How much sugar do I add here? Do I stir it now? Like, how do I... I mean, I added the sugar. Let's just put... Oh, they wanted a lot of sugar. Okay. Yuck tea. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like tea, but... I don't have it with sugar or milk or anything. I just... I just drink it, like, regularly. Just plain. Finally, let's get everything to stir. Left click the spoon to pick it up and bring it to the teacup and then right click to stir. Wait, hold on. Hold to stir, okay. Okay, here we go. Now that's all us, boom. Not a fan myself. There, it looks pretty sweet. If I do say so myself, okay. Okay. When you're happy with the tea you've made, you can present it. Oh shoot, if I should zoom out. Nice and sugary, just the way I like it. Towns folks with Pico, Pico love tea and good conversation. All right, this one was a no for me. I would say out of, we said out of five we want to do this, right? Is that what we had said? I think we said out of five. So out of five, I would say, oh man, I guess, I mean, if I'm going by my scale, where three is good, two is okay, what I would say like a one out of five, frankly. It just didn't control very well. I'm here today, I'm ready for Paranoid. I don't know if I'm playing Paranoid, but I do have it in my wish list. Yeah, it just didn't quite control well. Like, I don't think it showed well for the demo. Um, yeah, yeah, this one, this one did not land for me, unfortunately. Um, so we can go to the clock for the stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, let's jump in now to Planet of, is it Lana? Lana? See, Ben has played 10 minutes of this, so expectations are high. That's the same, I was looking forward to this. I mean, it could still be good. Not necessarily gonna unwish list it, but. That demo did not make me want to continue, um, is the thing, so. Oh yeah, Lana phrasing. <laughs> Lana, Lana. I don't know which one. Okay, best play with a gamepad. That's great because I play best with a gamepad. Please know this is a demo and, you know, may not reflect the quality and there's bugs and stuff like that. Yeah. So. Okay. Hopefully this takes. Sometimes it doesn't read the controller right away. Okay. Settings. I just want to see if there's like a subtitles thing. Graphics. Frame rate unlimited. Okay, this seems fine. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I should add you on Steam. Yeah, yeah, go for it. 
just because I know you like outside of being someone in my Twitch chat, but um. Okay, very excited about this one. I'd say fairly anticipated. Published by Thunderfall. Love the weird mouse cat. So it is Lana. <laughs> yeah, the inside vibes from the trailer, yes. Yeah, music's cute. I think this, oh wow, this is the art, at least right now on the demo build. It's very um, kind of almost painting-like. It's a lot more painting-like than I thought it was from the trailer. Okay, B to stop. Ima. Ah. Hola. Ima. Hola, Ima. Ima. Let's see. Hey, what's up, Zen? How's it going? Uh, this is Planet of Lana. Is that what we established? Is it Lana? So I'm guessing there might be times where you would want your little buddy to stop, maybe for like puzzle solving stuff. Uh, controls well. Comfortable jump, like it, it controls exactly how it looks. So pretty comfortable, pretty natural. Okay, so now here's a context where we would have them stop, I guess. Oh, shit! <laughs> ha! I thought some of it would, like, unravel. You know, when I was doing that, but... Oh god, how far back did they put me? Yeah, get some whelps in the chat. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh! Oh, now I understand. Now I understand. Wait. Oh, no, hold on. I gotta, I gotta get him on here, though. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cute. And then, oh! I got scared. I got so scared. I got like, cute pet goes a long way for me. Me too, and I, I, I love some, uh, kind of that puzzle platformer angle. Hey, I'm so sorry. I actually sent a question mark in your chat. No, it's all good. I was like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> I didn't think anything of it. Uh, I have a the same keyboard for work. I'm listening to your stream while working. Uh, happy early Valentine's Day to you and everyone here. Oh, yeah, thanks. Very sweet. Uh, glad to have you here. Always happy for the lurk. Uh, hope work's going good for you. There's something kind of nice about like these really like straightforward kind of simple puzzles. I can also see it like building in cool ways. Well, I'm curious if we can go down to the bottom. I'm still kind of getting used that it's like, oh, which one is to stop, which one's to follow. Or maybe we have to go here. Man, I thought it was finding like cool secret stuff. This is just the critical path. It's always kind of sad when it's actually just the critical path. I'm like, oh, I thought I was like, Pro gaming right here. Is he there? Where is he? Ima. Olai. Oh, here he goes. Okay. I like that on the top left screen. They show like what their action is, like if it's if the pet's moving or not. Maybe I have to try to like make space for him or something. Yeah, it's like no, that's what you have to do. I'm like, whoa. Oh. 
shoot, where is he now, though? Crap. I messed up. Well, where, where did he go then? Because I was supposed to just leave him up there. But I had actually, like, called him down. So I don't know if he's just, like, waiting for me on the ground or, like, what happened. I'm concerned. Oh, no. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> oh, dang. I know. Good luck find figuring out the pronunciation of all the games. Y'all. I messed up. I messed up. Game is available in your fantasy crack if the download looks promising. Hey. You said it on me, but yeah, I mean, doesn't hurt to get some, uh, titles in there, but... Oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, he was just, like, scared. Okay, it's fine. Or rather, like, I probably told him to stop right when he was, like, not visible. I'm not sure if, the, if this demo is just the opening of the game, which it seems like it would be. Okay, so what is it? L and hold RT? Okay. Wait. What happened? Hold on. Something happened. What? Hold on. I don't know if the controls got, like, wonky for a second. Let me unplug my controller and plug it back in. Oh, no. God, no. No, Xbox, no! My Xbox turned on. Give me a second. I'm gonna have to just unplug it. Sorry, Xbox. I can't- I can't have- I can't have you interfering! Okay. Oh, it's like a- hold on. Kind of confused. Oh! You can kind of, like, have... ...command the pet to do- go up to different places? This is cool. But now I'm just scared the pet's gonna die in the game. Is my only thing. Oh, sorry. That was just- that was my- that was all me. Can I turn more to- yeah, here we go. It's not even that big of a jump, but... There we go. Yeah, it's because the Xbox is, like, right by here, and this controller is mostly for that, um... Hola, I'm muy. So sometimes you do have to call him over, like, I think he defaults to kind of follow you, but... Oh. Oh my god. All right, that's not what we were supposed to do. It says... Oh. Oh, so you can just... Okay, this is much safer. This is much safer. <laughs> can I just call? Oh, what? 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 Okay, that was like a weird control thing because... I definitely did not just walk off the cliff to the left. Wait, what's happening? What's happening? Why is this automatically happening? What is happening? Okay, this has to be like some type of bug or something. Okay. I don't know what that was, but we're going to try to get it together. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Glitch Town Population J. I mean, yeah. Everything works until, like, you have to let people do it on their own. It's tough. It's a tough gig. We have the easy part. We're just playing the games. All right, here we go. It really is probably just the controller, like, maybe weirdly desyncing and things, but... I do have it hardwired for this reason, because I don't trust the uh, Bluetooth to connect properly on my PC. So I always just plug the Xbox controller directly into it. 
Oh, we can stop crouching. This is cool so far, you know? It's not um reinventing the wheel, but I personally really love games like this. This is very much in line with my taste, so... Oh. Oh no. Dude, yeah, there's this weird thing happening where I keep going all the way to the left, and I don't know why that is. I think it's just a my controller thing. Didn't hear the music till just now. Um, I think they've had some throughout. But maybe it's been kind of quiet in some spots? Oh. Weird. Oh, is this thing gonna try to kill me, or...? Maybe if, like, my pet stays there? <gasps> that was all me. That was my bad. That was my bad. He was too close. He was too close to the edge. Okay, so this thing definitely will kill me if left to his own devices. No, 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 no. Maybe if I just have him stay there, I can walk around. I think that's how it'll work. Hopefully this isn't like too far away for me to be able to do it. Make the jump. And the question is how I'm gonna get my buddy up here though. Can I just call him up here? I'm scared that that won't work, so. I mean, it's got to because he's like not here, so let's just try it. If he dies. Oh, God. Okay. Great, great. Excellent. I was thinking he could do something with this. Yellow. Oh yeah, so I'm, I'm assuming that this is just the Yellow. beginning of the game. But I would love to see like some of the diversity of the regions Yellow. in this. Yellow. We probably won't because I think it is really probably just the early levels. Which from a teaching the player perspective is like a pretty safe route to go. I'm not sure, because I want- okay, wait, so what does it say? L and RT hold, okay, so... Where do I want him? Do I want- do I want him here? I imagine I want him to touch the thing, but... Tomaki. Yeah, I'm wondering if I can. Yeah, the cage back there. If I can do anything, but I don't. I don't know that I can do anything in that with the cage. Like I don't see anything that I can interact with. Yeah, I, I was wondering about that too. If that would be like a new buddy, but not that I can see. Um, how am I gonna get him up there though? Can I just call him up there and he can just jump it? Oh, he has hops. Yeah, he's he's doing great. I do love that they just kind of jump you, just throw you in immediately. Let's see what's going on here. What's down this hole? Is it death? No, it's not death. It's something else. 
Oh, look at the little yawn. Hello. Ooh, so okay, already 15 minutes in. I'm gonna uh, put that a 10 minute timer to try to do a bit more. See, I can't move right now, like. Come on now. I don't know why this controller. I don't think it's the controller itself, but I do have tend to have like these weird little connection issues. Okay, give me a second here. Come on. Oof. Please! The worst. There we go, there we go. Hola. Hey, I don't know why the scrubs dance isn't appearing. That's weird, right? That's, that definitely should appear. Huh. Yeah, that's so... You know what? I wonder if it's broken. If, like, the thing I used for it just, like, went down. Yeah, sorry about that, y'all. Um, I'll have to... Let me really quick... Is this, is this like... Wait. Where does this get connected to? I'll have to refund those later. Um, here's the thing. It's not, like, through a source. It's just, like, um... Actually, is it? Uh, actually, wait, no, it is through a source. Um, yeah, yeah, if you could refund them. I guess I could. Let's see, what it would be? Gifts, I guess? But I'll have to do that after this, because I don't have to replug in my mouse. But, yeah, maybe... Hopefully it's not broken forever. Yeah, that has, that has never happened before. Very odd. Ooh, I like this. I'm a little scared though, too. Okay, we got this. Oh, maybe can we get the our buddy to go up to the top? And then to cut this? Yep. Oh, thanks. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this turns this off. Maybe we can do... Then maybe we can do, um... I think they did a pretty good job tutorializing everything, though. Bamaki. Yeah, it does sound kind of like uh, it has Spanish basings. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to get... I want to get him over... I don't know if y'all can see kind of where I want him to be at. Because I want him to cut this piece of... Um, why does this keep happening? Should I switch controllers or something? Like, I don't know what's up with this. Maybe it's because I'm using just like a random USB, USB-C? Maybe it's the cable? I don't know what it is, but... I'm getting a lot of like little disconnections. Okay, let's see. Um, I wonder if I ask him to... Yeah, he comes back down is the thing. Could be the game itself, but I don't know. I... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, wait, I almost had it. Bamaki. But can he fit in there? Because how is he going to get in there is the only thing. Shoot. I have to figure out how to break this. Oh, can we, like, push it already and, like, open it? No. Hmm, okay, first actual puzzle puzzle. In terms of having to figure- first thing that's puzzled us. I imagine I have to pull those boards out, but how would I- Oh, I think I have an idea. I think... It would turn this back on. 
Oh no. Ema. No, just stay there. Just stay there. Don't die, please. But will this shock me? No. Okay, good. Then I figure I pull these boards out. Yeah, for him. All right, from a tutorial perspective, they, they did a great job teaching you how to play this. Um, it's it comes together very nicely. But it still feels kind of interesting. I feel like it has enough elements that are... Pamaki. Like, as soon as I saw this, I, like, knew what I had to do. You know, because they had just taught me all the pieces I needed. Yeah, you say Vamaaki uh, to go there and Vamaaki Moi to go somewhere further. Reminds me of Portuguese having adjacent things. Yeah, closer, further. Yeah, maybe it is, um... It, I mean, it seems like it has those base, the a uh, basis in that, in those languages, but Olá. even Ola kind of sounds like Ola, but yeah, I'm not sure. I try, I tried hitting A. It didn't, it didn't go. I thought I hit A. Well. See, so yeah, it's automatically going again. Maybe I'll, you know, I'll try a different cable. Maybe something about this cable does not connect well to my PC. I do have a couple other cables that I could try. So let's just do this like nice wire cable. Because normally it isn't too bad. And it could could be the game, but I don't know. I feel like it might just be the controller being funky, but... All right. Hmm, game publisher is Sweden. I don't know anything about Swedish. <laughs> That's fair. I'm like waiting for the other shoe to drop. Oh, I will say though, to your point, Ash, there isn't, the OST is very like minimal, like right now. Oh God. I felt like something dramatic was gonna happen. Like, can you feel the drama? Okay, go, go, go. Run, run, y'all. Oh, no. Oh! Go, 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 go. Is there a run button? Bro. Go, go, go. It's, it is really cute touch to have them whisper the directions now. Briskly jog from the danger. Oh god, you stupid bitch. Come on now. <laughs> it's like this little kid. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh my god. I just can't get myself to face like the proper direction. Like I would think this would be good, but then it's just like, I don't know. I struggle I struggle with that. I'll put that on me. That could be a me thing. Okay. Yeah, there I don't think there's a run button, so it's like this is just as quick as I can go. <laughs> Well, we're coming up on time, but I do like that we got we're getting to see a little bit more of what else the world has to offer and leaving just like that initial forest area.
Hold on. Okay. You can't really save because it's just a demo. All right, y'all. That was Planet of Lana. I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, did about 25 minutes. Time honestly flew by. Uh, really enjoyable. I would say again, we're trying to do an out of five. Uh, I would give it a three out of five. Good. Good demo. Seems like a good game. Um, I think I could I could see it being great. That's how you get ants. Um, but you know, as is, kind of just, yeah, the Archer fans over here. Any Archer fans out there? You know, I, I haven't personally watched uh, Archer, so can't, can't chime in on that one. Um, let's see. This one I think could be a quick one. Shumi, come home. You're a little mushroom guy. This is all going to just be based on is, does the mushroom guy control well? Like that's the entire basis of this game. I think if it has that, it'll be cute. It'll be cool. Uh, there we go. Maybe we're not play the demo. It let's you play the first half of the main level. Please consider sharing feedback. If you enjoy the demo, you want to get notified five releases. Cool, cool, cool. Options. I think we're fine. I think we're just good to go. All right. Let's see how it is. Oh yeah, we wanted me to refresh the... Um, to refresh the uh, the gifts, potentially. Um, I don't know how I can, how do I, can I refresh a, I don't know if there's really a way for me to refresh them. Refresh cache of current page, I guess. I hit refresh. I feel like I didn't see any feedback on it. Is the thing. Oh, here it goes. I'll do it again so where it's not like 80 of them. Okay, cool. I guess it just like went out for a second. All right, back to it. Um, there we go. Shumi is also in the forest and needs to find a way home. Some locals mentioned a tunnel that could be oh, the way out. Cracks me up every time I'm glad. Hey, Xbox controller. Okay, using a controller recommended. Sprint if unlocked. Uh, we'll sense it, you know. I guess you have to unlock sprint. It controls well. Controls fine. You know, you're you're walking around. Uh, the the jump's fine for I think the kind of game it is. It's um definitely really has like a bouncy quality to it. Um, but it feels like responds appropriately. She may come back. You can blame it all on me. Hey, sigh. What a shame. Oh, it's weird. It's X to like progress the text boxes. Is everything okay? I'm afraid not. It looks like. This is the only restored shrine now. Where are the shrines for? Oh, you must not be from around here. These shrines bring us luck. It's said that if the right flower is placed in the center, the forest will grant you good luck. Oh, that's the forest. Yes, very indeed. But if only the others were restored. Oh, well. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for them. Very kind of you, little mushroom. Cute. I like the little, um, kind of additional... Assets kind of fluttering around. Okay. Is this guy? Oh my, another mushroom species? Uh, yeah. What species are you? The sh Shumi species, I guess? Shumi? This is a new one for me. I must record all my findings, but alas, I can't do anything without my writing tool. What do you mean? Well, I'm a mycologist or something? I recorded my mush, my research of mushrooms in my journal, but I'm unable to uh, record any data. My writing tool is way the way. Hmm, maybe I can find you another one. You do that for me? Sure. I'll be here if you happen to find one. Okay. Ancient passage. Sup. This tunnel way forward, the other side? Yeah, you can't get through though. Why not? Cuz, 
There's a big old fella there taking a big old nap. I gotta get passed through. I'm really lost. I'm just trying to get back home. Have you tried waking it up? Kinda. Tried to move it earlier, but I just wanted food or leave. Okay, cool. So, very like traditional little mission structure. Um, sorry, I'm kind of just like speeding through some of the dialogue. Blueberry here, just for the sake of time. I think someone's hoarding it. Myrtle Pool. They do the classic, uh, you know, highlighting the information. Green crystals everyone's obsessed with. Thanks, yep. Um, let's see. Item skins, that's why. Okay, just getting a sense of some of the controls. In motion. There should be actually you saying sure. Um, I would love one of Isaiah saying sure, because that's where I got it from. Eventually I want to add in like more voice redemption stuff. Like the little sparkly sound. Here's the writing tool. Oh, toad because of the mushrooms. Okay, cool. That's three minutes of toad. Let me put the timer on. Three minutes, toad. Oh! Boy! Makes me feel academic! Ah, I'm sure I look a lighter! Here I go! We're in myrtle pools! This should be where the blueberries are! Blueberries! Ah, ah. Wow! Ah! It's perfect! Oh, yay! Okay, so this is pretty cool. You have like these little... It's like a little, the little... If y'all climb the little like... Things that you dig into to climb. I think you can only do it once though. I don't know if you can just like climb up with that after you latch on. I don't think you can go up higher after that. Like it's like just a little... A little way to latch on a bit, but... We'll just say that there's stamina. So I'm wondering how to move up. Uh, maybe options? Maybe look at the controls again? Oh! Uh, let's just look at controller mapping just to see how to do it. Okay, so... Jeez, okay. Ah! Uh, jump glide, move right, move up, down. I mean... Oh! Uh, I don't know how I'd go up here. I don't know. I did the glider comes out automatically, that's good. You should just call... Honestly, I've thought about just changing it to the Toad Voice Redemption, because... Most people pick Toad. Some people pick Luigi. I don't like it being Luigi having a Luigi option. Some people pick Mario as well. But honestly, some characters, like, I just don't even know what to do for them. Like, sometimes people will be like, I'll be Donkey Kong. I'm like, I'm not being Donkey Kong. He doesn't really say anything. He just goes like... Woo, what do do what do do Like, I don't know. Yeah, Yoshi as well. So that's why I'm like, I guess I'll just leave it to the Mario characters, you know? Um, oh no, I'm out of stamina! Oh, okay. Um, so far, I like this. It's cute, it's simple, it's whimsical and fun. <laughs> um, but genuinely, yeah, it's got like a nice, you know, vibe to it, controls well. Uh, structure similar to, you know, short hike, little gator game. This kind of like Zelda E. A 3D platformer vibe, exploration. You see little character buddies. You're hanging out. We haven't got a lot done yet. Well, let's give that guy his... He got his pencils. Got his pencil back. Pencil back. Did he, oh, no. This is the wrong guy. Never mind. Nothing yet. Oh. Um, the other guy. I'm trying to remember where he's at. He's here. Here he is. Here he is. We're going to do it. If I have something you can use. At least I think so. Here you go. Holy mushroom. Oh, hold on one second. I want to move my mouse up here for a second. Okay, hold on. Wait. Just kidding. I can't move my mouse fully up there because I have to click back on the thing. Okay. That was the toad voice. There you go. Um, The blueberries. Okay. <coughs> it's hard to get back, you know, after a while. You saved me, little shoomy. This is going to continue my research. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like this. Ecology. Who's that? Listen carefully. Every time you come in contact with a new mushroom, a new entry will appear in your journal. You can read each entry and learn about the mushroom. Sounds pretty neat. I've never been able to learn about my kind. There's much to discover. Little shoomy. Learn about your amazing species. Cool, and then you get like a little thing. Um, I don't know if I can pick up this flower for the... Yeah, for the... These things. Oh, I love that sound. Great sound design. Very like Korok seed vibes from that. You found a spore. 
I feel a strong energy from within. Also, it's sticky. The art's like super charming too. I love the little like semi Naruto run that comes from the, the little arms being out. I don't think I have um like a run a run unlocked thing. But yeah, this seems like really really up my alley. Um Ooh, love the bounce pads for the um some of the flowers. I think that's very cool. I think setting wise it kind of actually is like a, a pastel y pixely grounded vibes, you know, with it kind of being uh in nature, but also having a couple I think remnants of humanity throughout it with like some litter, frankly, you know, stuff like that. And collect these little guys. We'll see if we collect enough, something happens. And I just love games like this where it just feels very natural to go around and explore and you kind of without even trying too hard can solve most of the objectives. Yes, exactly. That's that's literally just the comparison I just made to it because it has that kind of structure to it. And it's a structure that I find really appealing personally. Um, again, you know, these are demos. These are quick hits of these games. I'm kind of just going around because I'm just going to explore a bit and we'll kind of stumble upon stuff as it naturally comes to us. Sort of how like we found like this flower for the shrine. We found the guy's pencil already. Um, Similar to uh, Planet of Lana. I think it's Lana, right? Anyway, Planet of Lana. It's like, based on this alone, a little too hard to be like, oh, it's great. Like, this is a banger. But this makes me really excited for this game. I am looking forward to the full release. Like, I think it's going to be a really fun, pleasant time. And I kept, uh, because at... Uh, yeah, Lana, because Ash kept referencing the character in Archer. Um, right, right. I, I've not seen Archer, so, like, I got no reference point there, but I get it. I feel it. I'm picking up what you're putting down, even though I don't have the full context for it. But yeah, this controls really well. Like, with a game like this, um, I was a little nervous going to play the demo because so easily I could tell, like, oh, if it doesn't feel right, it's not gonna... It's, it's over. Like, if it doesn't feel right, it's this game is co completely contingent on moving around, being comfortable, and, like, it controls really well. The structure is super fun. I'm down for this. Danger zone. Archer again. No, it's all good. It's all good. I probably should watch it at some point. I've seen clips on TikTok. Hey, hey, see any purple curses around here? Well, I... Because if you have, bring them to me. Why? I know how to use them. That's why. They're special, don't you know? I don't know. Then listen carefully. You bring me some of those purple crystals and an augmenter to go with it, and I'll give you a new mushroom look. That's fun. Power of crystals is cool. I think the writing is, like, really charming as well. Costs nothing. Twelve. That's cute. I love when they add customization to games like this. Shows pretty funny, and it goes places in later seasons. Yeah, it seems like it, uh, there's some, like, darkness to it. I've seen some of the clips on TikTok, and that's kind of it. If we find the augmenter, we can get a new hat. See how much time do we have left? I like that you kind of have like a little mining bit. We got at least like five minutes left. I can go longer and I'm tempted to, but I think I want to get through so many games. And like at this point, I already have that sense of, yeah, this is awesome. I like it. You know, playing more, I might gain a deeper appreciation for it. But without playing the whole game, I don't think I'll be able to see much of like the shortcomings either. So I don't think I'm gaining like a lot of new information playing more. Um... But, you know, I'm down to um, check it out for a little bit longer just to fill out the 15 minutes. And I am having a good time. I think it, you know, it it's well laid out. You have like these little signs, too, which are helpful in games like this where you don't have the map. It's really important to have like those little bits of signposting. I'm trying to see where I want to go next. Oh, I hear something. There's some like really nice sound design in this game, too. Um... Okay, so this is another shrine. We need, like, an orange flower for this. I think, too, like, I appreciate that a lot of this just makes sense. Like, oh, the, the, these have flowers, and the flowers are going to be the colors of, like, the things that were here. Myrtle pools. This is where we can find many of the blueberries. This might be a blueberry. Oh, man, what a vibe and day. Yeah, it's really nice out. Hanging by the water with my bluebee that I worked so hard to get. Yes, sir. It doesn't get better than this. Bluebee? Yeah, man, you know, Bluebee? Sure for Blueberry? Oh, 
Oh wait, which I'm gonna uh, be able to give me one? I really need it for something. Give me my bluebee? Man, I love this thing. I don't think I can just give it up. Oh, I understand, but I've been vibing with those green crystals lately. Down for a trade, little mushroom dude? 60. Hold up, man. Those are short crystals. Come back when you have at least 60. Can I see how many I have? Res what does he want? He wants the green ones. Okay. This guy seems like he's taking drugs. He definitely has, like, the stone- some stoner vibes to him. 60! Yeah, 60's a lot. Seems a little expensive for what it is, but... I like these little guys. Look at them, they're just hanging out. Hey, hello! My senses are tingling. Yes, yes. I'm trying to collect these old circulator something from past civilization. Oh, they're coins! <laughs> oh, uh, good luck with that. I'm sensing two more relics in this area. I really need them for my research. Where are they? Hmm. I sense they're somewhere higher up too high for me to reach. Why oh, my arm's so short? Take it easy. I can find them for you. Oh, well, thank you, kind stranger. Don't thank me yet. Let me see if I can get them first. How many did you say there were again? Two. According to my senses. I'll be back then. Yeah, they kind of do. Some of them do look like Pikmin. I don't know if I have, like, the ability to climb high enough for these at this point. I am wondering if I'm, like, messing up the climbing. If I can, like, go higher than I think. Ooh. I want this game. Hope it's not only on Steam. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what their plans are currently. Seems like it'd be great for Switch. Um, you know, I know the... Y'all who have a deck could deck this up, and I think it'd fit really nicely there. I have access to a deck, I just don't have my own, because I'm- uh, Isaiah has one that I've used a little bit. Okay, can I, like... Ooh, I was trying to see if I can just latch onto this rope. Maybe I can't. Let's just try to go over here. Okay, I'm hearing a sound. That's gotta mean something. Hey, Ancient Rana, is it worth anything? Eh, who knows? Like, there's some nice playfulness to a lot of, um... The writing so far. Oof! See, so can I, like, climb up this rope? Or maybe I can just go up this way. Yeah, here we go. Oh, but I did this already. This is how I, like... Oof! See, can I climb up this rope? I guess not. All right. Fair enough. Try to see how I can see my my book or something. Try to see how I can see the book, like my in, my log. Hmm. I don't actually know how I can see my log, but all right, y'all. Uh, that was. Hold on. Sorry, I want to read the name of the game. That was Shoo Me Come Home. Shoo Me Come Home. Come blame it all on me. Uh, fire. I loved it. Um, super cute. I'm always a big fan of just games like this where you're like going around and exploring. You're a little character in a kind of big world or you're so small that the world is just big to you. Controls really well. Structure seems, fu seems fun. If you're someone that liked Little Gator Game, A Short Hike, um, even to a degree, Tinykin, I think you will probably really enjoy this game. Um, given this demo, a three out of five. It's not necessarily, yeah, would you give it five? No, I would not. Um, something would have to, frankly, huh, I don't know if any demo will get a five out of five for me for the demo. That's pretty high. I'd have to seal something really wild from it. I think it's good. Um, I love it like a five out of five, but it is a three out of five. Like, oh, it's good. Could it be great? Absolutely. Could it hit that five out of five status? I could see a world where that would happen because I think Little Gator Game is potentially a five out of five game to me. Same as a short hike. Um, but based on this alone, that's a little too too hot. I don't want to go that hyperbolic with it. But I really enjoyed it. I think I'm going to love the hell out of this game when it comes out. So really happy with that result because I was just not sure how it would control. And I think it controls really, really well. Um, Let's see what we want to do next. Let's do, um, hmm. Let's try to switch up the style a bit. Is this game, does this game have um, single player? So it's gonna be on Switch, I'll definitely get it. Um, it does a single player. This one's uh, way different, so like, let's take a look at this one. Uh, this is Super Raft Boat Together. It's, I, th 
oh god i think it's like rogue is it rogue it's kind of like wave based let's just see it it's like wave based gameplay you're it also has like a crafting element to it um i think it's really cool that this has multiplayer functionality i believe it also supports local multiplayer but don't totally quote me on that because i'm not 100 percent sure shattered journal games Okay, anything wonky or you have an awesome suggestion, let us know. Oh, let me also, um, I think I'm gonna go on my like little standing board. Okay. Uh, let me move my chair out of the way so that I don't end up, so it's gonna be, oh uh, wait, no, I read that already, just kidding, just kidding. Oh, just in case people are curious, because we kind of had some of these conversations, like, on Twitter, if you follow me there, about, like, you know, trying to have better posture, better core strength, like, have better, like, back health or whatever. I use this little, it's like a little board. It's kind of like the, the little snowboard peripherals for, like, the Wii. Um, and, yeah, you can kind of, like, go left and right. Um, is your back messed up? Get a cutting board. Yeah, I've had this for a while. I just don't use it that often. I'm like, oh, I should probably start using it more to like move a bit. And I like took off Thursday and Friday, aka today, for the gym. And I feel like I'm feeling the lack of movement a little bit. I did walk in the morning and I did like five minutes of yoga to try to like reinforce stuff. But got my little board. Okay, cool. Um, super raft both together. I got me to get one of those foam mats for the kid. Yeah, I have a foam mat too that I can stand on. And then this board is like kind of a balance board thing. Also, shout out to Isaiah lending me his shirt, his steam shirt that he has, um, that his friend Quasi gave him. And then this is the back. Ooh. I don't, ah, I don't know how well you can see that, but. Same point of views, times from, yeah. So I'm kind of trying to alternate between like standing, sitting. Standing can definitely hurt as well. So kind of find that middle ground. All right, let's jump into this. 15 minutes on the clock. Willing to go up a little bit higher. If you, if I feel like I need the time to <laughs> see more of the game. Okay, that's me. Smooth controls, RT to shoot, LT to roll. The roll feels a little bit dramatic, like, I feel a little out of control with the roll, but we'll see. And then LB to swap. Oh, this is for building. And then there's super building. So I don't know what that's gonna end up meaning, but let's talk to these guys, I guess. I mean, can I just join somebody's thing? Your style is pretty fresh, but I've considered mixing it up. Maybe we should invest in getting a ta tailor or two, okay. What's, what's on the board is the question. Okay, it's like the community stuff. Okay, hold on. How do I hit back? Thank, thank you, okay. Hold on, how do I? Oh no, oh! I don't know if this is like a... Give, give me a second here. Let me try to... No! Okay. For some reason, opening that did not go well, but I guess I just try to maybe jump into a pup. <gasps> no, there's no, can I host a lobby, but then can I run it on my own? Cause I just want to play. Like I, you could put me with AI and I wouldn't care. Well, let's see what happens with this. I don't want to talk to anyone though. Like make sure I don't talk to anybody. Maybe I'm going off on my own, because maybe I didn't wait for people to join. Okay, so so far I don't have any- oh god. Okay, I think it's unlimited ammo, so let's just shoot all the time. It's kind of loud, so let me know if you want me to put the volume down. I can also move, so let me move. I think it's unlimited ammo at least. It seems like unlimited ammo. Okay. How do I build though? Can I build? I really want to build. Give me a sec. Give me a second. I'm like dying. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Okay, so we can swap. Oh, what is this? Okay, so I died before we could really see anything. Not too loud. Okay, cool. Uh, let me try again. And yeah, I'll just play on my own because it's like... Okay. Oh, cute. But how do I get, like, more materials to build? Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I'm getting used to control, so I'll be the swap. Definitely could use some people. <laughs> it's a little hard on your own. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. RT to build. There's like super build or whatever. I don't know what the, um... And let me know if you guys can pick up on it more than me, because maybe that's... Maybe y'all can pick up on it more than I can, since you're watching and I'm, and like, not playing. But... What allows for me to, like... Build versus not... Like, I feel like I don't have unlimited building materials. But I'm wondering, am I gaining some by doing kills? Gotta go have the cash to build, looks like. Okay, heavy bullets. Um... Okay, cool. Oh god. Is there a way to get health? Does anyone see like a health around anywhere? Cause... I need health. As you can see, this is not my um... Most uh, skilled genre. And you can go in the water, but... You do um... What is it? You do move really slowly in the water. Okay, we're getting a little bit better. I've la lasted longer than last time, so that's that's cool. And it seems like the sewer build, like, it's reinforced raft stuff. And it also seems like the sharks can eat parts of your raft. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Swap. It's a little tough to, like, swap between building, like, to remember to do it, but... Hey, thanks for the follows. Oh, there's, like, a little boss. Oh! Oh, he's, he's, he's really, like, on one here. Okay, but you can't shoot when you're in the water. That's an important distinction. Which makes sense, because, like... Okay, yeah, this is cool. I like this game. So far, we've had um, some really good luck. Okay, we, we really gotta build, though. Yeah, we are killing a dolphin. Um... Fancy something to help you with the treacherous seas. Uh, then come on down for the shop of deals. Can I like do that now? I need health. Yeah. I really just need health. Damn. This is cool. Again, I'm not very good at it, but I feel like it's a really fun idea. And I think it works, you know? We really gotta get... We really, really gotta get more, um... Damn, the fact that, like, these things come out so fast. Uh... I don't really see how the rolling would help in this scenario, but maybe when the raft gets bigger, the rolling would be more helpful. Oh no! Oh god! Help me! No, help me! Oh! Just kill me, yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Thank you. Um... Oh, the building materials are just over time. Oh, they are over time! Okay. Yeah, the top purple meter is actually the building materials. Invite me. Are you around to play? Um... Are we friends on <laughs> Steam? I don't know that you and I are friends. Are we friends already? So if you're at max level, um, okay, give me a second. Let me, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. All right, hold on. I feel like I don't hard, well, there we go. There we go, okay. How do I make it so that you can add me? This will be like a boring off, off the thing for a second. Um, let's see. I feel like, 
I sent you a request to who I think is you. My name is Game Onesis, and I have a picture. My name, oh no, my name is Janet G ninety four on here, and my username's Game Onesis, and my picture is like of Bandage Girl. So if that's who you sent, that this might be you. Let's see. Yes, I see you now. Um. Okay. Cool. So download it, and then I will try to invite you. Okay. I'm gonna try to do it quick because I only have a few more minutes with this game. Yes, that one. Okay, great. Cool, cool. Yeah, we can run through a couple, um, do a couple runs together. I wonder if you changed your outfits since they mentioned your style. Yeah, I'm not sure. Brace yourself. Oh, do I have to hit A? Like, they're y'all just taking a while to load. I think they're just taking a while to load. Okay, they said brace yourself publishing, but I'm. I'm, I've braced myself. What's up? What is up? Okay, hold on. This thing is like freaking out. Okay. Any time now, y'all. I might have to just close it and open it again. Give me a second. Give me a second. I need to reload this game. But it, man, I think I gotta force quit because like this thing is, my computer's being really wonky. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, confirm exit game. Let me hit play again. No, it's just in general, it didn't, you know, one of the reasons I don't like PC gaming as much, it's a little bit more, there's like an aspect of troubleshooting that there isn't really as much with console gaming. Um, here we go. Now it's like loaded. It's well, it should be loading in. It was loading a second ago, but now it's like, is it because I'm plugging in the controller and it's like freaking out? All right. Give me, give me a second here. Oof. Maybe I just won't plug in the controller until... I'm totally ready to go. Cause it'll start going and then it'll just stop. But I feel like I've always had trouble with the controller stuff on PC for some reason. Come on, <laughs> this is so frustrating. It'll like get up to a certain point and then it'll just stop. And there's this thing like, and if you look on the side of like my computer, it's just like, da -da 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 -da. like I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what's up with that. What is with this? Like I'm not sure what causes that, but let me try, let me just try closing Steam and opening it again. Could be the cable to the controller. Yeah, I switched the cable out though pretty recently. Maybe this cable is also not good, but that seems kind of unlikely. Or something about like the controller trying to connect in like weird ways, or I don't know what it is, but it's it's a tough time. So let's see. Um, it's unplugged right now, so it shouldn't even be doing anything. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see now. In the computer's defense, there is a lot going on, so. And I think part of it might be just like switching between screens or something. Okay, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting in there. I think it's going okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Gonna, gonna go with my controller again. Okay. Uh, let's do start a lobby. We'll just do friends.
Will it like tell me that it's like going? Do I have to like... Yeah, Eddie, let me know if you can see my lobby or not. I don't. Bummer. What's up, Astro? How's it going? Oh, maybe invite? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I don't... Oh, here you are. Here you are. Yeah. Okay, hopefully this worked. Good, hope you are well. Uh, yeah, doing good, hanging in there. Okay, yeah, it looks like you're here now. Cute! Um, oh yeah, can I change my look? Is it the locker? Oh yeah, yay! Oh hell yeah. Um, I'll just stick with this one because I think I need the good fire rate. It's the van outside my house, but... Um, oh, this is adorable. Look, you can have this thing. Squeaky hammer. I I'm not gonna use the emotes anyway, so it's fine. All right, let's get on the raft. Okay, this is cute. Yay, thanks for uh, jumping in to play. I appreciate it. Wait, this gun's different. I don't like it as much. The fire rate's not that good. Since Eddie's the shark, it's like kind of hard to see that, like, who's who. Okay, how do I switch? How do I switch? How do I switch? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I died! I died! <laughs> do you still get to play when that happens to me? I went back to the raft port. Hold on. Maybe different characters have different weapons? <laughs> Yeah, different characters have different weapons. Okay, let me try this other thing. This will be better. I wish you could use weapons across characters, but... Maybe you unlock more. Yeah, because the gun I had before... was... had a way higher fire rate, so I think that'll be good. Okay, okay, hold on. Higher swap. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, okay. It might be too- no, it's- I think it's not too loud, it's not too bad, okay. Shoot. I don't know how we can get this chest. Oh, here it goes, here it goes. I don't know. I don't know what, what the things do, but... I didn't have time to read it, because I'm like, I think you still, like... get hurt while you're opening it. Nice, nice. Oh, is Eddie dead? Eddie's dead, I think. This is just his ghost. Oh, thank God. It's cool that he can still, like, do some stuff, though. Maybe he can come back. Okay. It's hard to, like, build and fight at the same time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, Eddie's back. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I think building is way more important. Yeah, but then if you end up dead, like, dead people can't build, you know? Oh! Okay. Damn! But the building is definitely really important. And has been a bit neglected, but... But you can also only build so many things, like, so quickly, so...
Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, some guns can shoot in the water then. Just mine can't. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. So, alright! I get to float because of robot. Um, Boomfish. Chance for enemies to explode on death. That sounds good. What's this one? Random egg. A friendly animal will hatch and help you in the fight. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I don't have enough money for anything else, so I guess I'll have to just leave. Yeah, like, what's the highest the building will get to? Like, five, right? And then you have to, like, so you kind of keep going. Like, over and over again, I think. Because otherwise it's just, like, maxed. Okay. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice. Damn, this, these damn sharks, man. What is going on? Okay. This is cool. I like this game. It's super fun. Um, a bit harder than I thought it would be. Okay, okay, hold on. Like, it's a little tough. Like, I think the building is a little hard to, like, do at the time. I don't know what I got because it's like I didn't have time to pick something. I think you can have up to four people, but I have to double check that. Yeah, that's my only thing with like four people. I don't know if I wish like it was a little easier to like it's a little tight of a space is the thing. Like it's hard to like build and like have everything like ready to go. And then I feel like we share, like, the building, like, the five building. If I die, I can use my order to slow enemies. Yeah, it's cool. I have I have some, like, complaints about it, like, that it's, like, a little rough. We don't share the building here. Okay, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's really well designed. Uh, I'm having a good time with it. Let's see. What do we got? What else is here? Random trinkets. Kills, refill, shoot, cooldown. That's really cool. I'm saving up for the animal. My super tiles can attract lightning to kill enemies. Oh, that that was the lightning was you. Okay, I wasn't sure what the lightning was for. Um. I wish there was a way to, like, get the builds to rack up more, which maybe there is. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. These damn sharks. Sharks, shark, sharks. Sharks, shark, sharks, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of awkward at my building, but I feel like I'm, I'm getting a couple things built. Okay, ooh, shoot. This guy has a knife. He has a knife! Oh god. Oh man. Oh man. It's getting rough. It's getting rough. It's, okay, shoot. No, I died. Oh no, I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Oh, Eddie's dead though. Eddie's dead. No! 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 <laughs> What's it called? It's called, um... Super Raft Boat Together. 
Not really a great name. Though, uh, Jason, if you want to play a match together... <laughs> um, though, oh shoot, I guess we're running out of time. Yeah, Oh. Okay, I guess I'll peace out on this game. Thank you for playing with me, Eddie. Just because I only have so much time with all of these games. Um, yeah, we could always do it later. Yeah, this was cool. I fuck with this. Uh, again, also, the classic 3 out of 5. Good. Definitely potential to be great. I could see this... I would love to see something like this, like, hit Game Pass or hit, like, a PlayStation Plus because it's really fun and really enjoyable. And I think if people got their hands on it and got into the loop of it... Again, I don't think it's perfect. I do think the spacing is a little tight for Bullet Hell. I think... Um, a few things to me are a little unclear, like when I pick up stuff in the chest, like can I take damage while I'm reading those things? Um, I think it could use like other little things like the fact that you can't swap characters and guns easily and I get maybe they want to like, I don't know, balance it or something. There's a few little gripes I have here and there. Uh, admittedly though, I'm not like the best at this kind of style of game either. Um, but yeah, I mean, I liked it. It's cool. Like it looked cool and it was cool, you know? Uh, the characters have two guns each. Um, yeah. So, like, I kind of, like, I, I want to be the penguin, but I didn't like the gun that the penguin had that had a high fire rate. And yeah, I think they want to balance the ability so the shark has the shotgun and can chomp the enemies in the water. I do like how different the guns and abilities seem. Um, the art's also very striking. Uh, I think the, the price of the items at the in-between shop is pretty reasonable. Um... But even just looking at like the screenshots of the game, like the raft never got quite big enough for like my comfort. And I felt like it was really hard to build up the raft. Um, and hey, maybe like they want this to be a challenging game, you know, like that's fair and fine. But I feel like I would have loved to be able to get a little further, a little bit more easily. Um, and maybe they have some aspects of like tutorialization baked in to kind of help with that. I don't know. But yeah, this was cool. Like, honestly, I'm tempted to like go on the raft again. It was pretty fun. Uh, let's do exit. And again, appreciate y'all uh, being patient with the little tech issues here and there that I have. But OK, so I want to do something that's totally different. Um, we could do. I forget what town seek is. Let me look at the store page again. Try to remind myself what Town Seek is. Um, Town Seek. I know what's going on here in the stream. Um, embark on a journey. It, let's just play it. Let's just play it. It looks it looks cool. It looks different. I have a card. There's like a card game one that we might jump into next. Uh, you might like the shark since he moves faster in the ocean and can dip out, dip into avoid running out of oxygen. Oh, you have to manage your oxygen with the shark. Like I was just I just was. Or was I drowning in the water secretly and I didn't realize it? Um, yeah, obviously we kind of just scratched the surface of... God, what is it called? Super Raft... Tell me the name of this game again. Let me write it down because I'm going to forget. Super... A Super Raft... Super Raft both together. Yeah. Um, both together. Okay. Welcome to the demo. Appreciate opinions, suggestions, bug stuff. We'll continue updating the demo during, before, during, and after next fest. Damn, next level shit. Um, press space and click. I think this probably is maybe a, more of a mouse keyboard. Not to mention like the controller stuff has been kind of hell. So, um, okay. Some people spend their lives searching for advent. Oh, let me set my timer. Some people spend their lives searching for adventure, love, or even fame. Others might just want to strike riches. Um, Sir Reginald Sharkingston became the richest shark in the ocean. During his early youth, his life goal was achieved fairly quickly. Hmm. While digging around the outskirts of the town Shark Dwell, young Reginald came across a cave full of unknown shiny minerals. According to Shark Law, since he found the cave and everything within it, Belong to him, this strike of luck brought Reginald riches beyond his wildest dreams. Geologists named the mineral Shark Knight. Its energetic properties intrigued Re Reginald, and with his sorry, and with ideas floating around his mind, 
he invested his vast wealth on shark science. Within a year, sorry, I'm just moving around here. His scientists had developed plenty of prototypes, some of Reginald found intriguing. Some finally allowed the shark folk to explore beyond the ocean. Thus, the first airship was created along with the invention of mechanical legs. Shuffle would nowhere to bounce the dusty ocean. With his mindset on living an adventurous life, full of exploration and discoveries, he emerged from the water and took. Okay, so he's a fucking flying shark. Um, and off he discovered the world of Explora. Ten kills on the board, just wiped out tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, nice. Uh, Captain Jawline. But of course, every shark in Shark Dwell knows that story. Uh, you didn't think I called my top apprentice just to talk about my late grandfather, right? Oh no, I just wanted to let you know that I'm finally done turning your brand new airship. Okay, it's good as new, even if half the pieces are repurposed junk from the other ship, I promise. You won't even notice, haha. -ha. Anyhow, I told Sir Reginald Sharkinson a story for the reason. See, most people know the Elbrass stories about the specifics. His journal is passed down from generation to generation. Now it's in my fins. Yo, what's up, uh, Piccolo? How's it going? My guts told me that they're still somewhere out on the Explorer. Just keep a journal. Okay. Okay, cool. So, um, and then it's like the same thing from Ocean to Skies. Okay, this is the journal. Journal looks cute. Okay, now let's talk, take the ship for a test. Okay, so. Um, fly your airship around. Explore the world at your leisure. You can get anywhere here from Shark well there are many landmarks to discover and write to learn more about them some areas will be of the world will be covered until you progress further in the story for now try finding visiting five landmarks and deliver your first quest okay i mean warm to roam the seas and raise the sort of skies feel like hometown coin trade with town okay i don't think i have anything for this Right? Visit five landmarks. Okay. Crummy crabs band together and made a kingdom. That's smart. Okay, not like go further. Colosseum, the battles are very intense. Uh, looking at the dogs down there, enough to brighten your day. Finding item crates. As you fly across the world, you may come across item crates such as flying balloons. Interact with them to pop them open. These crates have random items from the towns you visited before. Some crates might have unique items. Okay. Uh, I love the art. Meowsville. Um, welcome to my humble store. I'm Whiskey. Okay. Nine lives. We got many visitors. There's one. There's this one jawline. Okay, good friends now. A friend. Okay. Looking for coins, looking for clothes, entertainment, high in demand. Okay, town quest maybe? You can help town people take on quests. Okay. Um. Let me restock. Ooh, ooh, cat's out the bag. Take tourists to Chocolate River. That sounds fun. How do I take the tourist to Chocolate River, though? Buff Cat Cave. That's adorable. It's got good acoustics. Okay. Still kind of, like, unsure what the general gameplay loop of this one is, which we which we had that issue when we wishlisted it, but I did love the art, so I wanted to see what it was. Um, the slime from the land is a bit different than from the ocean. Okay, let me actually leave this for now, because maybe I can try to do my quest now, because I did the base exploration. Take tourists to Chocolate River. I'm not sure where I'm going at. Jolly might give me a compass eventually. Hmm, take tourists to Chocolate River. May I have to find Chocolate River first to do that quest? This is Pastel Falls. Driplands. Uh, this is where I just was. Oh, this one's tough. I love the look of it. I don't know, though, how to really continue to progress. So, let's see. 
It's like this cat world. Take Taurus to Chocolate River. Do I have to find Chocolate River? Can I even do this quest now? Maybe I can't. Hmm. Can I like go back to the main area? Hmm. Talk to host, trade with town. You can be a cat too. It is cool they have like these little quests. It says you have a quest to deliver. Okay, hold on, let me look. One to deliver. Yeah, because I finished this one. I guess I'm not sure how to deliver it. It's my only thing. Maybe, maybe it's in here. Because we did this. This is like our first quest. This is one I picked up. Uh, on my own. We have Sir Reginald's journal. I had came from like the middle. Oh, maybe it's maybe it's here. It's here probably. Nothing more visiting home every now and then. Can I deliver this quest? Here we go. Here we go. Town quest. There we go. Good. Deliver quest. Okay. Okay. Uh, didn't think the world was that colorful, did you? Hey, it's in your Puerto. Thanks for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. My name is Jane Garcia, aka Monasis. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. On Fridays, aka today, we do a hey, Puyo Loco, un poquitito loco. On Fridays, we do best of 2023 watch, where we play the latest games and switch to the greatest games of the year. Today's a special uh, episode where we're doing Steam Next Fest Marathon. We're playing through a bunch of games. We played through four games so far. This is our fifth one. This game is called um good fucking great question i honestly have already forgotten offhand um man it town seek thank you it's like so hard to remember because i like i'm in and out of these town seek um don't really have the best sense of the gameplay loop but the map is gorgeous you're kind of flying around we're giving it a shot seeing how it is it's tough when we have these heavy text games because since i'm only spending 15 to 25 minutes per game I don't have a lot of time to spend in reading stuff super carefully from the golden rule. But you're kind of an apprentice uh, in this historical line of explorers, basically. Um, how's High Fire Rush? How was festival? It's going great. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised that so many games we scoped out as potential fun games have hit. Uh, Plan of Lana was cool. Um, Show Me Come Home was great. Super Raft Both Together was great. Uh, so far, the only game that I didn't really enjoy was uh, Pico. D didn't quite like control right. Uh, definitely a little finicky, which there will definitely be bugs and things because these are, um, you know, just demos and stuff. Things break. But yeah, Pico did not hit for me. Hoping things will maybe change with a full build, but not super, what's the word? Uh, optimistic about that. My rush was great. Super fun, even though my time is awful. I tried Pico just now. I have to agree. It's still too early to judge, though. Yeah, like, it didn't... Based on that, it's a no. But, you know, things can change. Um, donuts. Uh, I wish it was just a little... And Again, I'm going through this fast, but I'm guessing a lot of people playing these demos are also going through it quickly. So now we have the basis of trading. Trade 20 items beyond Shark Dwell. So this is, like, our home base. And then have 800 coins. So... We'll have to get items to trade. Um, Hogwarts stream? Nah, we're skipping Hogwarts Legacy. Um, mainly because of the JK Rowling stuff with, like, how, you know, transphobic she's been throughout the years. Like, it's just not a game I'd like to highlight for that reason. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So, no Hogwarts stream for me. I won't be playing Hogwarts Legacy. Um, yeah, that's kind of that. So, with that being said, there's no other really big releases on the calendar. So, I thought it'd be a great time to use this slot for a huge Steam Next Fest stream, which is exactly what we're doing um, here today. So, I, again, I like the art. The flow is a little rough. And again, I am going quickly. It could very much just be on me, but I wish that it was a little easier to like latch onto. Um, so for trading stuff, do I have any items I can trade? Let's go to, like, a town and see what they are looking for. Tried a few games on Steam Nets, and they were cool. Lakeburg Legacies is on my list as well. I think the quest show you where to go. 
Yeah, well, this one just says trade 20 items beyond Shark Dwell. So I think I just have to trade items outside of Shark Dwell. Um, but let me know if you guys interpret that differently. Like, trade with town. And, like, these are things that I have. But it's selling the same as trading. This item is new to this town. It's selling the same as trading? Let's just try and see what happens. It's fine. Yes, selling is the same as trading. Ah, uh, yeah. The next one is the cat place. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, this one's a quest I picked up on my own. And these seem like kind of like the tutorial -y quests. But there is like a thing here, like a question mark. So I wonder if I can do more. Nah, I don't think so. It just has a question mark. Hey, what's up, Neans? How's it going? How's your next fest going? Have you gotten through any more demos? Okay, let's try... Yeah, yeah, I found um, three that I really like so far. One that I didn't like as much, and then this is our fifth one. Okay, well, I think we can just kind of start trading then, but... And again, let's, let's... Let me move with a little bit of urgency, because otherwise... You know, I only have so much time, so let's go here. And let's trade with the town. Is there anything they're really looking for? High in demand. So it seems like, you know, you get maybe a bonus if you have, like, clothes. I don't think I have any clothes, unfortunately. But I do have these postcards. Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have given all of them the postcards. How do I get more items, though, is my only thing, because... I'm almost out of items. Maybe with the coins I can buy more? But then I also need, like, a certain amount of coins. Maybe I can get one item from one place and sell it to another. Maybe that's kind of the... The idea. Like, if I look at this town... Is it the Meow one that's a town? Yeah. Meowsville, they're really looking for fish. Or, like, can I get fish? Just, like, in the ocean, you know? Oh, they're looking for- oh, they're looking for games, too. So... That'll go really well for them. And this is cute, you know? It's like, okay, I'm kind of starting to wrap my head around a little bit of the structure. But... I don't personally find this loop to be, like, that interesting, though. Of just kind of, like, going around and we're, like, clicking on stuff. Maybe it'll get more exciting as time goes on, but... I mean, I almost have the coins I need. Maybe I'll just... Trade some more items, maybe? I've done eight. But then once I'm done, like, what am I gonna do, you know? That's my only thing. Like, how will I get more items to trade? Maybe he told me and I missed it, because I haven't been... The best reader, admittedly. Well, we can always check back in town and kind of get a sense, I think, of what's going on. Enjoying the world, kiddo. Let's look at the... Oh, I think this will be built out later. Hold on. Get some exotic stuff. I mean, how do I get more stuff? Do I just buy it and then keep selling it? Alright, well, that's basically time at this point. Um, this one I give like a 2 out of 5. It was okay, like I love the art. And... That's probably like my number one thing, like the art and the atmosphere is very fun. And again, I think it might have just been a me thing. I don't have a lot of time to allot to this. Nor was I that interested in what I had played. Seems really chill as that could be, you know, a pro, but I just don't think going around and like making these delivery quests when I'm just kind of floating, it makes me feel kind of removed from the experience personally. So that's what I didn't like about it. That's why I found this to just be okay. Not bad, 
but just okay. So this one would make my list of, you know, favorites from Next Fest personally for that reason. Um, all right, let's see how to quit. Right, what's the motivation? Yeah, it's like, mm, and maybe that reveals itself more like through story or like, maybe you get to like, just do a little bit more like in the towns over time, but sorry, I'm hard. I'm trying to find a little place to, the place to exit. How do I exit? Well, I guess I'll just do a regular, regular close of it all. Ooh, gosh, see, like, what is with this? I don't know why, like, it's doing that, but there's sure are a lot of games with fetch quests, or at least ones that I've tried. Yeah, um, I mean, I think it's a super popular structure, you know? Okay, so let's see. We've played these. Um, you know, this is pretty different than what we've played before, and then maybe we'll do Dungeon Drafters, because it's like a card game. Hopefully this goes fine with my, um, ooh, Steam Deck friendly demo. Look at you. Um, yeah, this is fine. Okay, let's see how it goes. See if it opens. This is Bionic Bay. Bionic Bay. Oh, I think I have to click on it. Oh, here we go. Let's do English. I think this is going to be a controller game. Because it's a platformer. I mean, I can do platforming with the keyboard. It's just not ideal. Let's see if my assumption is correct. It looks like it is. And again, Thanks for bearing with me through the little controller uh, issues. What was that? Town Seeker, was it? This is the last game, and this one's Bionic. Bionic what? This one was Bionic. Bay. Thank God they told me it. Okay. I'm writing these down now so I can remember to talk about them. So I should buy working mail. No, do your thing. Live your life. Now, let me know if the audio is ever too loud on the game side of things, because every game will have, like, different sound leveling. So, you know, can be tough to, like, have it sound good across the board. Uh, I think I'm going to switch to sitting also. Oh, it's way too loud. <laughs> it's so loud. Sorry, y'all. It's like ridiculously loud. Oh, I got scared by the sound of the board. Okay, let's go to... Where's audio? Here, game volume. It's like... You, you could be 50 and it would be... That's still kind of too much, if I'm being honest. Let's go a little bit. That's 30. 30 is, is probably where we're at. <laughs> I like how that's the first game, too, that was just, like, ridiculously loud. Was everyone room food in the Puppy Bowl? I forget that the Puppy Bowl's a thing. Like, what is the Puppy Bowl? Ugh. Give me a second here. Okay, here we go. I'm like a million years old today. All right. Get some stretches in. All right, we're going to start the timer. We're going to 15 to 25 minutes. Per game, less is fine if we feel like, okay, I kind of see what this is already. So it's a platformer that has like a funky shtick where you're like swapping between objects. One of my beefs from just seeing the trailer is your character is very tiny. And I wonder how like difficult that's going to be to make sense of in practice. Like I see where I am now and that's kind of fine. Love the reflection here though. But like, look at how small I am. I feel like I'm a little too small. I know I said I love being a small character, but like, this is a bit much. It's hard to even like see it, in my opinion. Movement wise, controls well. I do wonder how this will flow as like a platformer, because it did look like it was a little fast paced. Okay, so we're mixing up these two things. Every year Animal Planet plays a game of football with puppies and you can adopt, uh, that you can adopt and the rules are a little loosey goosey, cute. Yeah, it's different to keep track of your character. Okay, so we have this funky... I'm liking that they just throw me in. Not enough games start quickly. Ooh. Okay, so this is gonna maybe morph my body to give me these powers to sort of jump between objects. Is that or I killed myself? I don't know which one yet. Yeah, especially like, and obviously, you know, I stream with like a little overlay 
which is like a my own decision but even you know so it's like oh it's even i'm even smaller than it's like ridiculous okay so oh hopefully they have fast re okay good good fast reload so you are very springy uh again i know you guys can't don't see like the clearest image but you really like yeet yourself yeah we got a little ant friend a little a little ant um oh it definitely has like the limbo injury aesthetic so then we have b and a they want me to do b and then a oh they wanted me to do that from like the, the bottom though a little higher contrast would be nice yeah, I wonder if there are what they have in the way of settings. I'm also just not a big fan. Maybe let's just turn up the brightness a little bit. Just to make it a little easier to see. I'm not a big fan of, like, that really dark red look in general. I feel like it's a little... It's a little tough. What am I doing wrong here? Let's see. So it's B then A. Okay, I kind of get that now. I mean, the accessibility is lacking here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and with a demo build, like, I get that stuff comes over time as well. Not to, not to make excuses, you know, but... Um, just this, in general, I think this level of scale is a little too just dramatic. Um, even as someone that doesn't usually have that complaint. Love the art in the background here. Super funky and odd, kind of like Metroid-y. I think in general, though, this coloring is rough. It does create a um, dreary mood, but it comes at, at a cost. Uh, and it can be a little grating, I think, on, on the eyes of the player. Like for me, these kind of deep red and blacks are almost a little nauseating to me. Okay, so I think this is where we learn how to do our thing. Let's see. Or maybe not, maybe we just have to go quickly. I will say as far as being a platformer, it feels more like a general adventure game then a platformer i was expecting a little bit more of like the fact that you have this dive mechanic i kind of wanted some more intriguing challenges with that that aspect's kind of all right but i do feel a little bit like i'm just kind of eating myself across the screen um yeah i think i'll probably well we'll see how much time i've been in here 10 minutes i've been five minutes in we'll go a little bit further and so far, like, I don't really get a, a strong sense of identity from this game. It does feel like, okay, what's like, am I just like in a factory that they make these things in? And I do like a quick start. I like that they have the quick start. I, I will say I like the, um, the shadow man tutorial, um, kind of thing. Narratively, sure. I'm, oh, shoot. Narratively, sure. It might not make a lot of sense to have that, but just from a clarity standpoint, I enjoy it. I do find some of these moves kind of tough to pull off, and I don't know if it's because I'm bad at it, or if it's because it's a little bit too, um... It wants a little too much precision, especially, you know, so early on in the game. I think it's a little much. Um, the whole identity is, look, you're small. <sighs> Honestly, I think... I think they were just going for, like... Eerie, and like, oh, everything's so much bigger than you, but I think in... I think so I think scale can create eeriness, but I think it's a it's a form over function situation to me here. Like you're just too small to me. Um, yeah, this one it's just kind of like this kind of floats between like a two and a one for me. Frankly, not not really enjoying the game. Don't think I'd continue in something like this. It kind of reminds me of um, artistically. I played this game called red game without a great name um this game is called bionic bay and just like it having the kind of like insidey death to it all like i don't know it's not it hasn't been that interesting so far and you know I'm, i've only played for like five minutes so it is kind of a lot but i think i think in um a game of this genre you find out like really quickly whether or not you're drawn to a set of ideas that the developer or the team of developers is presenting and for me the answer for that on this one is no um i did really like the reason i picked this game and have it in my list is because i did see and continue to see some potential with 
the stick of like transporting your body to different objects seems to be like one of the mechanics here but we haven't seen any of that and i feel like to me that was like the most interesting mechanic like i would argue we really haven't seen much in the way of mechanics outside of maybe the dive i think has been the big thing they've highlighted and again maybe that's coming up super soon but there's kind of a it almost fr let's see if it pulls me in here oh that's nice it's, there's almost like a frustration in the kind of design that they've gone for here it is definitely giving like that inside limbo style of difficulty and death animation but the problem with it here is platforming is about like doing things kind of quickly um fluidity of movement so i think when you add in things like um floppy physics to the character things like long or like dramatic death animations it sort of works against the appeal of the genre now maybe this is just a game that has platforming and they don't really see themselves as like a platformer at its core i will say they do a good job like having the character latch onto these different pieces of this wheel that precision is impressive um but yeah i think those are like just some of the issues i've kind of identified here like, there's some some cool stuff going on here, and, you know, again, this is why I picked it. Like, I think the way that this moves when you jump onto it is pretty cool. But ultimately, yeah, that's why it falls between a 2 and a 1 for me. To say it's bad is a little bit dramatic, I think, but it is either okay or bad, just in that... I don't know. Like, I struggle to imagine someone playing it and really... Like, to me, here's the thing. Because I can really only speak for myself. I can't speak for, like, a general player. For me, I don't have anything, like, like a good takeaway. Like, I think when we talk about Town Seeker, the game we just played, and I'll still play this for, like, a little bit longer. Even though I didn't fuck with that game, I don't really... It didn't really seem that good to me, you know? I think that game's very much okay. The reason I definitely said okay on that game and not bad is because... I still see some of that merit. I'm like, oh, but the art design is like so striking. And you know, maybe they build on things. But here, just the base of what they're giving me, it's just not that, it just doesn't really have any uh, anything that I think it does specifically well. Um, you know, there's small moments that I can point to and be like, oh, I respect the design of this, you know, like the latching onto the wheel. But look at this, like I'm actually am genuinely trying to get through this and it's just so easy to die, blow up. I feel like they're not scaling ideas well. It's like, was that supposed to happen? I guess it was, but like, how would I know that would be possible? I guess it wasn't supposed to happen because I think I am dead here. Like, what was that? You know, it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. There are like some good pieces uh like stuff like the floating platforms the ability to cling i think is done very smoothly but ultimately it feels more like and it's a little harsh to say but like a proof of like a practice or something like it feels like the kind of thing someone might build and maybe this is the case for them i don't know the team's work but it feels like the kind of thing someone might build as a way to practice how to implement certain mechanics but it doesn't feel like a cohesive experience an idea i i play this and i'm at a loss for what i'm supposed to take away from it um and i think because it's it's pulling in so many elements the result ends up feeling very ends up feeling very generic to me um so yeah this was bionic bay um honestly yeah a, t a two to a one it just kind of depends on how you want to couch it um but yeah this is not one that i would recommend or that i am excited about um so yeah this one was a miss for me from it but there you go i was keeping this a secret until you raved about it since you liked inside um but i developed this game in secret <laughs> hey man i obviously i know you're joking but anyone can get the smoke like if you genuinely ask me what i think like there you go but also like let me consult on your games because i like doing that too and it's uh a time where my critique can actually be used and not just seem mean <laughs> but yeah that's that's where it's at this game is not communicating its ideas like correctly yeah or or maybe they are right like i don't know it's just i wonder i have a lot of questions you know on what i was meant to take away from it it just and again i think it's fine to throw you in i don't need a lot of story i'm not a i, I mean i love stories in games but i think some games don't really need story like that it just didn't you know it didn't quite hit and i kind of already explained why so i think at this point i'll just be rambling on but 
that was bionic bay um let's totally switch gears and do dungeon drafters um this game is a bit outside my wheelhouse in that i think it is card based to some degree so let's give it a go and see what we're here for eviscerated yeah it just it was it was not good um Do do Monolith Studios. Where do I recognize that name from? Can anyone remind me what Monolith has made? So it says press any button. Maybe they don't have controller support, so. But they probably do if they say press any button. Let's see. You know what? Let's just do mouse and keyboard. It'll just it'll just be easier for our, our lives. Um Do I wanna just do That's Monolith is Xenoblade. That's Manolith. Is it actually? It's written in pixel. So it's tough to see. I'm gonna plug in a more traditional mouse. Because mine is vertical. Okay. But that explains why it sounds familiar. I mean, maybe it's monolith. But with like an A or they it looks like an A. I don't know. Well, either way, let's jump into this. Uh, it is windowed, so apologies for, like, it not being full screen on your guys' view. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Should I hit play demo? What the fuck? This is, uh, Dungeon Drafter. I think Drafters. Let me go back to play the tutorial, because I messed up. I messed up. Let me play the tutorial. See, I don't know why it's doing this, where it, like, quickly moves. Okay, let's reopen it so I can play. Yeah, Manolith. Okay way different than monolith because <laughs> i'm like why do i recognize this name <clears throat> okay oh it might be the same whatever okay select a character the bard strolls through challenges using her mobile and minion heavy deck that mixes travel and an oracle agile um i'm just gonna pick based on design i do like the design of this so sure let's try the bard Okay, so this is okay. I'm like, this is supposed to be the tutorial, but I haven't seen much. Use wasp or the arrow keys to move around the map. Holding a direction outside of combat will allow the character to move fast in that direction. Okay, press the direction against a unit to execute a melee attack against it. It works both outside and inside of combat. Oh, let me start my timer again. All right. I love the animation for uh, the movement. The little skips are like super cute. Sucker for this kind of art style, obviously. Actions in combat. During the player's turn, you can execute three these actions. Move, melee attack, cast a card, and turn. Moving and executing melee attacks work the same as outside of combat. Press the direction and the arrow keys to cast a card. Press the action button Z. Let me move the, the keyboard closer to me. And then select a card or click a card with the mouse button. Okay. To end turn before executing an action, sorry, to end turn before executing all your actions, hold the cancel button, X, or click on turn, okay. Action spend AP when your AP is your turn around, okay, so. Let me see, is it like turn, oh, excuse me. I'm trying to see, is this like turn, turn base then? Oh shoot, I guess you can only, okay. So it's kind of tactics-y. Que uh, juego es? We are playing Dungeon Drafters. Uh, this is... Well, I don't have like the game info in front of me, but it seems like it's kind of like... Well, dungeon card game, kind of, essentially. Um, so, yeah. That's what's up. Indie Midnight Suns. Okay, how many moves can I do is my only thing and let me know if you guys have any of these answers because oh shoot it's always possible that i just miss something you know i'm going through these really quickly i'm not like reading everything perfectly is a miss thank you for uh, the copy paste i appreciate it a mystery dungeon adventure set in a world where magic is card and cards are magic explore ancient ruins loot card rare cards employ clever combos to defeat 
your foes and build legendary spell deck that could save the world. Um, it would be worth, we should maybe start copy and pasting that just in. I'm not like, I haven't used any of my cards actually. I've only done melee attacks. Maybe like, let's just use a card just to see what it's like. Jump to a target position, then jump to a second target position. It closes, it hits close units for one damage. When it's killed, well actually, let's just, let's just finish this because we're almost done. And then the next one we'll try to like use all cards. Cause we really didn't use like any cards. I will say to me, who's like not the best at these, like, okay, combat loop. Combat flows in turns, first to player, then the enemy, then neutral turn. After all units execute their turns, a combat round will be completed. During the player turn, the player walked first, and then each ally of the player will act in order from closest to the player to furthest. During enemy turns, enemies will act in order defined by their distance to the player. Neutrals will follow the same turn logic. You can see an overview by pressing tab to check the turn number of every unit. Um, okay. Okay. I'm a little late because I was lurking while my phone. But what was up with that ant game you were just playing? Uh, it was not good. It was Bionic Bay, and I do not recommend. I give it a one or a two out of five, depending on my mood. I don't know. It's it's tough to nail down. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. So I think this only like summons it around. Okay, swap all HP info with two target combat units. It's interesting. Place. Okay. Beta start. Marks a at two target tiles that will be hit for three damage at the end of the round. Uh, let's just try it just so that we like you know, can get used to like what the cards can do. I'm so confused on how many steps I can take before like I'm done. I guess do the steps cost AP? Oh damn. I wish some things were a little bit clearer, but let's see. Oh, I put the beetle here, I guess. So that's one AP. And then maybe I should just like back up. That's another AP. Okay, now I understand. So even walking takes AP. Okay, I kind of fuck with that. That was kind of cool. And look at how cute I am. And I love the little walking animation. Adorable. Yeah, it doesn't have the randomization that Midnight Suns has. So there's definitely some things that are like kind of different about it, but... Right now we're in the, um, just the tutorial area. Certain cards and monster actions inflict effects. These are varied conditions that persist for many turns and can eat be either positive buffs or negative debuffs. Okay, effects. Very conditions. When the player is affected by an affected by an effect, he will draw uh, an effect card. Um, could use some gender neutral language there, but early build. The effect card has its own rules and describes how they affect on the player. Okay, wait. Okay, when the player is affected by an effect card. Okay, so like I think the card like tells us what the effect is. Um, so good, I just wish it was 20 hours. Sure. That's the, and that's really, you know, it's funny because like, well, it's not funny, but like a lot of people are, with Jason Schreier's like tweet and like reporting and stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to crack my back. Ooh. Talking about like, oh, it's been a critical success, but like a commercial failure. Um, you know, besides the fact that it's kind of a niche thing, even just in my circles, which granted, like, you could argue, well, we're not really helping sell the game in the sense that, like, we don't buy the game. We usually just get codes for it. But so many people just skipped it because they were like, you know, it's just a little too long. Like, I don't have that kind of time, especially, like, the time it came out in. Like, anyway, sucks to hear that something can be fairly revered and still kind of end up not hitting the mark. Like, I don't know what that means for, like, the future of that franchise or, like, what their next game is and stuff from the team, but... Okay, 
Cool. When you find cards that inflict effects, try to experiment with them on enemies and yourself. The result might be really useful to your adventures. Okay. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Play your turn. Life exchange. That's like a super fun one to me. Um, just generally. I like the beetle bomb. Displace target on unit to target position. Fire a shot that pulls the caster to the impact point, then attack any unit at the impact point. Oh yeah, and then we can see like their... I think this is like how much they can move, like how much AP they have, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't know that I want to use any of these cards yet. Oh, excuse me. I guess let's try this. Cause yeah, this can basically this gets me to move around the board really quickly, I guess. So that's one AP. Hmm. I mean, can I end my turn early? I think I can, but I forgot how to end my turn early. So I guess I'll just move like, just back and forth. What's one called? Uh, this one's called Dungeon Drafters, like fantasy draft drafters. Um, there's a slight chance that I might occasionally mispronounce these or missay these names because I write them in my I'm writing them in my notebook, but I have really bad handwriting, so uh, I'll try to write a little clearer so I don't uh, misname games. Okay, so it'd be cool if I could move. Ooh, discard up to one card. To gain one AP and then jump to a target position. I think I'd want to jump to here. And then I can put this here. And then I can maybe just like. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, he's going to hit me, though, I think. Oh no, he can only like fire, I guess, far away. Cool. I mean, I guess I can just like... Oh yeah, yeah, boom, we did it. Great. Yeah, I like this game. This is nice. Bad handwriting squad, mine's awful. Yeah, I feel that. Some enemies may execute complex actions that are very precise and difficult to avoid. You can inspect an enemy to check their actions by hovering the mouse on their position. This will show their basic information and the actions they will execute. Uh, you can click on an enemy during your turn to check its actions more in depth. This will draw a danger zone of tiles. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, I like this guy. Okay. Oh, sorry for your audio a bunch. I was just... I'm gonna eventually, like, every now and then I, uh, inhale too much air and I'm like, uh, okay, hop. Okay. Seed bombs, and that's, like, where they're gonna land. I don't know if that's, like, its entirety of its range. Pursuit and slime bump. Um, okay. So maybe then I, like, at least move to, like, this one tile? Oh, how do I... Okay. Maybe I like move here. That's already two of my AP though. Ooh, summon a trick effigy of previous. This sounds cool. Um, I guess we'll give this a try. I don't know how well this works. But I think it avoids me getting a hit at all. Hopefully. 
Like, I think they'll pursue this guy, this person. My little effigy. Damn, I guess not. Well. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. I wish there was an undo. Oh well. Like, <laughs> I couldn't undo it, so. Damn, okay. Ah. Okay, slippery. So oh, shoot. I wish they told me more. Okay. Slippery servers makes units that move through them unable to stop their movement. Teleportation isn't affected. Okay. That's interesting. False dragon. Hey. Hmm. Just card a card. Rooted. Cast, discard, passive. Cast, sorry, cost to discard. Can't execute movements on surface and not back. Discard a single. I'm not, I'm confused on what this does. Wait. So. Can't execute movements or surface knockbacks. I'm kind of confused on what this one does. Hey, fish, I'm working with your stream. Oh, I appreciate you stopping by Sapphire Diamond and Ruby. Um. Hmm. Maybe let's try this. Like, can I just... Did that do anything? Maybe it didn't do anything. Oh, okay. What? Well, this is cool. Like, I can destroy... one of these things and get like a slime helper in my plate in its place okay and then what we got here we got i mean i think at this point i'm just gonna attack like regularly or maybe i can't i'm maybe i'm stuck yeah i think, I think that made me stuck or something I don't know. I'm gonna get hit again. Damn. Can I not move? Wait, why can't I move? Did I like root myself by accident? Shoot. Can I not quick jump? How do I move? I'm confused. Oh no, I might have like really messed up here. Or wait, what? Can I not move? How do I move? Okay, hold on, I'm freaking out. Let's see. What? I just don't know how to like walk anymore. Like why I can't walk. Just card a card and draw one card. Okay. I don't know. I'm just gonna rely on all these slimes. Something something went wrong here. Like I I think I got like trapped or like I there was like a effect that happened to me, so I might die here, but I'm hoping these slimes can help me. No, he's gonna hit me again. No, I'm dead. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Okay. Alright, well. Honestly, even though that was kind of um, a... What's the word? Kind of like a whack end in some ways. Uh, this seems really cool. I like this game. Kind of tempted to say... Yeah, yeah, it's man... Man... It's man a -lit, Like, mana. Okay. Mana Studios. Uh, Dungeon Drafters. 
honestly, this this could be a four out of five. Do I want to give it the four out of five? Again, I think the 4 out of 5 is a little much. I don't know if this was great. It definitely was good. Of a demo. Um, it might be the most unique thing we've played. It's tough because I didn't play that much. I didn't get like a good sense of like the exploration. You know what? I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. I'm going to say... You know, Planet of Lana might be the best thing we've played. It's up there for the best thing we've played, I think. Um, the systems were, like, really cool. Let's see. So this is Dungeon Drafters. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Okay, let's see. We're at for time. What do I want to do next? Um... Oh, oops. I think we can do at least like yeah maybe like one or two more before taking a little break feel pretty good about that um this one's way different because it's like a story game so let's see how it goes um Sorry, I'm like just, my back's been kind of sore today. All right, gosh, also this is really loud as well. Let me make this not the size of a game for ants. Arrow keys, not number pad, space, okay. Does it not have a full screen? Well, I guess we'll just look. Maybe it does have a full screen. Full screen would be preferred. If it doesn't have a full screen, maybe I'll like rescreen things just so that it fits. Um, so this is like a story game, I believe, and some of the art was like real funky, and I'm like, I don't know how I feel about this, but enough intrigued me that I'm like, I want to give it a go, so we're going to see how it goes. This is uh, Mr. Saito. I forgot to write it down, but it's in the corner, actually. The clock's a little much. So I think, like, does he die, or he's, like, dying? Yeah, he's definitely dying. The vibes are changing. <laughs> Who's there? Okay, can I... Can I not change the settings? To, maybe it doesn't have a full screen option. You know what? I'll just live with it. It's kind of ugly looking when it, it's like this in the overlay, but it took so long to get the sizing right. I'm just going to let it be. Where are you? Come and find me. Oh, sorry. Okay, hold on. So it's the arrow key. Oh, the movement's like real stiff. It's a bit stiff. Not a big fan of the movement. But like you're just walking left to right, so it's, like, it's kind of fine, you know? I don't think I'm supposed to leave my room. I'm supposed to be out of bed. I think I'm supposed to be walking around. I know that. Wait, what? Didn't they just say come and find me? What's going on here? Also, let me set my timer. Let's see. Wait, what? Do I just go back to my bed? I'm confused. Oh, the door maybe, right? Maybe like the space bar? Oh yeah, it's a space- Oh, and this is the bathroom though. Okay. I'm definitely not in there. So I guess I gotta check maybe through some things? The sound design is like way too loud compared to the background noise. Open the cabinet? Sure. Sometimes there's extra blankets in there. Why are you in my room? Who is this? Okay. Nope, not there. Hey, Bear Baldy, thanks for the sub. 
wrong. What the heck's going on? Is this like a ghost? Uh-oh. I heard you in the corner. What the fuck's going on? I'm like kind of stressed about this now. Like... Come out from there. Who's there? What's happening? Okay. Oh. Is there some reason you're out of bed? Walking around? Uh, I, um... Please, Mr. Saito. I'll, uh, go away. Hmm, is this a spooky game? Hmm. You really don't want... You really don't want to be moving around right now. You're right. I know it's easy to get a little stir-crazy here, but you gotta remember. Also, it's, like, a little too loud. I'll have to just manually drop the audio, because... I don't think they have settings set up for that. Okay, that, that seems better. So no making it worse, okay? Okay, I apologize. No worries, just take it easy. You had quite a fall, after all. The team will be back later today for your follow-up scan. So why don't you get some sleep? Okay. Take care, Mr. Saito. I don't think it's a spooky game. But it's like a little, like... What the fuck? <laughs> I thought she'd never leave. Who is this child? Why are you in my room? I'm Brandon. I didn't ask your name. I asked why you were in my room. Would you like to buy a bracelet? What? No. I love making friendship bracelets, and I've gotten pretty good at it. Look at this pattern. Pretty good, eh? Sure. There's not a whole lot to do here. That used to make me sad. But I have a lot of goals, you know? For example, I wanted to run my own business selling crafts that I make. Great. I also want to help people. One day I realized I can still do all those things here, so here I am. I see. What are you in here for? I, um, I fell down. Oh. Does it hurt a lot? It did at first, but now it's not so bad. They got pretty good medicine here. Also, oh, maybe he's like my hospital, like my, my roommate, basically. Where'd you go? I'm down here. What are you doing down there? You're not going to the bed, are you? I'm drawing. Drawing. Yeah. Want to see? No. I'm drawing llama worms, see? So much math. Oops, wrong side. That's my math homework. All right. Llama worm, is that his name? No, it's his species. His name is, what's your name? Me? Mr. Saito. His name is, Mr. Saito, what? That's interesting. Now what are you doing? I'm drawing, of course. Okay, I'm intrigued so far. Uh, Mr. This is a salary man. He has lots of stripes. Okay, done. They're all named Saito? On original ass kid. Yeah, it's a common name. How they tell each other apart? Well, they just know. But some of them have nicknames. Nicknames? Yeah. This is Wide Toe. <laughs> He's wider. He's calm. Everyone's doing his bu- When everyone's doing business and getting stressed, he calms them down. I dang it, this is not a joke, Brandon. I like Wide Toe. Yeah, he's the best. Okay, Mr. Saito, I gotta go now. These braces won't sell themselves. I hope you feel better soon. This is definitely giving me like a trippy vibe though. Like, oh, you've been dead the whole time, you know? Something like that. QZ reports show a steady decline in product efficacy. This is, as you know, unacceptable. I want you to ask yourselves, do we have a subscriber-defined game plan for monitoring emerging technologies? Do we have proactive strategies for managing finance informalities? Are we optimized for the cloud? On that note, I'll turn things over to Saito for his very important presentation. Saito? Saito? What is happening right now? He's a llama worm. Um, Saito? Saito, what are you doing? I, um... You can't be underground right now. You have a presentation to give. Yes, sir. Everyone pay attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's energy! I'm sorry, sir. I... I seem to have forgotten my notes for the presentation. I see. In that case, I'll give you one more day to prepare. Thank you, sir. Boss toe. Yeah, yeah.
I didn't even know that his name was Boss Toe. Yes, sir? I'd like you to help me with something. Do you see that stack of papers in front of Shy Toe? <laughs> what would your guys' name be in this world? There are metrics. There are important numbers. Very important. We can't make any decisions with that. I'm not even the obvious ones. <laughs> Let me ask you two something. Are you... Trains cool? Yes? Yes? Wrong answer! Oh no! Ashto, of course. The answer is we don't know. We don't know anything unless the metrics tell us so. Don't assume anything without the numbers. That's why you need to bring me seven metrics. Let me ask you something. Is Saito a good name? I like Saito. Wrong answer! We can't know something like this without metrics. Well, fuck this guy. Trains are sick as hell. <laughs> okay, next question is for both of you. Oh my gosh, don't ask me. Are metrics good? If I say yes, he's gonna say wrong answer. But if I say no... I mean, I've just never known anyone who loves metrics this much. Time's up. You failed! <laughs> but I didn't get a chance to bring me seven metrics. Okay, then. It's settled. Find me seven metrics from around here. It is pretty funny. Then bring me back... Then back to my desk. Your desk? My desk, right outside this conference room, you know. Did you have too much mud last night? I thought you could handle it. Oh ho ho! I'll go collect those now. Have a long day. You as well, sir. This is so cute. You collected a metric. Yeah, it's got like a funky vibe to it. We're gonna get these metrics. Hey, but then, then when you give him the metrics, he's mad about the metrics. Read it, box of crayons. This is everything I hate about corporations. Subpar Tau is so smart. Oh my gosh, what is that doing here? Stay away, stay away. You collected metrics. No. I probably should. I probably should ride the elevator or shouldn't? Shouldn't. That's what we were talking about corporate culture. Cute. Oh, shark. Oops, sorry. Can I go into these holes? Saito man. It's Waito. You just got here in time for cake. Oh, I love Waito. My two are family too. Saito. This cake looks most delicious. Yeah, I fucking love cake. This cake smells like bananas. Yeah, he's the best. Everybody loves him. I didn't get enough sleep last night. So I kind of fuck with this. It's like weird as fuck, but it's like, all right. Irato's not around, is he? I don't think so. Good, I really need this break. Irato wants you to listen to him, but he doesn't care about listening to you. That hurts. We Saitos have feelings too. Bento's from a place called Saito Mart. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Also, White Toe's always in this wide hole. What's up, Saito Man? You crazy? Standing up in front of everybody, then saying nothing, then going underground? That takes real inner length. <laughs> don't remind me. Oh, don't worry, man. It'll be alright. The boss gave you an extension. Your presentation's really cool. Everyone's gonna love it. Oh, I love him. And I'm so excited for more for showing his streams. Anyway, have a long day, Saito Man. You too. I fucking love him. I love him. He's the best. Oh no, not him. Oh, it's Irito. Hi, guys. Oh, would you look at the time? Now that I finished stapling all these bar graphs together, gotta run. I too have to bar graphs. Just wanna say, Twitch let me down. I'm gonna get the notification for the Yakuza chapter 12 mayor that you missed you meeting Majima, the eye patch, and Kiryu, the star that I know. Bummer, that sucks. Um, I have the video on YouTube. It's not up public yet. Right now it's just on my Patreon because I'm behind on uploading the VOD, having the VODs be public and I didn't want to post them all at one time. 
but it will be up there soon. I miss when Eddie would stream himself eating the Pokemon packs. Um, that definitely was a choice. And no one else. If you join the Discord, uh, viewers can get a notification. Yeah, I think... I feel like you might be in there. I think I have to update... There's a small chance that that link does not work anymore. I think I have to make a new one. Because I think that one might have expired, unfortunately. But... Add that to the list. Or I think I paused, like... Joins. And I have to re-trigger them. Uh, I watched the VOD here on Twitch. Nice! That Majin is the hardest for everyone. Might be time to update this message. Animal Crossing? Oh yeah, so much shit is out of date. That's why when I was like, uh, when I was looking through Steam games for the Next Fest, someone had like their trailer and it said like 2021 on it. And I was like, bro, you can't have this. But also like, I know exactly why you have this like this because I'm the same. Yeah, I think it might be a settings thing for the link. I don't think you can just pull in a new one. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, I used to stream a hell Animal Crossing. Um, I'd like to get back into Animal Crossing at some point. But, you know. You know how it goes. How many met- am I missing any more metrics? Can I see how many metrics I have? Oh, I have six. Oh my god, I'm so close. You know, the more I think about it, Bionic Bay is a one. I think it was- I think it was bad. There's not much to get back to. No more updates. Yeah, I mean, that's true. But I didn't finish the, um, the vacation one. What are the metrics on your metrics? That's a good question. Oh, man. I'd like to finish the met- find the metrics, at least. Um, I enjoyed this quite a bit. You know, we're getting close to the end of time on this demo. Um, I probably- I probably still would give it a 2 out of 5, but it's a 2 out of 5 that I enjoy a lot more that I think could be a 3 out of 5. It's just a little too early to say that it is, like, good. The demo was good. It was okay. It was, like, very solid. So far, what I like about this game is the absurdity and the humor that it has. Um, and kind of based on how it started with, like, sort of a serious setting of, like, the hospital and everything, it seems like it might have, like, go to wholesome places, which I think could be really cute. Okay, here we go. This is the next spot. Perfect, perfect, perfect. My metrics. Damn. Yeah, tend to become the, the Disney Dreamlight Valley streamer. I don't think so, but... That is an option. Let's see what's up with this guy. Did you know that Saito left Saito Corp to start his own business? He wants to open Minimori Cafe. I wonder how he's doing. Uh, I can't stand Minimori. Hey, come and think of it. Didn't you say your apartment had a Minimori infestation? infestation? Yes. Yeah, the Dream of Valley train never stops. Anyone else uh, that has a Series X slash S? Sorry about the dog outside. If you like tactics and friendship simulators, Marvel's Midnight Sun Legendary Edition. With all the costumes, it's 60 bucks. Deadpool DLC has already been released. Uh, yeah, uh, my friend worked on that DLC. Which is cool. Uh, Emma. <laughs> New update drops the day before e shit. I wonder how much crossover there is in those two audiences. Oh, here. Let me give my boss these metrics. This dog be going hard, man. I have your metrics. Hmm. Hmm. What is it? Trains are cool. Okay, one more task for you. Special code. Okay. Um. Time wish the best. The DLC for uh, Deadpool was great. Um, yeah, glad to hear that. There's a farm mini game in Ishin, so maybe more than you think. <laughs> oh hell yes, I love farming. Okay. 
Um, this was Mr. Saito. I give it a two out of five, but I enjoyed it more than the two out of five implies. The reason I just kind of say it's okay is, you know, what we did so far was pretty rote, but I do think the, um, the art style is really charming, kind of has like that Game Boy vibe to it, um, or like a DS era vibe. And I think the writing is pretty humorous and the setup of them being like, all these different Saitos, and you're kind of living in the world of this child's drawing or imagination, like... I think there's something pretty charming about that, so, um, I would be down to play more of this in that sense. Uh, but yeah, it was super solid. So, we'll do shut down. That was Mr. Saito. Um, I think we will take a break, because we've been going for about three hours. Uh, before we take our break, I think I might go and look at a couple other games that I might want to download from the wish list that we have. Um, let's see. Oh, this one, I definitely really want to download this because uh, we want us to do some of these racing games. So we'll add this to the pile as well. Can I pick one? Oh, yeah, you're... Uh, <laughs> I already know you want that... Uh, what's it called? Paranoid? There's a chance I might play that. I'll download it at least. I don't know if I can because it's a little too... Uh, it looks really scary to me. So I'm like, I think it's too scary. This this game, Paranoid. We'll download it. I don't know if, if we're going to actually play it because it looks really scary. But 15 minutes? It's like, how scary can it be in 15 minutes? I feel like that might be okay. Um, I have it on good authority that it's not that scary. Do you actually? Because it looks horrifying. Um, speaking of racing games, excited to play Gran Turismo 7 in VR. Um, I mean, I'll definitely try it out at least. Like, why not, you know? Dun, 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 dun. See, he doesn't even want to make the space for it. Oh, I think it's similar to Half-Life Alex, which is also scary to me is the thing. Lies. We'll see. But see, it doesn't even want to allocate the space, and I have a lot of disk space. That's the thing. Danarchy Reigns, thanks for the follow. So we downloaded a couple uh, random games here just to beef up the list, to make sure we don't run out too early. Uh, just as, as we're kind of going through those downloads before taking our break, to kind of recap what we've done so far, we started the stream at 12 p.m. PT. Been going for about three hours. Yeah, I mean, it, doesn't, it really doesn't want to allocate the space. I have a lot of space on my computer, so it's kind of weird that it's just taking so long, but maybe I'll oh, cancel and start it again. See, it's breaking the whole thing. Uh, did you watch the P... I did not actually watch the PSVR 2 unboxing uh, that we posted up. Um... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, like, I make a lot of, I'll make unboxing content because I know people like it, and sometimes I'll watch it. Um, I think since I know I'm getting it, I don't feel as compelled to watch an unboxing. See, it literally crashed Steam. Um, let me just hide my screen for a hot second. On the off chance, I don't know, it opens to my exact location or something on Steam. Uh, but we played Pico, which was a pass for me. Planet of Lana, great. Uh, Shumi Come Home, also great. Super Raft Boat Together, great. Town Seeker, pass. Bionic Bay, pass. Dungeon Drafters, great. Uh, and Mr. Saito, uh, kind of a mix. Like, it, I was intrigued. I'm like on the fence with Mr. Saito. And you know, we'll talk maybe more in more detail later. Uh, stop by to say hi uh, to this Nightbot for morale. Oh, what's up? How's it going? Okay, let's see, let's see. I'll retry download Paranoid again. Paranoid's a little too scary for me, so I don't know if we'll actually play it. But I'm thinking that maybe it'll, it'll be okay for like that small bit of time. But also it does not seem like it wants to download. So I think my computer knows that I'm not much of a horror person. So far I played three, four, five, six, seven, eight games. Uh, ideally we'd like to get through 25. If we can get through more, that's great. Um, we're kind of playing that by ear. Uh, each game is getting about 15 to 25 minutes, depending on... Um, depending on how long it takes to kind of get a sense of the game. Sandwich in between two Q games. Yeah, I don't know why this does, this does not want to load. I don't know. Uh, we'll get back to that. Cooks are forever. I already know I'm going to like that, so we probably actually will skip that one. Um... 
I definitely there's a puzzle game that I thought was really funky and cool that I want to make sure we play. Um, are there some racing games that I think will fill a good a good spot for us as well? Where is this puzzle game? It's like that 3D. I'm trying to look at it from the key art. Sometimes people don't have the best art. I remember picking this out, and now I'm worried that I maybe didn't wishlist it. Um, yo. Let's see. Or just not because Steam is breaking. Um, yeah, I know, right? Do you remember this puzzle game I'm talking about? It's like it had like this sort of funky perspective look to it. Maybe I already downloaded it. But I can't find it now. Ooh, let me try to look for it because I want to make sure we get to that one. We might even play that one next. Um, let me go on Merc. I don't think so. Let me see. Where's the next fest? I can probably just find it under puzzle. Maybe I didn't wishlist it and just like it didn't wishlist for some reason. It should come up pretty quickly. Let's see. Um, let's see. Or, or maybe I'm just passing over it each time. Let me look for it real quick before we take our break. It was like a jigsaw puzzle game, but it had, not this one. It had like, was it colored effects? No, not that one. Oh, shoot, you're right, it was Unmark. Thanks, Sifu. Um, I guess I should have believed you when you said Unmark. Um, you were right, my bad. What a bad name for that game. <laughs> Cause that doesn't mean anything. I was like, Unmark. I like barely even knew that that was anything. Uh, Janet, because everyone is saying what they love about the Last of Us show in reference to certain characters. Are there things so far you think the game did better than the show? Um, I mean, I think the game does action better than the show because as like I was talking to my family about that, like, oh, there hasn't really been like a lot of action, you know? And he's like, well, like my family's like, with, and obviously like, you fight humans in Last of Us as well, but with zombie action, a lot of times it's hard to make it look cool because like since they're, and I know they're not literally zombies because they weren't dead, but you know, the infected, right? Since they're kind of just like, puttering around it just ends up being kind of chaotic so it's like not that appealing to actually watch that even though it can be exciting to do in the game um so that would be the thing i think that's better in the game than in the show but yeah loving the show so far um i think it's installing sometimes like it says download and then it's actually already downloaded so let me just go to my library. Oh, yeah, it's here. And so is the paranoid one. But OK, cool. Let's go ahead and uh, take a, a bit of a break um, for about like five minutes or so. Maybe I'll like get a like a snack or a light lunch or something. Um, and because maybe we'll play Unmark while I like eat or something if I want to eat on stream. So I'll take a break for about five minutes plus or minus. In the meantime, you can enjoy the song Shoe is composed by my Sorry, the song Shoob as composed by my brother and enjoy the chair stream. And I will be back in five minutes plus or minus. Uh, see y'all in a bit.
I kind of hit my knee sitting back down here, but what's up, y'all? Thanks for hanging around, waiting. Sitting here waiting. Um, just made a quick sandwich. I know the chair stream ended. <laughs> I don't know. It'll be back, so stick around for the chair stream again. Um, let's do the let's do unmark then. Not gonna lie, this sandwich is like not that interesting. It's literally just bread and ham. But I don't have like good sandwich ingredients right now. At the ready, so it's like okay, it's gonna be pretty basic. What I really wanted was McDonald's, but I don't have anyone to hold it up. It's just like a regular, regular sandwich. The bread is a little toasted, but you can't tell from here because it's like very lightly toasted. Mm, okay, so the only game you missed played, Jason, was Mr. Saito, I think. Bread and ham, my favorites. I wish I had the um, hot Cheetos to like layer it. I'm finding a nick for sandwich myself. Um, this will be a good one to like play that's chill, presumably. And again, they really just throw you into it. Um, so I'm, oh, I'm not gonna lie y'all. I don't know if I'm smart enough to play this game, but it looks interesting as hell. So it's like, it's a puzzle, but you can like look at it from these different angles. So we're gonna have to try to figure this out. Let's see. Hmm. I don't think anything here. Sometimes I do these puzzles with Isaiah and like I contribute so little <laughs> to the board. Uh, is this it? No, I don't think so. So I think it'll like snap in place when it is. Hmm. Oh man. This seems like an easier starting point. Got such a big panel. Yes, much better. This made my brain go. Brr, brr. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel at least it starts kind of easy. Oh, but like there's coloring too to this, so maybe that that can help give us some hints. Maybe. Hold on, hold on. Is that the sound you make? The sound I make for the. Brr? Yeah, that's the when I say Bringo Burr, I think Bringo. Brr. Um, yeah. All right, so let's see. Oh, I'm gonna need some more coffee. Oh, it's not even that I'm tired, but I don't know. I guess I just have a tendency to yawn after a while. Let's see. This isn't quite right either. Apologies if you can definitely see the answer, and I just can't. This would be a great Apple Arcade game. I haven't played Stitch, I don't think. I'm really lacking on the uh, Apple Arcade stuff. Bird of me is uh, the hum of the machinery. I wish they had a little bit more in the way of the music, and I know, like, it has to be casual because... Yeah, sure, I'll take a hint. Because it's gonna be playing for so long, especially if you're like me and you suck at it. I think it folds around the edges. I don't think you can totally hold it completely at this angle, though. I think it only goes per side. Folds at the edges, the pieces. Oh! Oh! Well, hold on. That only helps me a little bit, because, again, I'm not very good at this. Well, not not there, though, but... So is it like... Oh, no! This one, it just fits there. Fly squares are the face of the violin. Is this a violin? I thought it was a guitar. Like, towards the front. Well, the white, then, maybe, is going to be this thing. Oh, a guitar, yes. Okay, let's see. Mm. Mm, mm Oh, wait, here. Okay. So it's probably like most of the white. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, this is really cool, by the way, you know? Obviously it's, it is just like a, it's a puzzle, but um, I think it's pretty interesting. I haven't really seen a take quite like this one. Um, kind of reminds me of, um, Ooh, I can't remember the name of the game at all, but it kind of has like a Paxel voxelness to it that we played like a year or two ago. I mean, two years ago. And it's kind of like a puzzle box thing and you were rotating stuff. I have no idea if anyone remembers the game I'm talking about. It's not Tetris. <laughs> hmm. Okay. 
I make sure I wrote down this game name too. So this is on a Merc. And it looks like there's some, let me see. It looks like there's some. Oh, I wonder what this, what does that do? Can I like, huh? Does that like, tell me that it goes, oh. Oh, it tells me the answer. What the fuck? That's great. So like, let me just look at, look at that again. Wow. It's telling you that's where it goes, lol. Yeah, that's awesome. Because sometimes I feel like I would get stuck, get stuck, so... Yeah, ultimate strat. And then, uh, here we have just sound and stuff. The music. My progress, two out of a hundred. Oops. Hold on. No! What happened? We accidentally closed it. Oh, yay, it's saved. Yeah, those Freudian slips, they'll get ya. So I'm guessing that this has... I mean, it's facing, like, this way. Because I don't think they can rotate. Right? Like, these don't rotate at all, I don't think. Only this can rotate. Hmm. I feel like this should be obvious where this goes. And I think it'd be like along these kind of like the shared edge, right? But no, it's not. It's not quite it. Can I rotate these? I can't, I don't think so. Okay, well we have two pieces. Let's look at this one. This one's like hooked. It's the bottom, but it needs to rotate. Yeah, how do I rotate it though? Or is it because I rotate the guitar? Oh, thanks. Good call out. Good call out. Okay. Let me look for this one. Maybe the, maybe the bigger piece will be easier. So it's like... Aha! Okay, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, so... Brown with some of the white. Uh, thanks for the follows. Appreciate it. Uh, this is on Merc from Steam Next Fest. Uh, that one is the base of the neck on the side. The base of the neck on the side. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, now I see it. Now I see it, I think. Well, the, I think of that more as the top of the neck. Wouldn't that be the top of the neck? Oh, but it has to be like... Oh, it doesn't fit though. I thought it was, I thought it would be here. But maybe like rotate the other direction. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. It's got to be the other piece. Oh, the other piece. Oh, the other piece. Okay, hold on. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> oh man, as you can see, it's not really. This is not my genre of expertise, but still fun and not not insanely hard. Like I'm pretty bad at it, but I'm getting some of these pieces in here. No, <laughs> that seemed like it was something. Um, this is gonna be like this has to be this, right? Yeah. Okay. Great. Um. That's convenient, just like one big ass piece. Great. And look how cute you get this cute little art. It's nice. I wish the music was was better. I know I should have seen if you could like interact with it more. Um, okay, so this is this will be super fun in VR as well. Um mm -mm. It's interesting too because instead of rotating the the piece, you're rotating the whole thing. 
Um, okay, so it kind of has that stairs look to it here. I feel like it's got to be like one of these, but from this direction. No, not not quiet. Maybe the other side. But then it'd have to be like, they still have to be going this direction. Oh, but maybe if it's this one, it's this direction. No. Uh, this one's way more complicated than the guitar. Yeah, the pieces aren't a big. Yes, it's really good. Uh, yeah, I think I remember uh, seeing a thing. I think it's the sided, like side. Oh yeah, so maybe like. Yeah, you're right. And then this one, it has like one piece sticking out. It seems like it'd be here, but maybe here from like another perspective. Yeah, here it is, here it is. Yeah, this is cool. I like this. Okay. A couple, like... Okay, maybe if I could rotate it, like... Hold on. This way? There's, like, one piece sticking up. It's this, it's this but, like, the other angle of it? Sometimes I have trouble, like, getting it to move, like, how I want it to be. I'm like, okay, there it goes. Steam Deck. Oh, I have no idea. I want this mobile so I can play before bed. Yeah, this would be a great, like, iPad game. <clears throat> this is really chill. Um... I don't think so, which is like my only gripe about it. Oops. Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Um, oops. Hold on. I just want to look at more of this stuff. I don't think you can really... I think this like maybe resets it. Hey man, we're gonna remember. Unmark. Why is it called unmark though? Does that mean something? <clears throat> Okay, so I also like that they only give us like a few pieces at a time. It's murky, so it makes and you make it less so. Nah, it sucks. <laughs> like demurking, like I don't know. It just it's not good. Like it doesn't. When I think of when you tell me a game's called Unmurk, I do not picture this. I don't picture anything actually. Um, maybe I picture something underwater, but it's just gotta be these stairs over here. I think. Oh, it's this, but maybe from, like, if I move it up and turn it. Wrong way, I think. Well, unless it's, unless it's, like, wait, it's this, is, no, this isn't tall enough. I'm getting warmer, but. No, not, not quite. Let's see. Oh, someone, one of you guys have already solved this. Oh, it's this other side. It's this piece. It's this piece right here. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. All right. Um. Let's see. So it has one, like, tall, singular one sticking out. Could be this, but from, like, another angle. No, not quite this one. I feel like it was the right idea, though. So maybe it's the other side? Unmerk, maybe search engine optimization. Like, narbacular drop, aka portal. Oh, I don't remember anything about that. The bottom piece... ...is on the bottom. Oh, like this piece? The bottom piece is on the bottom? Also, is this what y'all consider to be the bottom? Because... Like, I keep thinking it's this, but... Or, like, this other one. Also, I realize this might be frustrating to watch because it's like you just see me do the same mistakes <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> but... I'm not, like, the best with... Perspective. Um... <laughs> oh my gosh. 
when you go unmark this game is the only thing that comes up the bottom part in the water yeah lay it yeah this is a play while pooping game for sure <laughs> should be on mobile um yeah well maybe the, hopefully they bring it there let's see the original prototype of portal before it was art acquired by valve the team called it nerbacular drop so i could appear at the top of results yeah maybe maybe it is just an seo play But even so, okay, maybe I'll just focus on this piece because I'm like, I don't, I'm like, not sure what's going on. Oh, it's this, this one is this thing? No. Maybe not. No, this is not right. Maybe this piece, but. I'm like, what? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do another uh, 10 minute timer. This one doesn't really need the 25 minutes, but... The big section. Oh! Is it... <laughs> Fuck! I don't know where anything is. Okay. Wait. Yes! Boom! Haha! -ha. Hell yeah, it's all coming together now, baby. Let's go. Yeah, we don't really need more time for this game because I feel like, again, you can see what it is with the time we've spent, but I do want to finish eating. Flip it down twice. One, two. You get the one big piece. Ah, thank you. Okay, um... Or well, unless you meant this one, and I just happened to get the other one. Where this one is... So, it's got like that little dip in the middle. But it's mostly pretty blocky. Where does this go? No. That's like a one piece down. I'm shooting visual, so this will go fast for me. Interesting to watch you play it though. <laughs> oh man. A brutal read from Don't Bash Ash, but you know <laughs> this sure is a tweet. <laughs> um I think people would like this game. I wonder how like difficult it gets. Um you get to see how the other half lives. Yeah, you're right. It's on the butt. Oh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, like, I suck at these. But, like, I know this, you know? Like, the thing that I do know is that I'm not good at these. Um, that was what needed to be rotated. Yeah, on the butt. Okay. Yeah, like, my brain's operating at, like, one frame a second right now. The butt of the boat. The stern. It's the butt. Also, like, tell me why I didn't even realize this was a... <laughs> Y'all, I did not realize this was a boat. I thought it was like some, I thought it was like a bird or something or like a ship. Like a, I was looking at it like this mostly. I guess it is a ship, like a fucking boat. I'm not joking. Mm -mm. I was like, I don't know. I just see shapes. <laughs> you know those ink blot tests? What do you see? Like, I don't know what the fuck I'd be seeing there. Yeah, I saw this as like a bird. Dead ass. I'm not not even joking. That's why I said the part in the water. I didn't understand what that meant, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I did know the other thing was a guitar, though. I did know that. But I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a boat. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all are stuck here with me. You can't tab out. Um, it's not possible. We don't have the technology. Okay. So this has this thing. Yeah. Boom. Uh, everybody sees the boat but you. And it, you know what's funny though? Looking at it like on the stream, it's like very clear that it's a boat to me. But like, so they, it's like the same image. I don't know. But I just, I didn't know it was a boat. I gotta be honest. I could have kept that to myself and maybe I should have. But okay, I think I know where this goes. Oh wait, just kidding. I thought I was a G. No, it's the other way. The other way. 
Yes, the bottom. You were too you were too close to to understand it. <laughs> it's always easier when you watch someone, you know, do it, do something like this, even though I'm also just bad at it. So, okay, um Okay, it's got the little stairs. I mean, it's got to be like... But it's the stair piece. I mean, it's got to be the bottom because of the... No, what? But then also, what's with this thing? What? Give me a second. Oh, uh... Yeah. Oh, here we go. This is still going to take way longer than it should, even though it's only in one piece. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, here we go. No, it's all good. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, it's a boat! Okay! What's the- okay! What the fuck is this? Can y'all tell me already what this is? You cannot flip the pieces instead of the puzzle, not to my knowledge. What the fuck? Why do y'all see that so quickly? I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything in that. That I got lucky. I wasn't even looking at the screen when that happened. This is gonna be way harder. Well, now I now that you told me to crack this. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How y'all saw that instantly though? It's so weird. Okay. Um. <laughs> Thanks for the clip, I appreciate it. Especially because I can't clip things out myself today. Because it's like in a different tab for me. Come on. Really? That doesn't fit there. Are you sure? Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyone here playing the Splatfest? No, I'm not playing the Splatfest. I have to get back on Splatfest. Okay, this has to be the bottom part. <clears throat> to some degree, because it's the like kind of vasey situation. Damn, this shit's hard. Hmm. Maybe just towards the bottom. This magnitude is hard in the boat. I think it's because, like, until we start to see where the white and the green goes exactly. This piece is smaller, so it should be... And maybe it's harder to spot, but it should be, like, on one of these sides, I feel like. I'm so surprised it's not... This spot. Oh, but maybe it is from a different angle or something? Maybe it's this one? Oh, yeah, okay, great. Whew. Okay, so... I think it's here. It's got that little piece sticking out. Yeah, okay. Ham and air. Is that PB and L? Yeah, it's a ham. <laughs> it's not ham and jelly. It's just ham. Hamming it up. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it's like flat with like a two gap in the bottom, a little like a one square gap in the bottom. I'd imagine it'd be something like here, but I don't see it. The ham juice. Move your mouse. Your mouse was right on it, twice to the left. What? Oh. Hmm. 
I don't see this. The dark brown is the dirt in the pot. The right corner. Oh. Great, thanks. Let's see. Um. Okay. Oh, I think I see it here. And then... That one should be here. Or no, maybe it's- oh, it's the other angle. Then this is the pot from this side. Oh no, not this side. Oh, this side. Wait, I see it, I see it, I see it. Then we have... Green, it's the stair. It doesn't fit in that one. Oh, I think it's this, this one right here. All right, then we have the tuning fork. It's this angle here. Then we have this one with the stair kind of gap to it. Um, getting the hang of it. Yeah, we're get, we're finally piecing it all together. Um, maybe the top? No, but just have like a stair kind of component to it. Maybe this one. Yeah. Yeah, this one's going, like, way faster. Okay, I see it right here. And then this one is gonna be... Maybe... Maybe, maybe this one? I think it's this one. Uh, during the stream where you play this out, I thought this game looked really dumb, but now I want to play it so bad. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought it looked awesome. Um, that's why I picked it. You know, I, I tried to pick stuff that I genuinely thought looked good. I wasn't, like, trying to... I don't know. Set games up for failure or something. Yeah, I, I really like stuff like this. And I actually find this a lot more manageable than, like, more traditional puzzles. Um... And again, there's, there's definitely been puzzle games like this before, so it's not, like, the most novel thing in the world. But I really like this. I think the voxel kind of pixely style is very cute as well. Okay, this one, I feel like it'd be towards the bottom. But maybe not. It's kind of, like, wide also. Maybe it's on a side. It has a gap. It has like that U gap thing. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Then this one is another tuning fork. Uh, it's right here. Someone finds this game on mobile, DM me immediately. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully they bring it to other platforms. Okay, this one's just like a chunky piece in the middle. This guy is like a little bit tall. And off to the side, but it has like the th the steps. So let's see. A little bit of the stairs. Oh, but also it's like the gaps. Okay. Um, and then this one goes here. I think this one having the gaps really helps. Like it's a lot easier to identify to me. Here we go. This one's chunky piece. Um. See, this one goes here. I feel like it's kind of racially motivated that the easiest one I find is the cactus of these. I'm like, oh yeah, I know where these pieces go. <laughs> the love always made pre uh, lines on the side is their most popular. Oh, cool, cool. Thanks for the the calling that out. Yeah, hopefully this comes to mobile. Uh, I really like it. It's it's pretty fun. So this one's kind of like the stair formula. That stair look to it. But it's like a really big piece. I'm not seeing stairs on the bottom part, except for here, maybe. Maybe it's like. Wait. Was it this piece right here? But then it would have to be like. You know what it, what it is? I have a hard time, like, also rotating stuff to get it, like, how I want it to look. No, see, it's not right. Oh, the very bottom of the pot. Oh, yeah, smart, smart. That makes sense. There we go. I haven't even actually looked down there at all. Um, okay. This also has pot stairs. Or, oh, it's this one, I think. And then this one is like, has that Z to it, and then it's like kind of dense. Let me see, I think that this one might be just on the sides. Here it is. Another 
friend. I think this one's kind of long. It's this guy. Right here. Okay, for the next puzzle, no one say what it is and see if she- Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will look at- let's look at it. And then we have to stop because we have to play other games, but... Um, okay. Let's see. You guys should see me pit play pick cross and try to guess what the things are. So this is in the pot a little bit. This one... I think this one also just had, you know, all jokes aside, it had more distinct, like, separation of, like, top and bottom and stuff, too, so... Okay, um... And this piece is probably gonna be right here. Then we have... Oh, this piece has, like, some of the blocky bits. Hold on now. Just kidding. Just kidding. Hold on. It's, like, almost done, but... That was it. Really? Hold on. Let me try to, like, get it to look right again. No, this isn't it. It's like the other side, right? But like... No. Wait. Okay, cool. Now I was like, eh, where did it go? Um, okay, this is gonna be the back. Oh, hold on, sorry. This is like so inefficient. There we go. Finally, Jesus. So cute. I wish you could, like, click it and have, like, something, like, come out of it or something. I don't know, you know? Okay, this is a lock and a key. So that this one was easy. <laughs> this one was easy. And we're actually almost done with, like, the whole demo. This was awesome. Um, honestly... I kind of want to give it a 4 out of 5. I think it was great. Um, I think it is a great game. I mean, it's very simple. But, um... Yeah, I really like this one a lot. This was kind of like a sleeper for me. Um, again, it's a little less innovative than... So far, like, as far as innovation, the most innovative game, I think, here was Dungeon Drafters. And even that, like you guys said, is kind of just like, oh, indie Marvel's Midnight Suns. Um, and, and I also don't think games don't need to inherently feel innovative to be, like, of that higher quality. But just like in terms of like novelty and stuff like this doesn't have a lot of novelty to me in the sense that i have played games that are kind of like this but really well executed idea a slightly different angle on this kind of puzzle game than i've seen before i i like what they do with the hint system like other than the music like the lack of um good background music i think this i have like no notes for this game it's awesome um yeah i think if you want to be harsh it'd be a three out of five i think for me this is a four out of five uh demo like it is, maybe even if we're being like petty and really just keeping it to the demo, it could even be a five out of five and that like, it's just awesome. Um, but yeah, and I found a very, oh nice, a Raid Verse is definitely on my list. Um, we haven't done any racing stuff yet. Um, do we wanna do, you know what? I think this could be quick. So, cause it might also not feel that great or it might feel awesome and then we'll, we'll just spend however much time we want to with it. I don't know if it supports controller. I think it does. I hope it does. This is accelerate to the tropics. You you drive a bike and you're trying to keep an egg from falling out of the basket. Um, in this economy, um, give me a few seconds here. I know, right? The tonal whiplash. I know. I love love a good tonal whiplash. Also, this is like a very washed comment, but let me show you guys this thing real quick.
So you guys know I've had some like back pain and stuff, and like one of the good ways to relieve like any muscular pain is just heat. Um, and I have like a heating pad that I like, own that I've like owned for a, a while, and I use that a lot. And I've, I've been using like it pretty much every night as a way to like relax and try to like ease up my muscles and stuff. But my dad put me onto these, and they're really good. If I'm being honest, uh, I know it's like inverted, so you can't really read it. But you can get these from CVS. And I presume it's similar stuff to Walg at, at Walgreens. It's called a medicated heat patch. And literally, you just, um, it's like a, it has like a plastic. And then you just peel it off like a sticker. And you just put the heat pad, the, the little patch, it's like a little sticker you put on your like back or your leg or any muscle. Um, and it just gives off this heat. It's kind of like, you know how there's like icy hot and has like the heat to it and then there's like other like creams that have heat to it it'd be like if that was being applied constantly and all the time um and it's dope it is a little intense so i could see it like being a little too much for people and i and the adhesive does kind of like leave residue on your skin that you might need like rubbing alcohol to get off of but i was like oh let me put one on today like you know we got a long stream and stuff and like my back feels a little stiff today and it's fucking awesome uh hey that would be good for my hubby uh, slipped on ice. Oh, icy stairs. Damn, that sucks. Um, not having to slip on ice is like one of the best things about living in California. But yeah, my dad put me onto these and I love them. They're awesome. They're a little pricey. Um, cause I think like a pack could be like maybe seven to like plus dollars, which since they're kind of one time use, it's a bit. Um, you sh cannot wear them for more than eight hours, but I do tend to wear them for like the full time. Allergic to latex and band-aid adhesives. Yeah. So obviously, you know, it's not a it's not a one size fits all thing. But if you can use it, it's for allegedly arthritis, back aches, sprains, strains, and bruises, and I really like it. Um, I use Bifree spray. I haven't used the spray yet. I I have used the cream, and actually I had like um, one thing that really helped me because I'm kind of now in like my recovery phase, my active recovery phase. But I'm definitely still very paranoid and anytime I don't feel like I felt so good like on like Monday and Tuesday and then like because I took off from the gym like the end of the week I'm like, oh my god, I feel like I'm getting weaker. Like I feel stiffer and maybe it's all in my head You know so much of it is mental um, But when I got um, I got a massage on Sunday and I added biofreeze to it like I fucking love biofreeze um Something else I've used too for like our cream thing is rock sauce. Not my favorite thing in the world, but like it was it was cool, it was fine. I think any of those kind of muscle creams are like always good, but this is awesome. Like you can just wear it under your clothes, like I'm wearing it now. Again, this sounds very sponsored, but which also medicated generic Medicaid heat patch company if you're watching this, <laughs> sponsor me. But um yeah, I like uh I've liked this a lot and it's really nice, especially too because Whenever I get period cramps, um, they're actually in my lower back, so... Like, getting to have this and be able to, have, like, have that all the time. I know, um, y'all, we were so close to getting Little Caesars to give us some coupons or something to do, like, a sponsored Let's Play thing. And it just didn't work. They just kind of ghosted me at a certain point, but it was so close. So, I get 40% off, so... Oh, nice! Um, yeah, I miss those, like, pharmacy discounts. We're never gonna forget that. Uh, I'll talk to our, our marketing brand manager. Do you offer of everything? I think there are some limitations on it. Because I'm assuming, is that employee discount, Ash? Uh, I don't have the McDonald's app because of Janet. We should pursue that. Um, oh, yeah. I'd love McDonald's as well. They did send me... I don't think I ever told you guys this because it didn't come up, but... And I, I was, like, paranoid that it wasn't actually McDonald's, so I gave them my P.O. box instead of my home address. But McDonald's sent me PR once, and they sent me the 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 sauces, the Swizen sauces or whatever, sriracha sauce, whatever. Schwat, y'all know what I'm talking about the Rick and Morty sauce. Yes, Szechuan, yeah, Szechuan sauce. Um, and I think they gave me like a thirty dollar gift card or something with it. And it was like kind of random, but it was like very cool. And I really hope that I stay on this PR list to some degree, but. There's a lot of companies I'd love to collab with, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, for now, we're gonna play Excellent to the Tropics. I hope it's fun. I hope this game is good. It seems like you can unlock other cars or other vehicles. 
Okay. Maybe it doesn't have controller support. Oh, it's R T to drive. Can I move the camera angle? They also do. There's a word for this that Edwin told me about, but they do like that. They do like the handmade, like, like homemade sounds. Like you can tell it's someone being like. Bruh, 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 bruh. It's not Foley, because Foley is like. I, I mean, more like with their mouth kind of thing. Uh, which you can do that too, because Fo Foley is more like. You know. Oh, I stepped on the thing and I made the noise. Like, Foley work is super common in sound design. There's a word for this style of sound design because, um. Jelly Car also uses that kind of sound design, and I've played, like, Hidden Folk also uses that kind of sound design. It's like a very like homemadey, like add a mic kind of sound. Oops. Okay, let's let's play this for real because we've been messing around, and I will say I do not like the soundtrack to this game. It is like a little too one note. Oof! You can tell it's just the same thing, like looping over and over again. Let's try at least finish the track. The goal is for oh, they have the eggs on the ground. Um, I mean, I, I will say I don't like that kind of sound design. I've heard uh, more grating versions of this, though, so I'm kind of okay with this one. Oh, no! I do like that you have the eggs on the ground. And maybe this wasn't done with, like, the mouth sound thing, but it kind of reminds me of it. Maybe I'll just go this direction. I'm trying to, like, only press the gas a little bit. Woo! Damn, this will be fun for multiplayer. This looks like it was made in dreams. It does kind of have a little bit of that look. Um, and I get what you mean. I kind of hate the... I mean, it, it's hard not to make that comparison because it... Dr so many, not all, but a lot of dreams games have that, like, specific look to them. And this does c have a little bit of that. Oh, I forgot to also put my timer on here. It does have a little bit of that look. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so far, this is feeling like a two. Like, it's okay. I'm not as into it as, like, Mr. Saito in terms of, like, twos. But I think it's, like, a cute idea. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Fling to the Finish. No, it's not. I would love for it to be, like, part of the PlayStation Collection or something. Would you spend money on it? Um, no. But I also wouldn't play it for free, so it's not a, it's not a money thing for me. Like, I think this is my first and last time playing this. Because it's just okay. Like... If I was doing this for, like, I could see this being fun for, like, multiplayer or, like, fun for certain streams. Because I do like the challenge of the balancing the egg thing, but I just don't think, ultimately, it's, like, quite compelling or quite goofy enough for me to want to do it more than just taste testing it out right now. Um... Okay, here we go. Even if you could earn some money based on the progress and then make some upgrades for your bike, that would add a lot to it. Oh! Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it, it's like a, it has like a party game. Like, party game, goofy stream moment vibes. Like, it's not bad, actually. Um, like, I think the concept is super fun. It's intriguing to me. I'm enjoying this challenge of trying to get this egg to, like, the end. I do wish there were maybe checkpoints. Or, like, the option for checkpoints, because I don't know if I'm ever going to make it to the end. Um, and yeah, I think as, like, a split-screen game, this would be, like, kind of fun. But it's definitely, like, a few fun moments. Not, like, oh, pick up... Like, I wouldn't, like, play this for that long. Oof! Yeah, it would be fun dr drinking game. Yeah. I do wish, like, without checkpoints, it's, like, kind of rough. Because I'm going pretty slow. Like, I'd like to be able to have, like, a little bit more fun with it. There's a lot for the first level. Yeah, that too. They they probably could use some easy wins out the gate. All right, here we go. Motherfucker. <laughs> no checkpoints on short level. It's frustrating. Okay, let's let's try to like let me go for it for a hot second again. Let's be a little chaotic. Maybe I'll make maybe I'll, we'll try to make this shortcut or whatever. Because I think this is a shortcut. 
Got the dog, the neighbor's dog barking at us. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'd be clenched the whole time playing this. It's a little intense. And even like the slowdown, you're kind of like... Yeah, physics-based games like this are often like a holistic miss for me. Fucking bitch! This makes me want to play it, but I also wouldn't pay for it. Um, yeah, I mean... Like, well, here's the, you know, here's the funny thing. Having played it now, since I don't think it has split-screen multiplayer, I wouldn't pay for it. If it has split-screen multiplayer, I might pay for it if it's cheap enough, actually. Just to, like, have something to do that breaks it up. Because there just aren't that many party games around. Because, like, y'all know me, like, I hit low to, low to high on the eShop all the time. And I actually do buy games like this. Like, this is a game that I would buy before playing it if it was cheap enough. Uh, after playing it, since it, I think it's only single player, I have to check. Um, I'm like, uh, I don't think that I get, I have much use for it. Personally, because I, I don't find this loop fun enough to want to do a, a lot at scale, you know? I think two of the levels were shorter. They are, like, pretty long. And you really can't give it the gas because you will, like, lose all your stuff. There we go. Finally! Yeah, part of that is the look at the crazy game I found. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh damn. I do like the like trying to speed up and kind of catch the egg aspect of this track. Oh shoot. Like whoo, you give it some gas and then you like catch it back again. Fucking bitch. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's a rotund, right? It's like, okay. Like, there's something kind of fun about that aspect of it, but it isn't, like... It isn't quite... It's a little too hard, I think, to, like, feel like, okay, I want to give in to this, like, doofy challenge, you know? Um... Uh, that too. They definitely need more than one song. Okay, this I give a, um, uh... I'm gonna maybe try a two and a one. It's not, it's not that it's bad. It's just, like, very one note. Like, I think the idea is a two out of five, but the execution might be leaning a little bit more towards a one. So I'm kind of split on this one. Have to think about it more. And again, I would get, if this had, let me see, actually, now I'm curious, does it have a uh, local, like, multiplayer? Because if it has multiplayer, like, I could see this being fun for specifically that. Um, but without that, like, on my own, like, ah, uh, now single player, I, I personally would not want to, like, go through this campaign. If the levels were maybe shorter or something, you know, but, like, yeah, it just, it, it didn't hit, it didn't hit. So this was egg Accelerate. This dog's wilding out, man. To the tropics. That one's a no for me. Um, let's actually just keep on the racing train, and I would love to try out. Oh, what's it called? It's like um something with animals or something. Shadows of a doubt. It's something animals. Y'all kind of know what I'm trying to remember. It was like that animal racing game. It insists upon itself, not Animal Crossing. No, it's like a snowboarding game. Let me maybe look back to my wish list because I don't remember the name of it. I thought I downloaded it. Maybe I didn't download it yet. Not Relegator, that's also cool. It's Slope Crashers, this is the one. It might already be downloaded and I just can't see. Oh no, I didn't download it yet. Okay. 
got a point to make. It's insisting. <clears throat> All right. Keeping the racing uh, train moving. Oh no, Steam's not responding. Come on, Steam. Yeah, yeah, you did it. Okay. I knew you could do it. Bit pirate. It did end up downloading eventually. Okay. <clears throat> oh, let me put the desktop audio back up because I had put it down because one of the games was like super loud. Oh, remote play together, I think, that popped up on the side. Am I dropping- am I, like, dropping frames? Am I framey for anybody? It doesn't say I dropped frames, but I feel like I'm seeing a lag now on my end. Right? What is that? Is it the game? Is this low-key, like, really intensive? Okay. Yeah. Now it's, like, fine. Right? Is the game like really taxing on my PC? Is it like okay now? Let me know if it's okay now. Only when the game was on. That's weird. We'll try it one more time. And if not, we might just have to not play Slump Crashers then because maybe my PC can't run the game and um, stream at the same time. Because I, I do play and stream off the same game, so. Let's see. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> wait, wait. I think it's okay now. Okay. Oh, I'm like seeing it here and there. Right? Let me see if I can, um, Okay, let me see if I can just make it, like, the frame rate less high. You know that weird thing that happened to Pippin when he grabbed the ball and lowered the rings? I think it's okay now. Yeah, it looks fine now to me. Let me know. I brought down the frames from unlimited to, like, 30. Let's see, can we do 60 and still be okay? I think 60 could be okay. Okay, let's see. How is it now? Okay, I think it was just like... They were having this run at like... The maxes of max settings. I don't know. Um, okay, yeah. It looks fine. I didn't get a drop frame alert on my... OBS, but I just saw like... When I started moving, it would be like delayed and stuff. Um, yeah, it must have been at like... Something ridiculously high. I don't know. Okay. All right, let's see. Well, here's the thing. Um, they're not the only game to have that. Like, I've seen that setting a couple times today, like unlimited frames, like uncapped frame rate. But I guess maybe like that just set it like insanely high or something. I don't know, but it was, my PC was chugging for some reason, so. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do some training actually. It's, it's a little boring to do training in a, in a racing game, but let's like not pretend like we know how to play. Okay. Um, choose control layout. This can be customized and changed later. Racer and trickster. Simple control scheme for racing. Trickster random. Oh, let's do the basic one. Um, so that we just do random tricks. Um, okay. 
You'll learn the basis on how to- Okay, let me know if it changes for some reason, if like the frame rate drops again or something. Okay. Um, it controls well. Feel pretty comfortable with it, you know? I'd want us to obviously like do a little more before I definitely say that it controls uh, good. Um, okay, you'll learn to stop and accelerate. Okay. So it's uh, slow down and then we can gain speed by like hopping. I, I did that a little bit poorly, but. Gliding. Okay. Interesting, like a Riders Republic vibe. Oh, I forgot about snowboard kids. Okay. Press RB while in the air to do a trick. Cute. You do move like a little bit slow. Oh, sorry, that was me with the camera. I feel like I'm pressing RB and I'm not always doing a trick. Hmm. Press RB while in the air. I feel like I am pressing RB, right bumper, right? I think I have to like, I think you have to move the, the, the joystick a little bit. Maybe I do need to hold it for longer. Um, yeah, the music is meh. In this session, we're going to miss on how to, uh, glide on a rail or whatever. Well, how do I do it? Do they tell me? Oh, slide, jump onto the rail. Can I like retry? Hold on. <laughs> SX is tricky, yes. Okay. Now there's just no music for some reason. All right. You learn how to do a stunt. I don't know why the music just stopped. Hold A and A to hold A and A to rush, and then let go of A to start the stunt. Hold A and then maybe hold A and any direction at one time, and then let go of A. To start the stunt? What? I guess I'm not doing it right. Hold A. Oh, there it goes. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's like, so you gotta like hold A and then also pick a direction and then you have to like let it go. Oh, I, I feel like I'm having a hard time pulling it off. Yeah! It's a little awkward, not gonna lie. Yeah, the music heard Ash talking shit. I think some of the trick stuff's a little bit awkward. Okay. Like, the tricks just aren't quite as smooth as I'd like them to be. Press X to use the boost. It's alright. Yeah, I really did just, like, the music just cut out. Okay, items. Right? Like, what happened? Maybe it like dropped out by accident. No, it's on there. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know. It was like a glitch or something. Okay, collect items from the item box. Cute. Oh, but they want me to shoot the targets. Okay, well. Yeah, it's like snowboarding Mario Kart. Um, is this session you learn? I use items on enemies. I thought that's kind of what we were doing. Okay, um... I mean... Honestly, I wouldn't mind online. I don't know if anyone is online. Is there a lobby? Yeah, let's... Let's go, let's go, let's race against like some real gamers over here. Why not? Oh shit. Um. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. I'm gonna say no. Poor as wire a cart, a brutal read. Um, let, let, let's give it a go. Let's not, um, wait, is it just loading right now? Cause this isn't me, is it? No, it's not me right now. Wait, what? Oh, reach the finish line before others. Okay. Wait. 
Maybe it's just loading right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm guessing it's just like loading. We'll give it like a little bit longer and see if we can get into this. Um, hopefully it doesn't have to be full. Like a lobby doesn't have to be full for us to raise. Yeah, like this doesn't seem like it's, again, it seems like another like, maybe I'd pick it up for like, just to have something else, but it doesn't quite seem like it has the um, control to um, do it. Yeah, I think it's, is it called Slope Crashers? Yeah, Slope Crashers. We'll give it like a couple more minutes. The water looks stupid good for no reason. <laughs> like, out of nowhere, there was like reflections and everything. If it controlled better, I think this would like totally hit, but it just doesn't quite control that well. Yeah, this, this might be me watching actually someone's race. These might be my competitors. Yeah, haha. Ha. This is just like a trailer. Oh, you're here, Eddie, playing Slow Crashers? You trying to crash it up? Hell yeah, man. Let's go. Sure, let's go. Slow Crashers! Slope crashers. Let's slope it. Let's hit the slopes. Um, okay. <laughs> Let me see. Um... I'm hitting A on your name, but it's not... Maybe I have to create the lobby first? I clicked A, like, on your name. And I'm not seeing anything for you. Right? Like, am I... Tra oh, no, you're here. You're here. Cool. I got like 20 invites, oh sorry. It didn't give me any information back, so I just kept clicking it. This is tough. I actually do think I want to be the chicken. Uh, I definitely think I want the pan. And um, let's start our match. They like didn't tell me like you were invited. Like they didn't give me any feedback, so I... Alright man, let's go! <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh shit, there he goes. Wait. <laughs> it's a little fun. Please make Snow White Mike play this game. I feel like I'm going real slow though. I gotta really catch up with Eddie here. Cause I'm I'm getting I'm getting cooked. Okay, it's like a little fun, I'm not gonna lie. I can't lie to you. Oh shit. Shit, I died. Okay. I feel like I'm having a hard time turning, is the only thing. And I don't know why that is. Yeah, I feel like Eddie's like 80 feet ahead of me. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, there he is. No, he's not, he's not that far. I feel like I can't turn. Is it not with the left stick? Am I like losing my mind? Is it not the left stick? Like I'm, I'm turning left and I swear to God. Okay. Okay, okay. I think Eddie finished the race already. Rematch! Rematch! Maybe the pan wasn't like a good idea. I think the pan is a little too chaotic. I don't even know if they control differently. I fell out of the map. Oh, really? Are you still in the race? I thought you finished because like it looked like you were done.
it spawned me over here because I fell off the map. Hold on, I'm like, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> no, I'm out of control. I <laughs> let's just let's just restart. Let's just restart. I want to do like at least one other one, but I think mistakes were made. Oh yeah, like the handling is worse on this one, so I'll I'll do this. Uh, let's maybe do like the one that lets me turn better. Okay, this is gonna be like probably uh, I think um this might be a one actually, it's not very good, but the idea was so freaking cool. Okay. Okay. Oh! Fred, how do you use items again? Oh, it's a uh, LB. I wish it was like a drift. This thing like, needs a drift. To some degree. Oh god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um... Like, I feel so out of control in this world. Eddie, no! <laughs> Eddie fell. No! Oh shit, there he goes! Haha, <laughs> we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh no! Yeah, you were like so out of control in this game. It is a, if, it was, if this was well executed, like this would hit so hard, but it it is not. I do not think. Damn. <laughs> like how awesome is that though? You know, it's like damn, what a waste. So many cool ideas here. Does not quite pan out, but. What a- what a ride. For those two seconds, though. Oh, shit! No, I ran to my own what- my own devices. Oh! No! I'm, like, kind of freaking out. What's happening? Hold on. Shoot! Oh. It, like- it, like, got broken again. When does it end? Like, well, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. <laughs> okay, I have these peppers. I don't know what the peppers do. Yeah, like, it's so hard not to, like, <laughs> fall into off the world in that spot. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, he's throwing the snowman at me! No! And, like, the snowman spawns so, like, far away. Oh, there are two laps. Yeah, like, this This thing is long. <laughs> Look at how fun it is when I, like, turn, though. Oh, who that boy? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. I appreciate you playing this with me, Eddie. That's how it's done. Yeah, one out of five for the game, but five out of five for the vibes, you know? All right, I think I'm, I'm done here now. This is, uh, thank you for playing with me. <laughs> right, it does not control well at all. Like, it is, the controls are 
brutal. Um, again, the idea itself, like the mechanic, oh my god, so cool, so fun, but like, the execution is not there. Like, yes! Oh my god. Um, skateboard was so bad. It was really upsetting to me. Um, okay. So, racing has been brutal here. Um, let's, um, do some, okay, honestly, so, it's been a lot of L's here. I mean, we had Unmerk. I would like to get a W in here. Okay, this one's, this one's dangerous, because I could see this not controlling well either, but we're going to try Mika and the Witch's Mountain. Um, if this controls well, it's going to be fucking dope. And if it doesn't, it's going to be kind of rough. Do not use a mouse or keyboard. I got you, girl. I got you. I got my controller here. Kirk, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I should probably put the follow location like a little bit lower, maybe. Hi. Hey Has a very like whimsical um, opening. I do kind of want to lower the volume though. So sorry, it's loud. I'm gonna lower it once I get into the settings, the music, just by a little bit because it's, it's almost at the volume of my voice, which is like a bit much. Um. Yeah, it looks super cute. Okay. Cool, press Y to jump, but like, can I... Thank you. I need to... Oh. Uh, I would just lower the desktop audio overall. Hopefully this goes okay. Just by like a little bit. Okay. If I if there is settings, then... So Y to jump, jump was fine. I do think mapping jump to Y is a little awkward. Um, the jump is okay. It doesn't quite... Um, it's a little like stiff to get off the ground. It kind of feels like you're magnetized to the ground and you're like pulling off of the ground when you jump. And then when you come back down, like the pull of gravity is a little harsh on the tail end. Um, not bad, but like it feels a little bit, a little bit off. There's one, where's Miss Olgari? Like why is, why is, uh, see so can I remap it either? Like why is it not um, A? Maybe A is gonna have something different. Good night, Mika. Okay, so very Studio Ghibli vibes. Did you bring all the supplies? Yes, Miss Olgari. Here, I have my family broom, the grimoire, the tempera paints, the mint crystals, and what about the skulls? Yes, the skulls, I have them too. And the chocolate, and the black horn, and the coconut candles. Yes, you got it all, little one. So, Miss, where do I settle? Will I have a room up there? Mom said the Mount Gon's top. From the Mount Gon's top, you can see shooting stars. Shooting stars, Gonzales, your mother should not have filled your mind with childish longings. It shall be a challenge, but I will turn you into a full-fledged witch. However, little one, many other girls have jumped off the cliff with their brooms and never came back. It won't happen to me. I've been practicing a lot, Miss Oligari. Oh, yes? First lesson. Come back up here yourself. She gonna fucking eat me off the cliff or what? I do like these little cutscenes. They're definitely different than the art of the core game, but I think they work for it because they look similar enough to the core game's art. That doesn't feel too, like, dramatic to have them be different. She's... The family broom is broken. Oh, no! Darn, or gar, oligar, whatever, that hurts. Oh, no, the family broom! It's nothing but splinters now. Hope I can repair it. Let's the village up ahead. Someone can help me. It just bothers me so much that jump is not A, but... I said village up ahead, but I had to see if I could do anything with these like little crabs. Okay, let me start my timer too. Okay. I'm guessing we can use this wind when we fix our broom. It's really quiet. Um oh look, bunny. Oh there we go, thank you. My cauldron backpack. 
It's empty. All my prayer supplies must have scattered when I fell. I'll have to check the whole island and get them. Controls well. <laughs> hey, little one, where'd you come from? Uh, me from the mountaintop. Miss Ogari huh? pushed me. You poor thing. Such cruelty. Where are my manners? I'm so and so. I do ceramics. <gasps> I'm Micah, a witch. Uh, why do you want to be a witch? Oh, witches are great. They fly and stuff, you know? You, you won't fly very far with your broken broom. Yeah, can you repair it? I can fix it up. Uh, now, wait a minute, little one. Oh, wow, that was fast. Uh -huh. She's a mountain. You mean flying around this wobbly, tiny, barely prepared room? You're hilarious. Um, do you need to purchase a new broom, a powerful one? However, do you have money? You have to work if not. Work? I'm a witch. An apprentice, you said. It's so obvious. Don't worry, if you give me three coins, I'll make you a new broom. Fine, I'll work. Uh, I heard the delivery company has applications open again. So then goes, okay, I deal with a delivery person. Cool, I'm gonna get a broom and reach the top. That's the spirit. Okay, great. I do really hate why being there. It's cute! Um, I will say that... Okay, okay, cool. So, so it's a little slow. RT to boost flight. LT to do a quick dive. How do I, like, go up? So, okay, LT brings is, like, a dive. Um, the broom could control a little better. Like, for instance, when I go left and right, it, like, kind of spins me more than turns me. Like, I'm having a little trouble with it in that sense, but it's not too bad. I think it's something about a delivery request this year. Reminds me of a short hike. Um, it kind of reminds me of, like, Paparazzi, weirdly enough. Yeah, you're right. Maybe the upgrade uh, one will control better. better. That's a likely outcome. Yeah, I wish they had, um... A uh haunt -huh, some... Give me one second. There's, like... Not something in my eye, necessarily, but my eye got kind of irritated all of a sudden. Like, I think they feel, like, maybe a little dry? It doesn't really happen to me, so I'm like, oh... Maybe it's just from the light? The lights or whatever? Alright, um... Yeah, where did it say I need to go? Oh, wait, there's a map over here. Um, probably here, I'm guessing, right? I have a tendency to just wander off a bit. I think it's really just that, like... RT will, like, propel you forward. Okay, one of my lost items. Okay, so it's, like, across the train yard, I think, or something? Let me see something, though. A new message. Don't forget to add the game to your Steam wishlist. That's funny. We need a delivery person. Oh, what's such enthusiasm? <coughs> okay, we're gonna have your agenda. Okay, first delivery. Most of them, at least. That's nice and all, but I gotta know how much you pay me for each delivery. That's funny. Okay, so you be rated. Different stamps, and then maybe I just try the stamps to get paid or something. Okay, so here's my package. Press A to pick up the package. Oh, adorable. Just leave it, press B. Okay. That's cute. Wait, so where am I going? You can check the lo delivery location on your map in the menu. Okay, so it's like down by the whatever, the uh, like the water? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How do I land? Okay. I think this is him. Hmm. I have a package for you. Hey! You're the liver person? Yeah, it's my first one. I feel honored. <laughs> down by the banks of the Hanky Panky. Simple package. 
We need to take something to my grandson. Oh. Yeah, but take care of it. Make sure it doesn't get wet. Okay. So let me try to see where this goes at. It is very cute. Oh, that, that's him. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> hey, you fall from the sky. Sorry. I was really... <laughs> No, we didn't get wet. Don't worry, it's all right. It definitely got wet as fuck. That shit was soaked. Oh man, he always thinks we used to go sitting together. Sometimes, uh, but it appear it is not as it appears. Actually, it's quite nice being at sea. I mean, the engineer company too. It's just I'll be fine once you're gone. You want to finish with me? We use fish bowls. Nothing hurts them. Okay. Let's see. I never thought about that. I can't tell. Okay, use a fishbowl to catch the fish. So like, oh cute, like I can... I don't think I caught anybody there. Maybe I gotta like, wait for them to calm down. Like, I have trouble like, getting up. It says it's like RT to go up, but... Like, I feel like this is as high as I can get, and I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm messing something up. Packages? No. Like, what is up with this? Maybe I have to just stop pressing RT all the time? No, yeah, it doesn't- hold on, let me- let me try to reset this. Let's see. Like when I- I'll tap it again and it like doesn't go back up. Like it just kind of slowly descends and I'm not sure why that is. Maybe that's just like the nature of it? I don't know. Like... The broom has a cooldown, it's not very clear. Yeah, like that's my only thing that... It's kind of... A little rough. And it just kind of like, and maybe over time, like as we get better stuff, it's like the sh the bird glider, glide and short hike, short hike, kind of. But like, I feel like you can't take since it's like a broom for flying, like you can't take off the way that I'd expect you to be able to. It's not quite bad with the controls, but it's a little, it's a little hard to wrap your head around. Oh, wait, is this for the guy, like the old man? I can't remember now. Like, it just goes back down afterward. But then it I don't know. I feel like it, it maybe kind of responds to the environment. You are carrying something. That is true. Maybe it'll be different when I'm not carrying something. <laughs> hey dear, what do you buy this time? A fish for you. Oh, you sent it to me? I will put it in the aquarium with the other fellows. Okay. These are the highest rating. Yay! Great. Okay. Yeah, let me see how it is without... I think it still does the same thing, so I'm tapping RT and, like, you still just... I guess you can go back up maybe a little faster, though. I think it kind of, like, responds to the environment. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I feel like to a small degree, like, I can get the highest when I'm, like, by something that's already kind of high. Because it, like, zoops me over it. I don't know. That's my only real gripe with the game. Um, I love the delivery like concept and everything, and then there's a cute little guy. Oh shit, can I not like Um if you can't do anything with them? But this is adorable, you know? I think the art's really cute. The premise seems good. Um, the design, like the vibe kinda reminds me of like a hat in time. Oh, I gotta find where this guy is. I forgot where he's at. Um it's like by the post office. Let me. Yeah, I do wish that you could just kind of have a little bit more freedom. Oh, let me pet the dog.
The music's a bit inconsistent too, like I just kind of dropped out at some point. Oh, here he is, here he is. Here he is. Yeah, but then I just cut out, you know? Um, what's up, E-Crate City? How's it going? Hey, I've completed the delivery. Oh, people are so nice to me. Alright, so... Oh, you're in one, two, three. Now it's dead. Um, great, now I can buy the better broom from Allegra. So maybe the better broom will be better, so... No, wait, there's more stories. Okay, cool, so... I have some money, I can buy a new room. Oh, you worked hard. You think it'll reach, me, reach the mountaintop with this room? Huh? No, it cannot go that high. Okay, so I kind of see the progress. Uh -huh. I wonder if the demo ends when you get to the top, maybe? Uh -huh. You know what? It is very short hike, like, though, in the structure of, like, oh, and then you buy this and you get stronger and stronger to go get higher, so I can see that part. Yeah, it's Witch Waker. Yeah, it, it does feel like Witch Waker. I think the fishing uh, mechanic is pretty cute. Yeah, it is making his delivery service, basically. I guess that's just the end of the demo. <laughs> Love a short hike. Yeah, short hike's great. Um, honestly, I, I give this a 2 out of 5. Um, I platinum it, I don't know. Yeah, 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 it's great platinum. Definitely want to do all the things in that game. Um, yeah, I, I just didn't really like how the flying controlled. But I do like the overall like premise and everything. It seems cute, it seems sweet. I love delivery stuff. This gets the same score as Eggbag, I would give a one out of five too, I think. Uh, and it was accelerate to the jungle or something. This gets like a two out of five, it was okay. It was okay. Um, but I would keep an eye on this game because I feel like it could, they could maybe refine that and make it better. Cause that's really the only thing I didn't like about it. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't say like, oh, this was a good demo, like personally. Like I don't, I wouldn't pick up this game based on this demo necessarily. Um, okay. Oops, I hit A to start the game by accident. Thank God this is PS5. Wait, what? Oh, is this game coming out on PS5? Hmm. Hold on, I actually started it again. Jay, what are you doing this weekend? Um, not too much. I mean, there's the Super Bowl, so you know, watching that with my family. Um, other than that, I actually have some work stuff to take care of, so. Um, kind of a busy weekend for me with just some content stuff, but uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the whole weekend. You know, two days, not a lot of time, but, you know, we get what we can out of it. Uh, what about y'all? Ian's back. What's good? Um, okay, let's see. So, we have... That honestly was actually a pretty short demo. It was, like, 15 minutes. Um, I would love, like, a win. We haven't had, like, a win in a while, I feel like. Because what's the last game that I definitely liked? Unmerk. So basically, like, once I came back, it's like, it hasn't been, like, playing some redacted. Um, yeah, I just don't really like, personally, I don't really like, the reason I didn't, like, mention that super explicitly is just, I don't really, I don't really like being like, oh, I'm playing redacted right now. Like, I'm just, you know, I don't know, I'll just say, like, I'm busy with, like, work games or something. I know it's kind of, like, the same difference, but, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it after this stream. Um, I'll probably see it a bit after it airs because, you know, I'll be streaming probably through that time, but... Um, yeah, like, the reason I don't like pointing out, like, oh, I'm playing Redacted, I'm playing an Embargo Team, it's just because I feel like it invites people to ask questions and also guess. Um, yeah, like, it feels a little showboaty, and I get that, like, that's my job, like, my job has that parameter, so it's not, 
I'm not so much worried about the showboyness. I just don't want to invite questions and speculation on what I'm playing because I can't answer that and I can't not answer it. So then it just becomes kind of awkward. Like people will be like, oh, you know, like it must be this thing. We're like, oh, it's definitely this. Or like, you know, I'll even post like, oh, working and it's like a picture of like a controller and they're like, oh, it must be, you know, Horizon Forbidden West. You know, it must be this. And it's just like, all right. Yeah, it's just easier. Like I'm just I'm just taking care of some work. Um, the closest to any real insight I'll give y'all um, is I actually do give a little bit more insight on my Patreon. Um, not like the explicits of what I'm doing, like the specifics of what I'm doing, but um, you know, like I mentioned, I had a um, what was it? I had my preview go up of. Um, my preview up of a Pacific Drive on Pen and Pixels, and I did mention in my like schedule for like work I'm doing is like oh I have a preview coming up. Um, that I'm like a little bit that's like not that big a deal because I feel like a preview could be a preview of anything. But like I usually don't really say that I'm working on like a review explicitly, only because again that does invite the speculation on what the review could be based on the time that it is versus like a preview. Like I, you, I could preview any game at any point because it's a preview, not a review. Exactly, and then it's like the, uh, da, da, you know, so yeah, it just becomes too much. So, and I feel like it's a boring non answer, too. It's like, oh, well, right now I'm playing Embargo. And I know a lot of people do that. Like, I just don't like doing that personally. Um, all right, we haven't had a win in a while. The secret is in Sonic Sp Sp Man 2. Sp oh my god. <laughs> um, I think the case of Benedict Fox could be at least a three out of five which to be frank i've rated most of these three or four out of five i don't think i've even given out any five out of fives like nothing's just melted my mind to give a five out of five to but um i would like to get another like good game in it was very front-loaded like for a while i'm like wow are we gonna like all these games like and then i then i realized that no no it's not gonna be the case which i should have i should have assumed as much but Oh, I didn't see this had a demo. Nice. Yeah. Um, what is it called? The, is it the Curious Case? The Last Case? I just forgot what it is. The Last Case of Benedict Fox. Um, it is loading, but here we, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do the defaults. The Last Case of Benedict Fox. Uh, I would be down for a full party of Super Boat Raft together. Uh, cute game. Yeah, I like Super Boat Raft. That was, that was good. That was a good game. <coughs> mm. Okay, it does have volume settings, so hold on. And I'm gonna go back and shift this to be max audio and then maybe just change master volume down a little bit So far, this is our 13th game we've played today, so making some good progress here. The loads are taking a while, but that's okay. Ooh, I like the lighting. Such a cool vibe. Like, damn, I gotta make these subtitles bigger if I can. They're so small. Did you hear something? Oh, 
Oh. I was not expecting combat. I was not expecting this to be a game where you're fighting like that. I guess I didn't know what this game was. Okay. Okay. That this was... Uh, maybe everyone else knew this and I didn't. Well, this is different. You move pretty smoothly, like you're a little a nimble guy. Your jump is like very short, but like very like brisk. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this, but it has a parry. Let let Andy Cortez know. Oh. Since his jump is so like short. Yeah, me too. Like, I guess I wasn't the only one. When low on health, with Miracle Water selected, hold Y. That was not long enough to read that. Um, hold Y to fully heal or tap to heal one hit point instantly. Maybe it has like, maybe it's like a, a blended game. Maybe there's like multiple things going on. Whenever the indicator is visible, press a again to double jump. Okay. I mean, I don't like dislike that, but I mean, okay, sure, you know? Whatever. Like, let's go for it. Let's see what this is like. Harry, I know where my father lives. Do you have anything for me? Not at the moment. I need to ask you to do me another favor. Can you get me another amplificator? I damaged this one. Trying to escape. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Twenty nine Kimberly Way, hmm. Boston. Meet me there. I really gotta try to adjust these subtitles. The load times are like really long. Hello, anyone here? Only anguish fills this residence, Benedict. You're saying there's no one here? Huh? Yeah, let me see if I can... Yeah, it's like a little bit of a spooky... A spooky element to it. Okay, let's see if there's... Can I like, where are the settings of this game? Y'all. Oh, hold on, shoot, I think I just saw them. Show settings, okay. Wait, why can't I adjust this? Um, I guess maybe... Maybe they don't let you adjust the settings in the demo, but the font size can be increased. Okay. Seems like- I hate how, like, long the loads and, like, the fades are. Okay, radio. Oh, rotate. It's like really quiet though. I'll just leave it there for now until I maybe I can solve like the puzzle. Like the ancient writing of the old ones. This could be a fragment of what I'm seeking. The forgotten ritual. Hello. We're close. Don't let your fright hold you back now. Since I found the first piece, there must be more. Hmm. 
Okay, so we kind of like have these different puzzles. I do like, don't really like certain aspects. Like you have to hold B to like exit. It's a little annoying. My father's wallet smells like a father figure. Oddly enough, it has the Inquisitor's card and it can be good. Some items might have more to inspect. Rotate them to, okay. I'm definitely going to take the key with the symbol for sure. I'm going to take the wallet too. I'm going to take everything. You can always go in the pet and investigate an item. You feel like you missed something. Okay, so we definitely need like three symbols to get into the drawer. We can also go up. Okay, so it is kind of like a point and click. Plot twist band. A month or two, nobody heard about them. Soon there will be very few who have not. Okay. I mean, I don't hear anything coming out of it. This is a weird thing. And I know I lowered the volume. Maybe I'll raise the volume again. Maybe lowering the master volume was a mistake. Raise it up a bit. The lows are like really long. As soon as there's something in the- This must be the woman my father loves. The embers of love are buried beneath the ash. Hmm. Yeah, it's got like a spooky layer to it. We it's haven't like got much time. Oh, can I not go up? Hmm. I mean, let me see. Maybe I'll be able to understand more what I'm looking for. Find additional pages. Yeah, can I not go upstairs? Take a look at this game. Yeah, it's got a nice style to it. Maybe I can just go outside, but this is just me leaving. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm supposed to be the one with bad feelings. Pull yourself together, Benedict. Okay. Oh. Oh, the key with the symbol opened this door. So, I lost my father before I had a chance to know him. I can sense your despair. sign of a struggle anywhere around him and yet he defended himself desperately but from whom the trail of blood leads to this lock yeah i wonder like what is this forest too not all is lost yet i can guide you through his memory i do i work for this demon or oh All right. I mean, it's interesting, but right now I feel like it, I don't know. It's like kind of trying too hard right now. Like I haven't, I haven't actually like walked away with anything yet.
Hmm, you can also slow down time or something. Okay, why? And then, okay, um. Yeah, like the drama feels a little unearned at this point. It's like, all right, I guess. Go down here. A notebook page describing the keys. It looks like the last one can be imbued with any number I want. I just have to find it. Sorry, I have to read an email real quick. Um. Slack. Give me a second here. Um. Sorry, maybe I should have tossed the BRB screen. Um let's see. Wait, why? Okay. Okay. respond to like work thing. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh cool. That should mostly be fine. Might have to like respond to the thing I responded to, but um okay. She gave it a two. I'm definitely gonna buy it though. Uh, which one was this? Uh, yeah, it was just okay. Um, I, I think the I got the better broom, and I feel like the flying still doesn't control the way I'd like it to. Um, and that's kind of my number one gripe. And then for this, so for this game, we didn't really talk that much about it. Um, did I regain my health? I don't know. Um. Oh gosh. Like the combat's kind of awkward. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not in love with it. Uh, this is the last case of Benedict Fox. Uh, it's a pretty anticipated game from, was it an Xbox showcase that we saw this at? And I forgot if it's gonna be like an Xbox PC game or if it's on everything. Uh, somewhere in the chat probably might have that information offhand or can Google it. And, again, and this is like, there are a couple games where I still want to see just like what the final product is. Like, I personally would never fully be like, oh, I don't like this game because of the demo, just because like the demo is such a specific slice. Like, if I'm still interested, I'll play the full version. But yeah, I was excited about this, and I'm kind of just like, yo, what's going on? Like, you're kind of giving me a lot, and I feel like you think you're doing something here, but it hasn't really been that meaningful to me. Like, stylistically, it's super cool. But the actual process of going around. Yeah. 
What is the device that amplifies our connection doing in my father's memories? No less in the hand of the organization's rat, Benedict. I think too, like, and maybe this is how the game just starts, so I don't know, but... And again, I do like action starting right away. I think you want to be moving right away in a game and immediately get a sense of what the gameplay is like and what you're doing. But from a narrative perspective, I just don't understand, like, what I'm seeing here, what's happening, why it's happening. Like, do I have magical abilities? Am I plagued with something? Maybe in context, this hits a lot better. But that's also kind of... I feel very much like I'm going through the motions in this game. Like, oh, I got this large skull. And now I'm, like, going through here, and... The combat feels kind of stiff. Yeah, it kind of has, like... It, like, lightly invokes, like, this oxen-free kind of energy to it. Um... <laughs> Oh, but without, gosh. like, the compelling story that, like, brought you to the, for the trippy stuff, so... Like, I just wasn't really expecting combat to be in this game. And not that I'm, like, upset that there is combat in the game, but the combat doesn't feel great. So it's just kind of like, alright. Oh, I guess that's my only shot that I have. Ugh. Yeah, this 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 did not demo well to me. Is that just because I died? <laughs> Let me see how much time I have left. Oh shoot, I don't know if I set my timer on this one. Find a secret way through the door. Like I could see like in maybe it'll just play better once we like get it fully in context, but there's really long loads. Um I recall dying and yet I'm alive. I don't know who this guy is. I don't understand why I care. And it does feel like a game. Like, I stand by my comment of I feel like I'm going through the motions. Like, I kind of know what to generally do because I've played video games. So it's like, okay, I guess we explore and we like fight stuff. But I just don't really care about what I'm doing. So I actually would also give this demo maybe like a two, a two out of five. <laughs> um... I know I'm harsh, but I just don't like if I didn't know if I didn't see this game in E3, I would not. Um, and not, not that I'm like, oh, just only giving into the hype of E3 or something. I genuinely when I saw this, it looked compelling. The aesthetic, the vibes, what I thought you were doing seemed like something I wanted to do. Now that I'm playing it, like if I didn't already have excitement for this game, I would not be interested in this game. I don't think like if this was if this game was on Merc, um, no shade to Merc, because Merc was fucking fire. Uh, that we played earlier today, I would be like, yeah, pass. Cool art, don't really get what's going on, you know. But we'll maybe play like a little bit longer just to, just to play a little longer. And you know, again, the usual caveats, like I'm not playing any of these demos for very long. Like I'm sure some of y'all will play stuff through its entirety, you know, maybe half an hour, an hour of time, you know? Um, but I also think a demo's job is to, like, grab someone in fairly early like that. Um, so that's why I would say this demo isn't, like, may maybe the game itself just isn't good, so the demo's not gonna be good, or maybe it's just a bad demo for what is, like, a good game. I don't know. This table used to bring the whole family together. I can still smell the aroma of my favorite coffee, the taste of good wine, and of their laughter, Benedict. So, there was a time when the house was filled with joy. So you see like the ghost of the house? Like, I don't know. Uh, no, is it good? Dave the Diver? Um... Yeah, it just... Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe we'll check that one out, because we have yet to get... I've been wanting a really nice, solid win, and so far, um, on Merc, after, like, I took my lunch break, um, we have not had a banger since on Merc. Which, hey, 
this is more so what I kind of expected. But we had started out like really strong with like plan of uh, Lana, uh, Shumi, come home, super raft boat together. Like we had like three back to back great games. Um, and then we had two L's, but then we had Dungeon Drafters, which I thought was pretty good. Um, and Mr. Saito. So it was like a pretty strong opening. And then it's kind of waned a bit since then. Mother's Embrace. The visage of his mother. My grandmother? Resentment and fear. He survived her abuse. I, also, I'm just gonna say it. The demon guy speaks too slowly. He's like, pick it up, bro. Pick it up. Cleansed by suffering. Oh, you don't know if it has a demo. Okay. Um, all right. Well, honestly, this is a no for me. I will keep an eye out for the full game. Maybe this will seem silly back to, you know, once we, but also, you know, people always say like, uh, and I'll, I've been guilty of this too, being like, oh, maybe it's going to age poorly, but like, I don't think this demo is good. Um, I feel like that still doesn't really age poorly, even if the game ends up being fire, because like genuinely, like, I just don't think this demo is good. And I don't think this demo has done a good job of getting me into this game personally. Again, maybe for some other people, you might be e playing this and being like, what the fuck are you talking about? This is fucking fire. For me, it has yet to be that. I am just kind of, I left not really knowing what was going on the way I started the game. I feel like I know, I went into this game excited and I left less excited, which is kind of damning. So um, yeah, I think I'll call that here for this demo. Um, let me see how to exit, cause I don't actually, see a good way to exit? I guess I'll just do a hard close. Um... Sorry, more work stuff. Um, let's see. Okay, so I do actually want to take a break to the bathroom as well. But um, so yeah, I guess I'll do that first and then we'll come back and scout out. Yeah, that's still my neighbor's dog from two doors down, which is insane. I do have the window open though, and that's why you guys can hear it. But it gets really hot in this room if I don't like ventilate it a bit when I'm streaming. Um, all right, we'll just do the BRB screen for now because I won't be gone for too long. So uh, I will be back and just in the meantime, hang tight.
Yo. All right. Um let's see what is up. Um I think let's see what I want to do next. Um let me double check what I have on my wish list that I haven't already downloaded to see if there's anything that I think could be super fire. Uh the modern text adventure actually seems really cool. Oh, I do like that match puzzle game too. So we'll download that. Why does it require three gigs when it's just a demo? I don't know. Maybe it's because it has a lot of text. Oh, man. I did not like it. Um, monkey bars. Yeah, I was not feeling Ben and Fox. It was actually way different than I thought it would be based on the Xbox, like, or E3 trailer or whatever. Um, it definitely gave the spooky vibes that I thought it would, but it was less detective-y and well it had combat in a way that i wasn't really expecting and i just didn't really walk away with a good sense of what was compelling about the game other than like the aesthetic um that was my takeaway from it but uh people in the chat especially because i think the last case of bandic fox is a super um anticipated game for a lot of people like what was y'all's read on the situation because i was i was kind of surprised at how much that one did not hit for me uh, I'm gonna get up for a second because I want to put on a pair of socks. Um, oh man, I'm looking for yeah, me. You know, and I think I'm still down to like play it. Like if codes were to drop, I would still want to check out the full product because I wonder if it just doesn't hit well in co out of context. But 
the combat like doesn't feel good but maybe it's like you know i've definitely played games that have a weak spot where i end up not caring because i like the rest of it so much so i don't know we'll see like i would still play it for like a best of when it drops unless i like already play it and decide i don't like it um but yeah was surprised by that one oh they're actually right here hold on I actually sat on my um back pillow though for a second so yeah this one we're, right now i'm gonna rescan through and see like what's the potential to be a banger because we're like 13 games in to ideally 25 that we play but we'll see there's obviously stoppage time in between some of these to a degree okay some of these take a while to load too but okay great um not that i'm necessarily gonna play this game absolutely next but even though this is just a match three game it actually looks really good so i'm gonna download this and then for a snack i'm gonna have some uh, seaweed okay and then after that i think i might have a cough drop like a lozenge because i have been talking a lot today i downloaded one game the other day and it was 20 gigs blown away i know some of these are like really big for no reason. Maybe they haven't like figured out how to optimize it to make it smaller yet. Oh my God. It's not as good as if I combined it with like rice or something, but seaweed is so good. It's a wrap. Oh yeah, you know what? This is funky enough that we should probably should try it. This is like a puzzle platformer where you're basically like, a, you're like editing a scene and then having it run and that's like how you progress through the levels. Always down for like a novelty moment. Um, Hog or Hoga Nation. Thanks for the follow. Sorry about all the papery sounds of the sea me and the seaweed. Um, let me try to remember what this was. Testigrad. Oh yeah. Okay, I could I would I could see that. Similar to Portal. I don't know if that's gonna be true, but I'm down to try it. I wish it was easier to mute my mic. I managed to get one of those little ones that you can just tap. I'm gonna mute from there. Like those glowy streamer mics that are super cute. Life's tough because I don't have um, the right kind of mic for like what I do. I have because um, it's like there's compressor and like something else or whatever. And I have like the one that picks up like a lot of background noise, unfortunately. This is Isaiah's mic that he like bought a long time ago for work and then just ended up using a different one. So I didn't pick this out myself. It does get the job done. It has good quality, but that's one of the cons. Similar to Potion Craft. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. I already know I like this game. Um, if I don't like this game, that would be a big L. Uh, this is just a, f like, find the object game, and I love find the object games. So I think that's one we're definitely good to. Um, this one's a little too funky. I don't know if I want to get to it. This seems like it'd be fun as hell, so... We might try this next, actually. Similar to Tunic. Okay. Oh no, the only thing is like, this is kind of like oily. Mmm. This seems cool. Kind of like a, um, what's the name of it? What's the name of that game that, um, people love and I'm like, nah, Maze a bitch. I hate this. Night in the Woods. Um, <laughs> It kind of has like a night in the woods vibe to it. Which night in the woods should be a game I love, but I fucking hate May. I mean, a lot of the writing of that game is like a little too much. Um, yeah, she's like fucking terrible. Like F of a person. Oh, Mr. Sun's hat box. This was at PAX, but I didn't have time to play it. So I'm excited to play this one.
So this is definitely one that I want to play. I mean, I kind of I really want to play all these, but you know, we don't have so much time. All right. Cooks are forever. Again, probably fire, but we were kind of already know that, so I'm not even going to play that. Um, same with, like, Minecraft Night Market. I already... I mean, maybe they have a different demo, but the demo was kind of middling to me, even though I am. Am such was looking forward to that game. Oh, my God. Tower Full of Cats. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. It's, like, a fucking puzzle game. Hidden object game, but you're finding cats for, throughout history. Like, it's so... Such a good premise. This will probably be the hidden object game I prioritize, but if we have time, we'll do both of the the hidden object games this one i mean there's a lot of games fucking left to play jesus christ so many fucking good games oh what are we gonna do what are we gonna do you know what scene investigators seems really interesting and we didn't really get that detective itch we were looking for um i also wish listed the next sherlock holmes game but i'm not gonna play that because i kind of already know like those kind of games so i'm like yeah i'll probably like it fine and we're not gonna play for that long either so man i love some seaweed so we're gonna do scene investigators as our next one let's see kind of Make things kind of oily here, though, so let me at least use... I think I have a little bit. I should have some sanitizer in here. I thought I did. Huh, maybe not. Okay, I gotta get up really quick then, because I don't want to make everything... Gre I don't want to make everything all greasy. Okay. Cool. Let's uh, get into this then. Oops, not store, library. <clears throat> Does it not have a full screen option? Here we go. Making sure that we're not dropping frames based on. Mm, I think I'll actually maybe just use a mouse and keyboard because I don't, I don't know that this has controller support actually. So let me plug in my other, my gaming mouse real quick. All right, um... Okay. Okay, I've seen Investigators. It does reason game fan fans of true crime. Step into recreated crime scenes, closely observe the evidence. One case is a dinner party with five acquaintances gathered. All the clues are in the scene. Can you solve the case to make your answer to the computer and see if the case is solved? Okay. Sounds fun. Okay. Uh, in our Zoom flashlight. Observe the scene and answer the questions. Who sat in chair number five? Who sat in chair number two? Who's Clara's cousin who died? Who is the killer? Okay.
Wait, sorry, is the, uh, is it not interact? Oh, interact is right. Oh no, no, interact should be this one then. Come on now. Come on now. Let me click on this, please. Maybe I have to be at the right angle. There we go. Jeez, okay. Happy birthday, Clara. Uh, thank you for your support while I was in AA. Henry's so fortunate to have you. Okay, so Henry is um, either Clara's man or Clara's son. Hope you have a great year. <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay, so, well, if Jake was an AA, he probably didn't have the wine. Like, he'd actually be the only one probably without wine. So he, Jake sat in either this chair or this chair. Okay, and enjoying it so far, like the having to like reason stuff out. Oh, you know, oh, I never did get that second cup of coffee either. Probably should have, but okay. Here's something. Uh, hi, honey. I'm out shopping. Uh, would you mind saying the tale, please? Remember, my cousin can drink wine. So more oranges instead. Ed is left-handed. Okay. I will say, like, that he left his note up during dinner. Like, that's kind of awkward. Okay, so then Jake is here with the orange juice. Maybe these are a little too obvious, I don't know. But then the second I say that, like, they'll give me something that I don't understand, so. Okay, um. Okay, so this is Jake. Okay, um, oh, wait, Claire's cousin is Jake then. My cousin can't drink wine. He's like, happy birthday, Clara, right? He said happy birthday, Clara, right? Yeah, okay. I think too, they could have written that note a little bit better in my opinion. Like it could have said, been like a shopping list and said like, you know, or like a to-do list, like get wine for party. Like get wine, get alcohol wine, non-alcoholic drink juice or something like that. I don't know, any non-alcoholic non drink or something like that. Okay. Okay, fantasy armor. No, fantasy or more. Yeah, what's up, Craig Belmont? How's it going? Um, okay, so the time, the date, the paid. Okay, so. That'll probably be relevant later. Clara's birthday was April 22nd. What are the questions again? Okay, um... Let's see. Um... Who was killed? Like, probably the person in... Number three. Right? Like, this is who was killed. 2003. Appointment with Dr. Richardson, a dinner with company members, make reservations, Clara's birthday. Okay. Gibson Henry. Okay. 
Okay, so Henry's remand then, I think, right? Oh, the door's inaccessible for this demo. Okay. But it won't be later. Oh, it's a flashlight, right? Okay. I think all these doors are inaccessible for the demo. Okay, let's see. Who sat in chair number two? Who died? Hmm. You know, I was like, oh, maybe this is too easy, but how do I find out who sat in chair number two? This was, this was chair number two. I don't know. I mean, if y'all have ideas. Um, let's see. We got some cereal boxes here. Who sat in chair number two? Yeah, I'm digging this too. It's like pretty cool. Some stuff's like really obvious and some stuff doesn't feel obvious at all. So I feel like the gap's kind of big. Oh, Ed is left-handed. Okay, so again, them saying that is kind of weird. Like what are the likelihood of them doing that? I feel like this was probably Ed. Because he'd be eating his fork with his, like, left hand- Like, he'd be, like, using the fork on his left hand. And also, he's the only one with the wine- with a drink to the left. Yeah, so that's gotta be Ed. I think- I would say Ed was in the second chair. And who died and who's the killer? Okay. So, who died? Um... I mean, I kind of feel like Clara died, right? Like, that's just the vibes I get. Or you know, it had to be probably killed her, because statistically, um, I think the person most likely to kill you if you're a woman is your your partner. So, um, that's, that'd be my guess. But that's not really based on anything in the demo, so let's keep looking. Oh, man. All right. Um, hmm. Oh, that'd be fun if I played the scene after making you guess. I don't know if it will. I feel like it has something to do with this thing. Or maybe that's just a red herring. Like, I don't know, they went to the store? Like, what does that really tell me, though? Oh, someone short was here. How short is... Clara. They got a shorty in the house. How would I know where she sat, though, is the thing. I know where Ed sat. So we had Ed, we had the cousin. I mean, who else was there? Make reservations. They didn't come any Clara's birthday. Oh, hmm. I'm actually having trouble with this one, y'all. Oh, sorry. I'm like spinning this all crazy. Let's just hit R to read. Edwin Briggs, attorney at law. Okay. Terry. Oh, abortion clinic. It's getting sp okay. Okay. It's getting a little spicy. Gonna make a last was pre snack. Peace and love. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Thanks for stopping by. Um, let's see. I mean, he had this in his wallet, though. He had the abortion clinic and he had the attorney. I wish so tomorrow watch Tilo. Oh damn. Yeah, I'll be watching it sometime after the stream. Wait, what the heck is Okay, so I mean I just feel like he killed her. Maybe she killed him because he didn't want to be with her anymore. Like a femme fatale. That's not the word for that, but you know. But like what is that based on? You know what I mean? Like... And then who was here? It was Ed. 
But who's Ed? I'm out shopping. Would you mind say- Okay, wait. Hi, honey, I'm out shopping. Would you mind setting the table? So this is Clara. Clara was the one out shopping. Oh, here we go. Guest list. Jake, Edwin, Jenny. Okay. Jake, Edwin, Jenny. So Ed is Edwin. Hold on. I'm getting into this now. Oh, shoot. Did I set a timer? I did not. I've been messing up with my timers. Okay, we might have accidentally played this for too long, but... So it's Ed, Jenny... Who was it? It was Ed... Let me go up a little closer. It was Ed... Ed, a.k.a. Edwin, Jake, and then Jenny. I'm not used to that, because, like, my brother is named Edwin, and he doesn't go by Ed, ever. Um... So Jake is the cousin. He's the lefty. Jenny. And there's also there's Clara and there's Henry. So Jenny, Clara, and Henry, we don't know where they were sitting. Is the thing. We know Clara was out shopping, but like what does that tell her? What does that tell us about her? I mean, she was out shopping for like two hours on the 14th. And what else was going on on the 14th? The 14th was also... Shit, it was nothing. Oh no, make reservation. Can I call that number? That'd be dope if I called the number. Is there a phone here? There's not. Oh man, that would've been cool. Oh, I can open this, though. Oh, okay, I like this. This is, like, interesting. Okay. All right. Um, that's her. She's in LA. Oh, hold on, hold on. I don't think they let me grab the other stuff that's there. What is this thing? Okay. Clarity, it's been a month since you came to visit me. Remember what we talked about? I think it's time you end things with him. You've endured far too long and need to move on. Think about it and write me back. Okay, but her leaving that out in the open, like, that should be folded up in a book. Like, I have a couple beefs, but... Um... Okay. So I do feel like he killed her or she killed him. My money's on he killed her, just because... That's the vibe, you know? Heather's probably the mom. Can I see who, like, gave this gift? To the most- oh, I feel like there should be a way to read that. To the most something something in the world. Right, that's what, that's what I'm saying, like, it's always the boyfriend. Like, he killed her. Like, he definitely killed her, you know? Like... Okay. Hmm... I feel like I am finding a couple more things. Maybe there's- oh! Wait, can I- can I fucking type in the phone number? Because if I can, that's gonna be fucking lit. Hold on. Hold on. Do they let me type in the phone number? Because it's... 212-445-6264. I don't think they're going to, but I would be so excited if they did. No, I don't think they do. Damn. Messages or something? No. The background music this game is fire. It would be if they didn't keep looping it, is the only thing. It doesn't quite go long enough either, and the loop cut is very obvious. But they have the right idea. I shouldn't be too, too mad at it, but... It's just like, why does he have the... And is it like an abortion clinic that he has in his, um... 
in his wallet. Did she like? That's why I'm like, oh, I wonder, did she cheat on him? And he's like, oh, you did. Uh. Well, Edwin Briggs is the guy. Is the card from Ed, who's left-handed? What's the name of the doctor again, though? Terry. So Terry. Terry is not the dinner at all. It's. It's J. So it's okay. So. This is Edwin's seat, right here. This is Jake's seat. Jenny, Claire, Henry are like the ones that I'm not sure about. Yeah, I mean, I'm into it. They give you uh, some nice uh, stuff to have to piece together. And I feel like I'm just missing maybe clues to get this together. Like, I don't know if I want to- I feel like I don't have, like, anything to really make my conclusion on who killed who and who died. Other than just, like, my own assumptions. That they're not really based on anything in the demo itself. I mean, should we just go for that and just see what- I mean, it's a little based on some stuff in the- in the demo. Oh, but I feel like I'm missing something. If you like the style of music, whispering solo, piano, radio is great. It's been my background music for almost two decades. Oh, very cool. Okay, what about y'all in the chat? Do you guys think I... Is there somewhere I should look that I haven't looked? The garbage. Aha, I found something in the garbage, y'all. Okay. Okay, um, warning. This product contains benza, clean, severe liver damage may occur if you take more than whatever amount. It's abusive. Symptoms may cause vomiting. What is this for, though? No refills, doctor authorization. What is this drug for, though? Oh my gosh. I don't get what the drug is for. Like, what does this tell me? Maybe she killed herself. Like a gun to the head. There is like the blood. Sp but why is the blood splatter there? That wouldn't really make any sense. Like, why is it coming out of the head? Like, unless they just did it that way to be try to make it clearer. But that's not that's not where the blood splatter would be. I don't know. We are finding more stuff. Like I thought I saw everything, but I guess not. Yeah, she drew the truck on him first, and then she laid down and shot herself in the head, like... Also, where are the witnesses if there are all these people at the dinner? That's- that's my question. Okay, nothing there. Ooh. Can I move this thing out of the way? some towels here but that's not much uh, I looked up I looked up what it's for but wasn't sure if you wanted to know or look for clues um I don't know I guess yeah tell me what it's for uh, why not because I don't know I wonder I'm not sure if I'll find that information here can you open the oven I can't and I was thinking about the oven too because you know I put shit in the oven like Treating acne primarily. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. Uh, it doesn't sound that as dire as I thought. I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? Because I don't know who killed who. I know some stuff, but... I don't know. Is there a place that I should look that I haven't yet? I really wish I could read this birthday box, but it does not let me read it for some reason. I can zoom in a little bit, but I can't read it. Oh, man. Who died? Who is the killer? Oh. Oh, is that it? Maybe we can put in like a... Like a movie or something. The Godfather. Okay, but what does that tell me? That doesn't really tell me anything, I don't think. I 
I don't know, y'all. I might just have to, like, put in a guess and see what's up. Maybe, maybe her purse? Can I look in the purse? I can. Okay. I've spent so- I've spent way too long in this game. <laughs> okay, um... Okay, so matches from the store. A nicotine patch, so she... is trying to quit smoking. A lipstick. Pink lilac. Substantial makes pink lilac water resistantly. Oh, I guess it's probably just like like that's just a cap to the lipstick. Okay. Uh oh my god, not the uncapped lipstick. <laughs> I know, I don't know why it's uncapped. It's kind of frustrating. But maybe there's lipstick on her glass. On the wine glass that she drank out of. Or on the utensils or something. Ugh, it's tough. It's all kind of like red end. Oh, I think there is, right? Is that lipstick? Can I look at this? Can I pick this up? <gasps> yes, bitch. There we go. Fucking detective skills. Okay, so sh I think she had to die. I don't know why they like drew it this way. So she definitely died. Again, is this just gonna be the shit I already know? Her man kills her because he's a bitch. Like... Also, one person didn't eat at this dinner. Like, that's Ed. That's, um, the cousin. I don't know if we have a sense on where Jenny is sat. I know, but I, I think they still should have capped it and made you uncap it. You know? Oh, you can look back. Doctor's appointment. Oh, shit. Clara leaves for LA. Clara returns from LA. Doctor appointment. Clara's birthday. Hmm. I mean, like... I don't get why he would have the abortion card, though. You know? And her mom's from LA, so she, like, went to see her mom during that time. Unless he, like... I don't know, he picked it up for some reason. And then I also wonder why was she in this store for so long? She was in the store for like um two hours almost. Not quite two hours, but like a significant amount of time. It wasn't an in and out thing unless she had a hard time finding what she was looking for. Okay, well we do keep finding more stuff. Oh, how did I miss this? Michael's Guide to New York City Restaurants. Alfonso's, da da da. Okay, so what? Oh, this was a restaurant. Now we know this was a restaurant. So she went to get, like, dinner. What day did she go to get dinner, though? Because he wants her to have... That's what I was thinking. Like, he wants her to have an abortion. Like, maybe she cheated on him kind of thing. Like, and I was thinking maybe he che she went here and she cheated. This was 2-14. But like, whose doctor's appointment is this, too, you know? Maybe, I think it's his, though. It's like his book. I think. This also seems like his place, because like... Maybe they write Claire's, but like, in my apartment, we could put Jan's birthday on the thing, and that would make some sense. Like, let me look at this date book again. Appointment with Dr. Richardson. And Dr. Richardson's not this doctor. This is like a different doctor. Sorry, I keep picking this up and... Like, this doctor is Terry... Abortion clinic, and then this is... An attorney, like, I'm thinking, like, divorce vibes, like... Why would he, like, bring her here for that? Or, like, maybe she killed him, or she killed herself? Um... Okay. I think she died. I think she's the person that died. 
We kind of knew that already, but... And we really shouldn't be playing this anymore because this is too long of a demo. Uh, I like this game. Uh, this is dope. I'm enjoying it. Maybe it's not as hard as I'm making it out to be, but I feel like it's challenging enough. I don't know how much I would enjoy this game, but it's really enjoyable watching you play. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, it's definitely a certain style. Oh, man. I mean, I, th I feel like it would be Henry. Because why would, like, who else is here? Unless, like... Unless she... Unless Clara got with Edwin and, like, Jenny's with Edwin, maybe that would be, like, a thing. Is there any proof of that, though? Edwin? Yeah, I know. <laughs> um... Because, wait, hold on. Because who's Jenny? We don't know who Jenny is. This is the only person who, like, isn't really mentioned. Ed is left-handed. Who is Jenny? Ugh. Oh, nothing down here, either. It's just silverware. Oh, man. I don't know. I feel like it was Henry. I feel like I'm missing something, though. I wish I could know if I found, like, all the clues. Fuck. Maybe it's not Henry, though. Like, oh. Uh. I hope they, like, explain to me, like, what happened afterwards. If I fucked it up. What do y'all think? Should I just say it's Henry? Because we just assume it's Henry? Yeah, Jenny from the block. Oh, man. I just can't find any other... Oh, wait. Here's some... Oh, no. That's not something. It's a shadow. Just kidding. What a nice apartment, too. The exposed brick. Like, are you joking? Oh, maybe this? Oh, no. Where are the books? Anything I can click on? No. Oh, I guess it was just... This is harder than I thought it would be. Okay, we, we played this for way too long, so let's just say... I just don't have evidence to really prove this. Fuck it. Are they gonna tell me, though? Only three out of five? Get out of here. Maybe Clara didn't die. What the fuck? Okay. Damn. I wonder if that's, like, guaranteed to happen if they just don't give you enough information, because some of the rooms are blocked off. Alright, I did like that, though. I was pretty into that. That, that gets- that's a three out of five for me, at least. Um, as far as demos go, I enjoyed that demo. I would play that full game. Scene investigators? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I hope it comes out, because it's like a Kickstarter game, so that can be a, a bitch. Um, okay, so, um... I think... So many good games. I think Mr. Sun's Hatbox is a pretty high one up there for me, so... That'll be a good one to play. Let me swap out some more stuff here. Also, let me tweet that I'm still alive, because I don't know if people know that I'm still alive. Even though now it's like, I think the worst time to be still alive. Um, I am gonna stream 
maybe till eight o'clock, maybe like two more hours. Um, I'd kind of like to maybe go longer depending on how many games we've gotten through, but I'm sort of playing it by ear. But I do plan on still being alive for a little while. I definitely don't want to go to like midnight or something. It's a little too late for me. I think the absolute latest I would go is 10, but I probably will end around eight. Um, no, oh, thanks, yeah. Like, around eight is when I would start to consider, like, okay, it seems like a good amount of time. Like, right now I've been live for almost six hours. Like, that would give us, like, an eight-hour stream. Are you going up earlier nowadays, too? Uh, yes and no. Generally, yes, but the last few days I have slept in a bit till, like, nine-ish or so. Um, but, like, Monday and Tuesday I got up around... 7 30 ish like trying to like get to the gym by eight ish to get back home by nine and kind of do like whatever needs to be done um let's look at settings i also don't really remember what this game exactly is so this is mr sun's hat box thanks for the hydration that reminds me i do want to have the lozenge from just talking a lot today i think i have some lozenges here they might be uh, in my medicine box above the top of the, th the uh, thing. But yeah, you know, uh, it's been a really fun week of doing like a lot of content. <sighs> Gotta be careful not to drop a bunch of stuff. Hey, the Badoof hat. Uh, yeah, I'll grab that in a second. I hate that these are sugar free. Mm, you know, what? I'll try the sugar free ones. Good crack. Are you sick? No, I'm not sick, fortunately, at least not yet. Uh, my brother and his fiance are sick, or not fiance, his wife. My brother and his wife, aka sister-in-law Maggie, they got sick. She got sick first, then he got sick. And Isaiah's kind of teetering at this point. He's not full on sick, but he's kind of like not feeling great. Um, I'm feeling mostly pretty fine. A little congestion here and there, but that might also just be allergies. I got sick too. I've been sick for a week and a half. Yeah, I'm honestly just waiting at this point to get sick because everyone else in my house is sick. Like a cold because I tested negative. Yeah, um, my sister-in-law also tested and she tested negative. So, um, but just in general, I actually want to have like lozenges more often when I stream, especially for when I stream for a long amount of time, just to keep like my voice good. Because it is a lot of talking. And I'm pretty used to it, but, you know, it's good to be more preventative than reactive, you know? Okay, so let's write this down, because I'm going to forget the name of the game otherwise. Like, I definitely would love to get to the 25 games that we, well, I kind of set as a goal for myself. Oh, very demo so far. Yeah, we're gonna definitely going to do recaps and I plan on making some other content with this. Uh, Planet of Lana, Shumi, Come Home, Super Raft, Boat Together. Um, Dungeon Drafters, Unmerk, and the one we just played, Scene Investigators. Those have been my favorites so far. Uh, but we'll kind of go through, um, we'll probably focus on the highlights to begin, and then I'll talk a little bit about the lowlights, because, like, it's like, oh, that's not as exciting to talk about, but it could still be valuable in the sense that, like, there are games that I played that were anticipated games for people that like you might want to know that like I didn't like um okay yeah I really enjoy it and I didn't play the full demo but when I played it I thought was really cool please sign here so I don't even really remember what this is if it's like a platformer like a sh sh like a what it is Don't worry, sir. Um, I have that actually in my list. Maybe we'll play it. Cause I thought that game looked real. I love the style of it. Well, I shoot, I don't know if I'm thinking of the right game actually now. Crystals of Erm. I might be thinking of Crystallis, so. They're a rear tube package. Oh, they're getting away. Yeah, if anyone remembers offhand the description of this game or can copy paste the description from Steam. Because I forgot offhand. I just know I was into it. Like, I wanted to check it out. Okay. And the classic jump down.
Get behind the guard to stay past. Hmm. Cute. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Try passing on another neck. That's so cute. Jump onto hats to knock them off. To equip hat. Okay. V hat. Badoof, Badoof. Howdy, Joe, what's up? Oh yeah, oh shit, why did I forget that was your name? <laughs> that, that was your like username. I'm like, oh yeah, I know you. How's it going? Okay, aim with R and shoot with RT. Simple enough. Good tutorialization on Mr. Sun's hat box as well. RB to throw your weapon at a guard. That's hilarious. And then it, it ended up hitting me back, which is kind of funny. Okay. Capture gun. What? What the fuck? Okay. <sighs> All right. So I'm just like chasing after my hat box then, yes? Oh shoot, I'm like tangled in my own cables. Give me a second. Hello, Mr. Sun. I'm sorry I wasn't able to shoot your practice myself. Oh, that's just, but not fear. Since you signed up for the delivery guarantee insurance policy, we won't relent until the package is in your hands. Oh, it's not that big a deal. You own the land under your shop, correct? We shall set up a base of operations as we continue to search. Oh, I'm not sure if I had no extra cost, of course. Thank you for your patience. Base of operations. Hmm. Finish the staff rooms and the storage before we look at our missions. We need to build two rooms, staff and storage, okay? Okay, is this almost like... Oh my god, what's that Fallout game where it's like you're managing like the little people? Shelter? Does that have like a Fallout shelter aspect to it? Or what are, we, what are we looking at here? From here, you can scan for missions. Okay. Yes, shelter. Um, cool. Each day you'll have a choice of three missions. Um, choose a unit to take on the mission. If you fail the mission, the unit will be lost permanently. Oh, permadeath. Equip your unit for the mission here. I like that you can play co-op. That does seem cool. Place attention to your unit's quirks. They drastically affect your play style. Hold LT to see more details. Okay. Ah. Uh, steals all gold from mission. Can't keep a hold on melee weapons when attacking. Bounces and stun the unit it lands on. Sneaky. Shoots when bombed. Guess why not? I stay off um, Twitter till Eddie's last was party. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, same, same. Oh my god, I panicked from everything that I learned. Everything I learned, I forgot. How do I like hide him or something? Hey, thanks for the bits. Happy appreciate th Friday, Jan. Appreciate the happy Friday. Hmm. 
Is there a point in like pick, picking him up? I don't know why I'm taking him with me, but... Ooh, the earmuffs are so funny, actually. We have to neutralize him, though, right? How do I do that again? Because there's capture. Is he dead? Oh, it's complete. Okay, yes, he's dead. The earmuffs are, like, trippy. I probably shouldn't pick up this dagger though because I'm I'm slippery. My hands are slippery with daggers. Oh, <laughs> shit. Ah! Uh, look, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here, if I'm being honest. We're just going to keep going. Okay. Who's your friend going for the Super Bowl? I don't know if anyone cares, to be honest. Um, I mean, maybe my brother would or my dad. I guess my brother and my dad are the most likely people to care. So maybe we'll probably just root for whoever they want to win and just call it there. Yeah, uh, me too. Uh, it's very charming. That's something I like, noticed immediately as well. Like, Greasy Dale gained max health. So is there like an end to the game though? While you were gone? This almost reminds me of like the genre mashup. It kind of reminds me of like how there's Call to the Lamb, where it's like a roguelike. And you're doing like this kind of um, dungeon crawler style of combat, but then there's also like the um, base element stuff, so. Space already occupied. Yeah, the sim stuff that's there. Like a med bay here? I don't know. Okay, there are story missions then. Hmm. Can be seen by cameras through walls. Mission targets won't get pointed out. Hmm. Sensitive skin. Medkits hurt. Okay. Breathing the smoke hurts over time. Paratrooper can fall really far without dying. Sure. You got this. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm sure Rose happy about the legacy. Yeah, um, yeah, he was talking about that yesterday, I think. Let's see. Um, I like haven't fully followed what has been going on, so. But he has, like, you know, a bunch of content all the time, as you'd expect. I guess I'll capture. Oh, I'm out of balloons. Oh, I have so many balloons. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh. They found me. Oh! How do I, like, kill him again? Is it, like... I forgot how to kill him. Wait, where's my gun? Oh, shoot! He came back! He came back! 
Oh god. We need a gun or something then. Okay, this is who we're going to kill anyway, so... RT. But I can just like walk up and like stab him, right? Or do I need like maybe a certain weapon or a loadout to do that? Cause I thought like you can capture him with Ah, but then I think you can like kill him with RT. New room is available. I'm on the build menu. Convert. Oh, that's fun. Convert captured enemies into uh, staff. Let's go with Greasy Dale again. Oh, he's not full health. Never mind. Um, can I like put people in the med in the med bay? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. So straight shooter. Can be seen by cameras through walls. Improve swing. Demolitionist. Sure. Our oh, arm is. He just has a. Oh, he's out of ammo. I'm out of ammo, though. What happened to me? Where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay, cool. I think I'll do maybe like one more and we'll kind of call it there. Hey, uh, not the mellow fellow. How's it going? Oh, hold on. Let's change out who we got then. I guess we'll take this buddy. I forget how far it's going to be hard, but it's okay. I don't know who anyone is, so I'm going to have to like tell everybody. There's two floors. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, no, I was caught. Oh! Oh, I completed the mission. Great. Oh, let's grab. You know, I have my pistol's empty. Hmm. 
Take this guy. Gun's empty anyway, yeah. Yeah, I should have that sword instead. Oh shoot, oh god. No, I'm carrying this treasure chest too, but... Spiky hat. Shoot, this guy's a spiky hat too. having the different, like, party members and them having different buffs and debuffs and the idea of building out, like, a little society there to kind of help you, like, get through everything. Plus, there's a gain of core bulletproof. Immune to normal bullet genus gets stunned instead. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. That's a, 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 another, another solid three out of five. Like, it's good. N not great. Like, I wasn't absolutely in love with it, but, um... You know, it's one to one to watch, one to look out for. Okay, Mr. Sun's hat box. I'm just not as enthusiastic about it as some other games, but this was cool. Okay, so where do we go here? Okay, here we go. Okay, so Tower Full of Cats, obviously have to play this one. I love uh, hidden item oh. games and this is a hidden item game about cats throughout history. So, I don't know if there's a way this can lose. Any of you guys have plans for Valentine's Day? Yeah, me and Isaiah, um, hopefully we're both like in good health and not with the cold, because like I said, he might be getting a little sick. Um, and I have felt fine so far, so we'll see. Um, we're gonna take the day off. I think we didn't, we're gonna take the day off regardless, even if we're, if we end up having a change to like an inside plan. But we're gonna go get some burgers. I wish this didn't keep just like ringing. Give me a second. Oh, uh, we're gonna get some burgers and um, I think we're gonna play more of our like co-op puzzle games. We've been working our way through the We Were Here series. So we'll probably keep playing those. Maybe do a couple other games, like play some board games or something. Um, maybe, Mm, those are all the plans we have like set set but yeah that's what we have uh on the rocket docket what about the rest of y'all what are you guys doing i'm excited to have the day off i've been working like a lot actually lately so it'll be really good to be like we're off we're hanging out like it's just gonna be a fun time so okay so let's see hi i'm leo i'm a rookie of this year's spacecraft there was this animation could you help me please i knew i could count on you okay I think the how to play is pretty, uh, like, straightforward. Click on the cats and tools to grab them. You can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Click and drag to move the screen. Press escape right to access the inventory. The number on the big cat head indicates the hidden cats in the floor. The number on the spy indicates how many cats are hidden inside and under objects. The numbers in the screw and bolt indicate how many of them are left to pick up. In the current floor, in a magnifying glass. Um, wait, how many of them are left to pick in the current floor? And the magnifying glass indicates that you can use a hint. Okay, I think that should be pretty straightforward. Can I just like, okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, so, cat, cat, cat. Right cat, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll start with like a quick scan and just do like the obvious ones that we can see. Um, that's a cat. 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 All right, so there's 65 total. I think there's, is there 10? This is the remaining number, right? I think. Let's start from like the bottom left corner then and just start looking around. They count the big cats as cats because they're still cats. There's a cat. There's one. 
Hey, Joe's playing that paranoid demo. <laughs> um, another cat. Cute, they're not super hard to see, but also I'm like pretty good at these, so maybe that could be part of it. And then we'll go like right to left. Or sorry, yeah, right to left, that is correct. Here's one. Big cat. Smooshed cat. Like, this is no hidden folks in terms of, like, um, challenge, but I still am enjoying it. So this is probably, like, so a solid three. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's buddy. Oh, I don't know what that sound was. Okay. Oh, here, here's one. Some of these are pretty hidden, though. Like, that one's pretty hidden. And I think we'll still have some left over when we're done with this. We'll have to look again. Okay, here's another one. Oh, and then there's- oh, duh, these are objects. Okay, oops. That there's like, okay, bolts, like nuts and bolts that they want you to find too. I didn't- I didn't notice that until now. Or I didn't register what that meant. Oh, and that was cool. You had to click on it to reveal that the cat was there. Same with this one. Thumbs up in the sky. Okay, so it's a little like hidden folks. We have to like interact with the. Uh, gotta try to do it tomorrow because it might be busy during the actual day. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the challenge too because it is like busy. We're we're gonna like try to beat the crowds a little bit. Oh, hold on one second. <coughs> oh, am I doing like a midday thing? Because I was gonna do like fancy restaurant like evening dinner thing, but we've done that before for like I think our last anniversary we did that, and frankly I just didn't really like the food we got. Um. I think definitely there's expensive restaurants where the food super hits. Um, but then there's also some restaurants where the food does not hit. So, um... Let me click around for where these cats might be. Oh, there's one! That's so cute! So I'm like, why don't we go to this burger place that we've been wanting to try? You know, pretty casual, so I don't think it'll have, like, the Valentine's Day spike necessarily. As much as, like, other restaurants might. I'm sure we're getting these like nuts and bolts too. Yeah, he's eating a little little meat. <laughs> okay, let's see. We'll see. I'm getting a little sleepy, and hopefully it's not an indication of a cold, but. Sorry, I like heard something and I was like, what what is that? So Isaiah actually was out of the house today for work, so I'm like, who's who's there? I know Maggie and Edwin came home already, though. I heard them come in. Okay, I think we're only missing five cats now, right? Or is there 35? I forgot. They explained to me this whole system, but I forgot what they what they were talking about. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if that does anything. I just don't know if there's any cats in that orange space. It's starting to look like no. What is up? All right, I'm feeling kind of challenged by this now. All right, let's see. Hmm. So we're also still missing a couple nuts and bolts. Because this is like a different page, right? Oops. Yeah, where you can like... Yeah, it's like the levels and stuff. Okay, I see. I see now. Right, the Tower of Cat. Okay, it's in it. So you go up the tower. Okay. Makes sense.
All right, well, I guess I should start at the bottom again and see what we're missing. I'd like to avoid using the hints. Ah, I found one. Okay, so we're almost done with the cats. We still have a lot of nuts and bolts, though, but... I don't think there'd be a second one in there. That one we already found. Oh, now we found that guy. He's already there. Okay, keeping an eye out, keeping an eye out. We're zoomed in. Might need those hints, not gonna lie. I'm trying to look a little bit at that orange spots too. I don't think they do the background like that actually. I think it's just like the foreground. Okay. Where could it be? Where could it be? I think I'm almost too zoomed in now, so I'm like. Oh man. I did get a little lazy with my like re going over everything, but we have, I think I'm missing four cats, um, three like screws and three like, what are those bolts I guess? Washers? Okay. Ooh, uh, so I just got here. Uh, so there's most likely things I missed about the game, but what's stopping anyone from just clicking anywhere? Um, I would say nothing, but I think I think it does require some degree of precision. Like right now, like this is me just clicking everywhere. And I don't think you, I think the likelihood of you finding everything that way is pretty slim. Like you probably could click on some things that way. Um, but yeah, I, I imagine that stuff has to be like somewhat precise. And for the cats, they can be inside objects where you click on the object and the object moves. But I feel like I've clicked on everything. Like he came out of like that little hole. Um, I don't know. I might have to use the hints. So I've looked at it for a bit and I can't find any other cats. I do like that they count the big, the old big cats as cats. I'm like fairly good at these games. So I'm like, oh, can I really not find those last pieces? Let me look for like the bolts first. Maybe I'll just look for like the, the objects. Cause I forgot that I was looking for those. So I had passed a couple and maybe along the way we'll like find the cats when we're not looking for the cats, you know? Okay, so it's not in that. It's not in here. Okay, I'm looking around. The little screws and the bolts. Where are you? Where are you at? I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I don't know what that was. Maybe that's like a bonus thing? Okay, so I've been having some. I've been trying to my to rather I rather for a bit. That's about it's because it becomes unplayable. <laughs> oh man, it's a bummer. I don't know how you can handle that horror stuff. That hardcore horror stuff is so scary to me. Okay. So how much time has it been? Shoot, did I not time this one either? Y'all gotta remind me to time this stuff. Just joined the stream after uh, trying the demos for a play later. Shoot me. What game is this? Pretty Colors. Oh, this is um, Tower Full of Cats. It's a hidden uh, objects game themed around finding cats throughout uh, human history. And they, they toss in a couple objects to find too. So right now I'm missing four cats, three of these like screws, and three of the, what are they, washers? And you do have hints that I'm gonna use if I don't find any more right now, cause I I found a lot of them, but 
I think I've been stumped, which is like fairly impressive to me because I, I think I'm actually pretty good at these games. So I like that I've actually been a little bit stumped. Seem very much like condemned to me. If you remember um, that from the 360, honestly, wasn't that scary? And I'm not just saying that for you guys play it because it also seemed kind of bad. Um, no, it's fair. I could see it not being that scary. I, I might check it out because it was interesting. It was interesting looking. And it is nice to get like a breath of genres in there. Yeah, I mean, I can't find these cats, y'all. I don't know if y'all know where the cats are at, but I'm gonna have to use the hint because. Oh, is there a cat in the cloud? Okay, so it pulled me up here and it made a noise. Oh, that's the only hint I got? Up here? I thought they were gonna like just show me the answers and now the hint is gone. Y'all. Excuse me? This is not much of a hint in my opinion. <laughs> this is not enough of a hint. I don't see any cats here. What? That hint did not help at all. Well, at first I thought it was because I thought maybe it drew me to the area, but I don't see anything here, which could be my folly. But then also now the hint's just gone. Like I only get one hint. The hint was this corner. Hint, it's somewhere here. <laughs> I mean, I think in a hidden games object that game that is fair but to not let me replay it oh here it goes what it, it drew me down here for a second though and then went up there what is with that what okay loses some points for the the hint click on the tree again Ooh, the tree i don't know what you mean by that this is so to me i i um see these as clouds and then this I don't know. This is like, I guess, kind of like a tree. Oh, this tree. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I, that was so weird because I clicked on it before and it wouldn't like open, but now it's just like open. So, all right. Well, these are where our cats are, guys. Oh, shit. I'm missing 21 cats. I thought I was missing like four. Well, that's awkward. I'm not too salty about that, though, because I tried going in here before and it didn't work. Um, I don't know, but these are where the cats are. Never mind, I thought I was only missing four. I guess I misread the, uh, the info as well, but hey, it worked out. We're going to be able to finish this part. But yeah, I love games like this, so this is very up my alley, but uh, definitely if you're not into hidden game video games, this is not going to do anything for you. Uh, especially because it is fairly straightforward. I think if you're looking for one that has a bit more um, movement to it and stuff, uh, Hidden Folks is like one of my favorites for that. Um, but I, I really like this and I like that it's themed uh, around cats throughout history. I think that's cute that they can that kind of tie it all together and they don't just make it random objects. Though they have a couple random objects there as well. Here, like here's one. And then we'll do the zoom in later. But right now I'm just kind of surveying the area. I know this is another one that would be great for the iPad as well, so here's hoping. Um, okay, so I think these are all the cats I can see. Oh, here it goes. See without zooming in. But let me just do another visual pass. Okay. So now let's zoom in. Basically, I'll just try to finish this level. That would be ideal before going on to another game. Okay, so then we have. Just think there's anything about hiding behind these pieces. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I thought this was a cat. Oh, here's a, here's a cat though. Okay, four, no, no cats remaining, but we do have one bolt and one, um, are, are those washers or are they nuts? I don't remember, but. Ooh, okay, there, that, that's the last bolt and then we have like one more thing left. Ooh. Okay, 
Nuts, okay. Banjo, Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, got it, got it. Mmm, I don't, I don't want to have to find the last one, so. Oh, this is much clearer. Oh, and there are more cats left. There's three. I thought I found them all. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I stand corrected. There's my other cat. Now, that was a much better hint. Where it just, like, sh I mean, it was kind of the answer. It wasn't really a hint, but hey. So there's more cats inside of things. Or, like, behind things. Okay. I kind of forget, like, what this shorthand means, and you can't, like, click on it to remind you, which I think is a little bit of a flaw. Oh, they do explain it to you at the beginning, and I did read through it, but I just kind of forgot. It's, like, hard to remember all that, like, in the moment. Um, oh, I think it's the pink cats, um, are... You have to click on something to, like, get them to appear. Like, all the other cats are just in the... You can look and, like, point to them. But, like, this cat, I had to click on the beetle to move to see the cat behind it. This cat, I had to click on the box to, like, kind of shake it so that the cat appears. Um, so I think that's why they're different colors. Um, let's see. So we're missing one cat and one nut. Maybe that's what the cloud is. That's what I thought, but then I went into the cloud and I clicked around on it and nothing happened. Yeah, I think it is that. Which, again, they did ex they did explain it to me, but I just didn't fully remember. Like, I thought... Here's what I thought. I thought the hi the hidden cats was that number, but I thought it included... Like, once this hits zero, you found all the cats. Kind of thing. I'm a big Rocket League guy, but I can play the crap out of this just to chill. Exactly. Like, I think it's such a nice, like, laid-back game. Um, like, I love hidden uh, object games. I think they're really fun. Hmm. Where's this last cat gonna be? I mean, maybe he's not even in this area. I don't know. I wonder if he's like... These bones? No. Ooh, I might have to use the hints for this one, too. If I was, like, playing this completely, un like, without time constraints. Oh. Oh. I don't think I was gonna find him. And then, yeah, the last uh, bolt is just, I think, somewhere around. Yeah, yeah, you have that in, uh... You could like a dragon, too, which I enjoy, finding the little hidden cats. I'm just gonna get the answer, because I don't want to find the last one. Um... But I do kind of want to finish this, this thing off, even though... There's not really a point to me finishing this, but... I just want to. Come on now, give me the other hint. They do have like a cooldown, it seems, for the hints, which is fair. To kind of discourage you from just spamming the hints. Maybe I can find this on my own while the thing re reloads. Where could it be? Where could it be? Oh, I don't know. Oh, and there's still more out here? Oh, no, it's that there's like a bunch at the top, I think. Okay, good. I was like, oh my god. Did I not miss all of these? I guess like I had to finish maybe the outside before going into this inside part. I don't know. Let me find the last thing, please. Please, I'm just missing one more thing and I don't know where it is. Give me the hint. Yeah, I guess they move out of the way once like you're ready to move on. Maybe you don't need to do all of them, because I think some of these are like bonuses, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know if it gives me a hint for this, because I, I think they might be considered extras. Um... So there you go, y'all. And then this one's cute because it's like, again, this it's moving throughout like human history. And then you're gonna have like the next one and like you can go like down to the old one and you have the Tower of Cats. Uh, very, again, very solid 3 out of 5. I really like this game. Lots of games are kind of like this, so, you know. Uh, it's a highlight for me. Um, and it is a good game, but... That's the statement. There you go. Ma make it meaningful for you. Um, <laughs> yeah, the top is just Bruce. The ultimate cat. And there's another uh, hidden items game in here. 
as well, but I picked this one because it has cats. Uh, the other hidden items game, we're not going to play it because of time, I don't think. I don't think I even downloaded it yet because I think I knew I wasn't going to be able to play it. Um, now, here's the thing. Do I dare try Paranoid? Has anyone played this? Oh, only Joe. <laughs> Um, what are people saying about this game? Because it seems really scary. Oh, ah, uh, I think that actually, and straight up, this is not me being a punk. The fact that it has um, sexual content and nudity, I think I'm going to have to pass on this just because I don't want to play a game that has sexual content and nudity on stream. Um, but let's see what thing. Oh, this is the uh, the game that I passed on playing. That's also a hidden games game. Um, and it's find all four magic and let me just show you what it looks like the nurse starts with a person barfing <laughs> yeah that seems like it might be a lot uh it's find over a thousand cute animals and objects in the level of varying degrees of difficulty so this also looks really cool so if you're if you liked tower full of cats you might also want to check out find all four magic again hence big tiff it's well designed the way tower full of cats is but um this was one that i had on my list as well um Let's do, I think, this text adventure. Oh, it's still downloading, actually, this text adventure game. So we'll have to wait for that to finish. Um, oh, man. I only have, like, let me look one more time on my wish list to see if there's nothing that I'm desperate to play. Because I think we'll have, we still have a couple games left. I'd like to get to 25. But... Um... I only have like so many slots left. You know what I would love to dip into really briefly? Because it wouldn't take that long, I don't think. Or oh, actually, Ralligator, too. What's Ralligator? Oh, yeah. Physics based platformer. Interested in that. We haven't had a platformer win really yet. Um, the platformers have been kind of rough. Uh, this next fest selection, again, I did select the games. Maybe I'm not as good at scouting as I thought I was. I don't know. Um, willing to share the blame, you know? So I'm going to pick a couple like maybe platforming games and then that text adventure There's also a like dream setup game that I think would be fun to check out. So I have a couple other ones that I'm interested in um, making sure we get to before the stream's done. But uh, yeah, we're here. We're going. We still got some time left. And that is that. Let me drink a little bit more water. Um, we respond to Isaiah, who's on his way home. Actually, I'll hit, I'll hit my family up when I know I'm ready to watch, like, The Last of Us. Ooh. It's crashing again. It is crashing one more time. There is a spooky game that's, like, kind of story text adventure based that we might be able to check out since Paranoid is a little too graphic for me to want to stream it. Um... Okay, let's go to back to the wish list. Um, Crystal Rise seems super interesting. I think I might be down to take a flyer on Crystal Rise. That could be fun. Another three gigabyte game. Some of these demos are like a lot bigger than I thought. Steamant. What is that in response to? I'm potentially here for it, but. To stream it, steam it? Like, is that is that a play on stream it? Stream it from Steam? Oh, Steam not responding. Okay, yeah. Like, damn it, but Steam. Did you check out PSVR 2? I have not checked out PSVR 2. Um, but I'll be getting to that for sure, just for PS I Love You content, so... Uh, yeah, it should be pretty exciting. I haven't seen, like, people's, like, people, I don't know if you asked me before, but someone else in the chat asked me if I had, um, 
seen the like unboxing videos and stuff and like since i'm going to be getting one um eventually i'm like okay i'll just wait and kind of have my own like experience to that kind of stuff um i mean sometimes i've watched unboxings of things i get as well but you know it depends okay Um, I was interested in mail time, but it's a little samey for some of the other stuff we've done. Oh, there is like um, this one and Ogu, the secret forest could be really cool. Uh, in the web of cables. Yes, the web of cables was hell on earth. But I'd be over VR at this point. Yeah, I mean, it's um, finally a demo that's 160 megabytes. Um, these multi gig demos for what? Like, why is, why is the demo so big? Luckily, I do have a lot of space, so it's like, okay, whatever. What was I using this for? Um, John, thanks for the sub. It's tier one. I appreciate it. Okay. So we got this. Um, I'm just making sure there's like, what are the ones I really, really, really want to get to? Oh, I was actually interested in Shadows of a Doubt. My dream setup seems like it'll be a nice cozy moment. And there's so many games still left. Book of Hours, I think we already had installed. Um, my dream setup is really cool, but I don't know if, like, it's really worth looking at. Like, I don't know if we'll get, like, a really big, like, a shocking takeaway from that. So maybe that'll be, like, a cool down, like, last thing we do. Like, a bonus, like, a 26th, because I'm really interested in, in this game. It looks really cool. Um... But yeah, I'll download this and maybe glance through for, I know I keep mentioning, oh, glancing through for one more, but I just want to make sure that the ones I'm most excited to get to, that I get to them, um, or ones that seem like most unique or different or whatever. I have no interest in PSVR 2, but the day that I can get a new Astro Bot is the day I make a bad financial decision. Oh man, yeah. Six, $700 for a new Astro Bot, 600 for the console with the shipping, and then whatever cost for the game. Money well spent. Money well spent. Hopefully this starts downloading, because... Or maybe it's just in the queue or something. Um, let's keep glancing. Again, Sherlock Holmes Awakened. Is that, it's probably, oh, it's going to be another Sherlock Holmes game, so I'll just skip that one for now. Cardboard Town. Oh, yeah. Ogu, I was did want to play. It looks so cute. Um, the YouTuber Retromation just did a video for Cardboard Town today. Pretty neat. Uh, now I feel like we should be hitting up Cardboard Town. Okay, I might swing back for that then. Um, this also seems like super interesting too. Then there's, uh, Cavern of Dreams. It's got that like N64 look. It just looks kind of too, um, it looks really fuzzy. In like the art direction. Um, this may be a minor gripe, but after getting used to the wireless VR, it's tough to... Oh, yeah. No, for sure. I mean, I love having my, like, Oculus, even though I've barely used it. And then what sucks, too, is, like, they came up with the... Well, it's now the MetaQuest, but, you know, um, the MetaQuest 2, and some... Like, there are games that were exclusive to MetaQuest 2, so it's, like, I kind of felt like I got into it late, and then it became kind of, like, obsolete based on the second one for some games. So, like, PSVR 2, I'm there for the culture, and I'm glad I can play clock world winders or whatever the heck um this one i really want to play i mean there's a fucking lot of games i want to play here look up at the ceiling could be good for spooky times and i definitely want to make sure that i get to um just some platformers because we've only d i mean a lot of games you jump in but i'm a big fan of platformers i'd like to find some pretty fire ones if possible like that would be cool so we'll see okay i think that's basically my full pass tesla grad maybe might be one but i think i might already have that downloaded high water is tough because i am actually interested in it but it's like uh do i have time 1000 resist is also interesting too
Okay, we might need to do one more pass after this, but let's go to um, the library for now and just see what we have. So, something I'd like to do, okay, hours of time out, man, so many things. Okay, I think, you know what, Rusted Moss, I think that could be an interesting one, so let's, let's check this one out. Keyboard and mouse recommended. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm wondering, can you full screen it? Settings. Screen size. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. 2x, 1x. Oh, no. Why did it go all the way down? Hold on. Hold on. Is there not like a full? 3x. Full screen. Okay, there we go. Uh, there is an Ogu game. My friend uses the Ogu game. In Kaka oh, cool! I didn't realize that was that was like a Kaka Talk character or a character available in Kaka Talk. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's like a mascot character or what. Um, like I don't know who Ogu is. I just thought the game looked cute. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably check that out today. Okay, so let's check this out for now. This is oh my god, what was it called? Rusted Moss. Yeah. Okay. So let me write this one down. Uh, loving the art, you know, big fan of that pixel style. Okay. Flexible. I definitely don't like them, and maybe this is like a translation thing or something, but couching, like, needing flexible to access the accessibility options. Um, like, I kind, like, you know, in some ways I get it, but it's like, that probably should be like, explained differently or like angled differently. Um, I don't know. Like maybe just custom difficulty or something. I, like the, just having it only in the flexible category is a little odd. Hey, wake up. Oh, my head. They'll be looking for you soon. We have to keep going. All right. The seer is living in the mountain up ahead. We should try to bring for any of Titania's pieces we find. Okay, wasp to move, space to jump. I love this uh, design of this character. Oh, okay, so, sorry, jump and hold left to right and put towards the ledge to grab it, okay. Oh, S in space, okay. All right, fair, fair. Oh shoot, left click to fire. Oh, the my range is not that big. I like love her design. Um, the character design is so cool here. I do wish I had controller support. Oh. Yeah, such a good aesthetic. Oh shoot, I left all of my coins up there, jeez. Oh damn, they fucking disappeared. Okay, well, it's not that serious. We don't even know when, when we're gonna play this game again, so let's just keep going. But yeah, her jacket, her hair, like everything, it's like a, it's a vibe. Destroying these machines lets you absorb their uh, mana. Press E to use stored mana to heal. Thanks, looks like I might have to learn magic all over again. Okay, cute. We can I kill this bat? Maybe not. Can I go down here? Hmm. Looks like this could maybe be used for something later. Oh, interesting. Save F for trinkets. So far, feel in this game. Um, tab to view map. Definitely want controller support though in the future. That would be awesome. Grapple mode, rebind keys, accessibility. What is, uh, just not right now. We'll just stick to the standard, I guess. Oops, I actually went to the menu. Well, luckily we uh, saved, so I guess it's fine. Oops, oh gosh. There we go. Let me also put my timer, because I've been forgetting to do that. 
We only have so much time with these games to be able to get through a lot of them. I do think overall, like, the 15-20 minutes was pretty good. Um, I definitely think, I mean, you know, it's hard to get through everything. I would love a time where we, like, pick every game that we want to play and, you know, and really make sure we get through all of them and do, like, a multi-day thing. Um, where it's like, oh, Planet of Lana, like, we can do the whole, the whole demo type thing, you know? Like, really exhaust all this stuff, like, an hour, two hours for certain games, like, full-on previews and stuff. Um, but, you know, at the same time, you can only play so much in a given day or week or whatever. I wish I had more range. At least the enemies don't have much range, so it kind of works. I love these little springs, too. Um, I actually really like the music in this game, too. It's kind of quieter than I'd like, but it's got, like, a fun style to it. Oh, may I? Can I not jump here? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, it's kind of like melee combat. Okay, so we'll just go this way. Let's E to heal. I forgot how I get my mana, I think from killing enemies, right? Something like that. Something like this, like having the little bit of combat with the spring is really uh, compelling. It just kind of adds a layer of dynamics to, oh god, to the action that you don't get otherwise. I don't know if you can even kill those, maybe not. They're probably just environmental. I like the clinging to the ledge. Big fan of clinging to the ledge. Woof. And I will say, for me at least, just because I'm not used to it, doing all this with my ma mouse and keyboard is a bit of a challenge. I really hope they do come out with um, uh, controller support. Downwards by jumping view a boost. Uh, let me see. Nah, I don't think so. It's It seems pretty static. I mean, it is convenient to get to just po uh, you know, like most people say with um, mouse and keyboard controls, to just get to point to aim. But I'd, I'd rather have, like, more maneuverability. Hey, how's it going? I've been camping in this area for a while. I sort of think life is more peaceful this way. The sand is down with the lab are fighting a futile battle. I think I heard an explosion coming from there. Ah, another cute character, right? Yeah, everyone has like some really nice designs. Hmm. I'm also wondering like... Is this critical path? No, this is like a blockade anyway. Seems like it'll probably be pulling from some, some maybe a little bit of Metroidvania aspects. Oh, God, I was like, <laughs> I was ready to start shooting right away. Oh, you blew up the lab. I swear I didn't know they were still in there. How could you do this? We grew up in the coalition. They were our friends. They were your friends, Maya. We've never been on the same side. You can't believe that. You're still Fern, aren't you? Fern? All those years standing up for you? I should have trusted my gut when I saw you talking to your own shadow. Okay, don't call me a shadow. I guess it doesn't really matter. My pet is going to shred you now. What the fuck? Damn girl, oh! Okay, we're actually doing pretty well. Oh! It's cool that he says like E, like reminding you to heal, you know? Oh, God. Cool. Oh, shit. It, it had more. It had more to do.
It kind of sucks that healing does take you a second. Like, you have to, like, pause to heal. I will say this actions it is a bit rote. And I think it's because, like, I just, you know, I'm not super used to, like, this kind of control setup. Oh my god, I got so lucky there. Okay, let's see. Maybe there'll be a third phase. The classic th three phases. Hi, guys. What's hanging? Ah, uh, where did you come from? I think she was in the, that human's machine. Yes, sirree. And it sucked. There's, like, no space to move. Super smelly. I could use a stretch. She's right about the smell. You freed me from the machine, so how about... A good old-fashioned blessing. Well, that's a powerful spell. I blessed Puck so he can swing you around. That's why I just click... Oh, sorry. Just right-click. And I can help anchor you to fairy moss around here. And you can be swinging in no time. I think I'd prefer to fly, but let's try this out. I just need a right-click to anchor Puck onto the fairy's moss in order to swing. The face is a tongue emoji. Right click to throw hook. Press again to attach hook. Oh, I love this. It is very cute. Oh, and once you click it, it's like you're just there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, right, so then I can like... I mean, I don't know how like good I can get at swinging it, but... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, obviously... Well, there's no moss here, though. There's no fairy moss, so... Maybe we'll have to, like, wrap around. Oh. Um... I didn't realize that I have to actually use this. Okay. Not the smoothest, but I did it. The rope is elastic. You don't just stand on the ground when throwing your hook. You don't have to just stay on the ground when throwing your hook. Run and jump before to build momentum. Okay, so then... Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. You can grapple. Change the grappling hook mode in settings. Oops. I like they don't count that as, like, you losing health, though. Like, when you have to respawn like that. Definitely, it takes a little getting used to. Again, but it wouldn't as much if I had a controller. Um, just saying. Rub is like a bungee cord. If you fall before throwing your hook, it will bounce you. Just make sure you're not going too far down. You will hit the spikes. Control is key. Throw your hook while you're falling down and you bounce back up. Release the hook and see how you fly. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's pretty cool. Oh, yo. This is- this is dope. I really like this game. Hold on, I- Again, I'm not the best at it. Oop. <laughs> okay. Super novel, uh, for grappling hook. Yeah, I like the bounciness of it. It's, it's different. The rope is elastic, so you will fall a little before it flings you back up. Make sure to account for that. Oh, pff. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um. Oh, pff. I mean, I just have to get up here, so I guess it's fine. I like the way uh, she also can like cling to ledges. Big fan of ledge cling in games. Oops. I'm not sure how to like. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Shoot. I'm not sure how to, like, do this. Maybe I can't do this. Hmm. I think I almost had it there. 
Ah. Oh. Yeah, like one fluid movement, like no. <laughs> we have to like fall more first. Be like no, maybe like. But then, like, how do I like? Maybe I can't go this way. But no, I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. I'm pretty sure it's the way I'm supposed to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the way I'm supposed to go. I'm pretty positive, but. Oh, well, I think we almost had it there. Oh, but then it's like. We have to like keep kind of using it. Oh. Let's see. Oh no, hold on, hold on. Man, I just don't know how to like it's at such a weird angle. That's why part of me is like, maybe this isn't it. I don't know. Good enough, hey, it it worked. You can only throw your hook again when your feet have touched the ground or you grab a ledge. Okay. Oh, say, so, okay, so then this is trying to teach me that I have to like grab a ledge after that, that one. Oops. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, almost. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of like, you really have to get lean into the bounce of it and not just use it like a rope. Um. Oh, that's how you do that. Ooh, so this is like a, well, I can just shoot this, right? Oh, maybe now because my gun doesn't reach far enough. I don't think they'd let me like, yeah. I don't think you can like grab. Oh, oh man. Unless they want me to maybe like. Oh, would you like dip too low when you do that? I just wonder if you could like. Oh, there's gotta be a way to do it. I feel like this is the thing you can do. Let's see. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, I'm so close. I'm not really that close. Maybe maybe not. Maybe not right now. At least I don't think you need to do that. I hope not. No, maybe you do need to do that actually, because like they, it seems like they have like all of these set up, and that you have to do all of them would be my understanding of it. Oh, um, I was like the target mini game from Smash Bros. Yeah, it does actually. I could see that. I could totally see that. Maybe just like the one that's really close. No, because it dips me down still. Okay. I, oh, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Whew. Okay, okay, great, great. Okay. Oop. Oh. I guess I don't need to do that anymore because they counted me shooting it, so. Okay. Oops. Hmm. 
Maybe it has to be like... Oh! Okay, I'm basically out of time at this point, but... Oh! Because I can't like go this way yet. No, it's not like enough of a swing. Oh, this one was. Great. Oh, now I gotta get back. No! Oh, okay. Works out. Worked out, worked out. Okay. Uh, what's up, uh, Manic T? How's it going? Um, remember? Oh no, right, I read the, the Smash thing. Um, yeah, this was great. Um, I just want the controller support. <laughs> Though I don't know if it says. Now I'm trying to think. Does it say you can't play with a controller, or they don't want you to play with the controller? Hello, Isaiah. Mouse and keyboard recommended. Damn! Why did I listen to their asses? I fucking should have took the gamepad out immediately. Anyway. This was fire. Um, I hope this like full version comes out or whatever. Um, what is editor? Oh, they have like a level editor? That's cool. But holy cow, like the only three people made this. Uh, yeah, I thought this was like one of my, one of the more enjoyable games that like I had played. Uh, I actually might put this at a four out of five. I thought it was really, really good. Um, yeah, this hit. I'm down for this. Um, hopefully they uh, let me. Well, let me look at the store page and see what's what's going on with it. Release date 2023. You know, we'll see what's up. Uh, 26 year Metrovania. Yeah, I mean, I I'm having a good time with it. Yeah, see, these bitches. It says full. They have full controller support. Y'all trip. I should. Why did I believe that mouse and keyboard would be the way? <laughs> um, yeah, I absolutely want to play the full version of this. This is. You know, I, I don't want to talk too much about the big picture until we're done with the stream. But of all the games I play, this would probably be one of the ones I'm most excited to get back to. Um, I mean, there's a couple, but this is definitely up there. Uh, I really, really liked it. Yeah, the physics-based grapple, it's it's pretty fire. Uh, I'm not going to front. This game was really good. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Um... You know, I want to believe in that Crystal Rise game, even though it looks a little bit questionable. Uh, what else do we have? We have... Oh yeah, Ugin Seer Forest, looking up at the ceiling. Um, it's a wrap. It's a wrap could be cool. Let's see, how many do I have left? I have five left. And then I'll do a, probably a bonus sixth with that one um, dream setup game. Um... It's another another time to double check the wish list. Uh, yeah, I'm do, I'm doing well. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Appreciate it. Uh, I think definitely the modern text adventure is going to be one, which I think I did download that now. The Ramsey I'm very interested in. And there's a there's a lot of the ones I'm interested in. Honestly, um, did I download High Water ever? Uh, I feel like we should go for more of the unknown than the like I saw a trailer of it before and it seems cool. Um, oh, Ralligator. Yeah, I remember wanting to play that. So let's do, we'll start with Ralligator for these last five or so. Uh, do I have Good Mariah Carey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really blowing on TikTok right now. Um, I did think of that when I saw the name. Hopefully someone on their social team is using that. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I think this has controller support. I would assume this has controller support. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there's only three levels, so we actually might just be able to finish this one. I'm just going to put my timer, just in case. Just in case. All right. Okay, um... Okay, LT to reverse. Really cute art style. Seems to control well. 
to lean. Okay, you can lean. All right. Oh, that's cute. It actually does like feel different driving through like the mud and stuff. Some cute sound design here. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's the year of the gator for indie games. Um, don't sleep on it. Oh, oops. I didn't realize I crashed into those. I wish you more automatically got, like, some of these collectibles. Like, I want to get this one, and it's like... Let me get this. Finally! Jesus, okay. Oh! Oh, that that's what counts as a crash. Okay, now I understand. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, 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 that's cool. submarine can I still like punch stuff maybe not aid a torpedo oh wonder if they're like unlimited or oh no I think you only have a couple bummer uh I will say this doesn't control as smoothly as the um as the um car does but Oh my gosh. And the fact that you have to go back for the torpedoes is kind of annoying. So... Here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, I like the different little powers that you get. Oh no! Oh no, no, no! Okay, okay. Something about that felt so, like, stressful. Hold on, I'm going backwards. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, this is all right. Like, I'm not in, like, you know, I don't know. I like it fine. It's cute. It's not as exciting to me as a lot of these other demos have been. So it's like, okay. Um, I know kind of it only has um, the three levels, but I think I'll actually just stop after this one. Like, I feel like. Like it's a bit much. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh gosh. Like it's cool that there's challenges to it, but I kind of wanted to just like, this is the kind of game I would just want to vibe in and I feel like it's a bit more involved than I would want it to be for how lighthearted it is. Shoot. 
I do like the checkpointing though. I think the checkpointing is very fair. Okay, there we go. Damn! Okay, come on, come on. All right. Yeah, I think it's just a little too hard for the kind of game it is for me to want to like continue with it. Um, okay, let's see. Again, I don't know why this thing has been super wonky. Oh, actually my other mouse is not plugged in. So let's do, try to see where my mouse is at, okay. Okay. Yeah, Ralligator's a pass for me. It's like two out of five. It's fine. I could see some people enjoying the challenge that it presents, but I wouldn't really want to be challenged at that level by that kind of game, or I'd want it to just be, it just doesn't quite fulfill like what I'd be looking for. Uh, the Ramsey's very similar to a lot of stuff, so maybe we'll do, oh. Let me think, do I want to play this game? Looking up, I oh, sure saw that my stress girl wants to explore the ceiling. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's try it. It does sound cool. It does sound cool. It's a little spooky. Could be a fun one. Oh, wow. It's really, it's kind of loud. I might have to turn it down here. Okay, it's very short, great, because we don't have a lot of time. I also will lower the uh, volume the second I get a chance. Okay, I don't think they're gonna let me lower the volume myself, so I'm gonna have to do it on OBS. Okay. Wake up. Okay. It's still really loud. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more. Okay. Uh, what a great day. I wanna go out, but I have to study. But I would like to have breakfast first. No more rain. This is a wonderful day. Looking at this painting calms my mind. This is my nightstand. I love this photo. Just woke up, however, I'm still sleepy. These are my notes. I'm getting ready for my, the anatomy exam. Here's some pictures of the human body. These diagrams help me during my studies. More books to study in a box with manga and anime about the human body. Wow. No more rain. This will be a wonderful day. Okay. Sure, I'm playing in the park. Um, books to study. This is my closet. I have everything I need in it. First, I would like to have breakfast and then check on it later, okay? Advertisements, bills. Today, I will tie this up. I can't leave my house. I would like to have breakfast and get ready first. Here I see, here I can see who is knocking at my door. This is my umbrella. Hope I don't need it today. Um, I guess let's just go to have the breakfast and see what's up with the breakfast. Now time to have breakfast. Something is strange here. I'll check this later. First I'll have to have breakfast. Oh. I guess I maybe should have, um, gone, can I go back? Yeah, I guess I should, we should go back then some more and like observe more of the stuff to see if we get any other sense. Keep my house keys. I still have to sort this out. Um, I mean, it seems cool. Um, like the aesthetic, I like the grainy vibe to it, but I don't think the demo was quite enough to, you know, it's not enough to sell me on it. Let's hear before I bought the house. I want to keep it. I am intrigued though, so maybe it, it's it's doing an okay job selling me on it. I don't need to go to the bathroom. I need some, to get something to eat. 
I will say the um, the constant like pushing you towards like the end is kind of a lot. I think my house with pants they help me keep me more focused. I haven't opened them yet. Oh, spooky. There's something different about these houses. What? Someone is waving at me. Hello? Ooh, it is a little spooky. Below there is the backyard. The music is really carrying, like, the spooky factor, too, in a, in a cool way. Oh, yeah. What's about this? Because I want to go to the ceiling or whatever, right? This is the trap door leads to the ceiling. Now I don't have to go upstairs. Okay, I mean, I kind of wish that, I feel like there, there did need to be more. Is this an iPhone game? It might be based originally on iPhone, I'm not sure. Um, or maybe they're like building it for that or something. I'm not really sure. I mean, it's just the tone they wanted. I don't think it's a port, so. Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, since it's a short game, like, the demo kind of has to be short, too, but I would have liked just a, a little, a little bit more of a tease, um, okay, so this is looking up, I see only a ceiling, yeah, I, I like the mood and the energy that it's exuding, kind of reminds me of, um, what is it called, Mothman 19 like whatever like that indie game I played on Greg's recommendation which was like pretty enjoyable but oh man this is still downloading so maybe not on this one but it wasn't like you know a banger but it was it was cool for what it was and I enjoyed my time with it um this could be really good so maybe like okay what do we have left so maybe fall of the porcupine Mm. What's Book of Hours? And then I Am Future seems interesting. Mm, that could be really cool, actually. Oh, there's still so much that I want to play. Um, Let's dip into... Fall of Porcupine. Let's see if I can also then raise OBS desktop audio back to max and then just bring down the 75 seems good maybe 70 Hi out there Hope you're well I'm glad to have you back Today I want to update you on what's going on in Porcupine. Again, I was on the road for this week and ran into a lot of old familiar faces. Among other things, I stopped by Gilbert's this weekend and sampled Grilliano's latest creation, Wild Gooseberry Beer. Highly recommend for fans of fruity drinks. It's more for the holidays though, but feel free to give it a try. Oh, hold on one second, I just want to swap over some stuff here. Okay. Hold on. Gooseberry. Um, I love this time of year. You can probably guess why. The Hibernation Festival is right around the corner. The preparations have already begun. I talked to the organizer. 
City of Joy. Some popular bands on the bill and local artists represent represented as well. Plus, of course, there's the Big Stew contest again. Remember last year, Chloe Colbert took first place with her sage soup. This seems very wholesome. Bring your biggest spoon and try your way through. There are a lot of highlights again this year. Take a few days off and stop by. Unfortunately, this is the time of year when the days are getting shorter again. Yeah, this is like a hot apple cider kind of game. Uh, today I had to put on a sweater for the first time. Crazy yesterday, it felt like summer after all. But I guess that's how it is with the seasons. You get used to the sun too quickly. Excellent. Okay. A good day always starts with being late. <laughs> That's cute. Can I not click through this? Okay. And without Dr. Kro Krowski busting your chops. Oh, it's X for dialogue. I didn't notice the sign next to the other animal. Or a busted machine. Coffee machine that doesn't even get warm. Anyway, I gotta run. Hmm. The tutorialization is very cute. I like that it's kind of embedded in the background. Except for that one. <laughs> Probably they were just like present all day to glide, okay. I like that you have a little bit of a glide, that's cute. It does sound kind of ominous, isn't it? Someone there? Rudolph, you hear something too? What do you say? Guess the last beer yesterday had already expired. Make a pot of coffee, I got a hangover. Pretty fast load, okay. That stop. Most probably won't see any buses today. You got the day off. Bus stop. Enjoy your day. That's cute. Sarah's Hospital. We howl, we heal. That slogan ain't half bad. Or maybe it's you howl, we heal. I don't know. Who was that hat wearing giant? You ain't have good either. <laughs> Damn. So am I like- is this like Grey's Anatomy, but we're animals? Last days of summer. This is like an obscenely cozy game. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, alright. Wait a moment. Ooh, are those shock dogs? Last made those uh, was when I was a kid. Consumer production banned them as they didn't contain enough chocolate to be called shock dogs. Those things in there could be worth a fortune. Inedible, but valuable. Good morning, Ingrid. You've been working here two weeks, and you're al and already you're late? That's not gonna cut it, kid. Yes, nice to see you too. Save yourself the trouble. Bad day? Bad, my coffee machine's full of mode and the snack machine ate all my change. Uh... There's a construction site at the hospital. When isn't there a construction site here? I get the feeling the city is only tearing up the road so it can rebuild again them after- Rebuild them again afterwards. And then they talk about fiber optics. Fiber optics, who needs that? Hmm, suspicious. The elevator is broken again. It often bugs me that I don't own a car, but at least I've got toned legs now. The music's really good. Uh, 
Painkillers, towels, disinfectants, bandages, just regular hospital shelf, or a hypochondriac shopping list. <laughs> the Andy emote. Oh, can I not go up these stairs? Oh. It, it, it was kind of like hot, hard to like latch onto them. This is the chief of medicine's office and hospital administration. Okay. I kind of get it. It's like you just kind of jump onto them. This is our surgical ward. Okay, which way? Where? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, I guess this one. Maybe I can't do anything until I like, get a chart or something. Or the music's gonna kick back up again, or was that just for the beginning part? Let's see. This is a coffee here. I want coffee. This is the way break room. There have been days when I haven't set foot in this room once. Why is there a break room if we hardly get any breaks? It's sad for the room to not be used at all. Damn. I like love this pigeon doctor. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh god. I'm glad you made it before it got dark. Sorry about that, Dr. Karowski. I asked the patients not to die until you arrived. They might not be so generous next time. I'll be more punctual in the future. Not more punctual, just punctual. Just punctual. Well, alright. Let's start rounds. Time waits for no one. We'll start in room 301. This is where our rosters are posted and cl the cleaning schedule. And someone apparently wants to sell a bike. I might take a look at that bike. Oh, I guess over here, 301. This is Mr. Kissinger. He was admitted last night with a high fever. He also s He's also suffering from severe pain on the right side of his body and an acute rash. How are you feeling today, Miss Mr. Kissinger? Good so far, Dr. Kraus Krokowski. I had a rough night and I'm hungry. Well, that sounds perfect. I would have been worried if you slept uh, well here. Mia? Yes? What do you think? What do I think? Your diagnosis. I see. Yeah, sure. I... I can't figure it out. You can't figure it out. Sorry about that. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the patient. You really need to work on yourself, me. <laughs> I know. Damn, this dude's an ass. And also, why are you asking this? Since it's suffering from herpes zoster? Zoster? A very pronounced case of shingles. Nothing serious, but we will keep him another day for observation or two. Let's not waste time. Get well soon, Mr. Kissinger. Thanks. We still have two more patients to visit in room 302. Let's go. The day is almost over already. I like all the little animals. Um. Good morning, Miss Kasparas. Yeah. Good morning. Are there are the painkillers working? Um, yes, thank God. That was one hell of a pain, or a lot of pain. Miss Kasparas came to us yesterday evening with severe pain in her lower abdomen. She has vomited a few times. Urinating is also difficult. It's your turn now, Finley. Being late doesn't mean you can shrink work. So go on. Well, did you also say? No, it sounds like church mouse. Urinary stones. The patient has urinary stones. You should read about whatever. Okay. I wish you a quick recovery. Call and everything stands. You need anything. Thank you. Follow me. Last patient, last chance. Man, I guess, well, at least everyone sucks. Good morning. How are you today? Just a moment. What's this? Your dressing is soaking wet. When was the last time it was changed? Yesterday, I think. Yesterday at midday. Midday yesterday? Finley, change the dressing now. Mini game time. 
to cure your patient press and hold the show buttons do not press other buttons or more display try to erect as fast as possible okay so it's like a speed like a rhythm game I press and hold the buttons? Oh, is it? Okay. Well, it's kind of like Twister in a weird way. Okay, cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. I don't really like that you don't see an animation with that. Like happening in the background or something. Who was on duty yesterday? Me. I was thinking I was going to change it. My the storage room was here was empty. I was going to go to the basin and get new dressing. And then you forgot about it? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't tolerate such sloppiness in this ward. It was probably just an oversight. Finley, you should stay out of this. Get a grip, Mia. You're not going to get far changing a simple dressing flusters you like that dr Kurkowski, let's not get so worked up you know yourself how stressful it is here we're also constantly understaffed in nursing these two are new they need to get warmed up first that's no excuse i don't want to see a mistake like that happen again and what are you doing here anyway this word storage room is empty again just do your job and take care of it these rounds are over I was great for you to stand up for Mia just now. No problem. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for the damn elevator. It's broken. Again? Great. What are you up to? I have to go to the main storage room on the ground floor. You heard what Kurowski said. The water storage is empty again. I gotta get supplies. Need help? Uh, I sure won't say no. No, but I could help you with carrying. Let's not waste any time then. Unless... We'll take the stairs unless they're broken now as well. What could be broken about here? Because have no idea. You have no idea, kid. Wait. Oops. I was trying to go down the stairs. I went the wrong way. Wait, where are we going? Oh my gosh, I forgot. Is it, is it over here? Wait. Is it not just like the storage stuff on the side? You don't know, aren't you supposed to be working right now? You don't know that the main storage room is at the other end of the corridor? Nice. This is our main storage room, my second home. Can I first glance by my system? You have a system? Yes, I have plenty of systems. Let me get our stuff, Finley. You better stand back, kid. Ain't, uh, you think you're grabbing a cable and it's King Cobra. Why don't you have any snake handling gloves then? We do. They are somewhere in the storage room. No, just jokes about King Cobras. Oh, okay. Hysterical. Hysterical. Agreed. Hey, thanks for the hydrate. Um, that's the last stuff. That's what's really wearing me out. Who knows how many more years my body can take. Why don't we ask the janitor to take a look at the elevator? Old Glendower? Good luck with that. 
Anything will help us with stuff? Everything gray gore touches ends up even more broken than before. Come on, let's just give it a try. All right, but only because it's just one room farther. I'm saving myself a unnecessary step after you. Hello, Mr. Glendower? Who's this? Oh, the newbie. Who is? Can you fix the elevator? I don't have any spare parts. We usually do it with duct tape and a glue gun. That's why it keeps breaking down. I'd rather save myself the trouble. Duct tape? Listen, Gregor, we need the elevator. And I need cigarettes. I lost them somewhere, but where? No cigarettes? No help. If I need cigarettes, will you help us? Hmm, maybe. Maybe. Yes, all right. I was on the front entrance parking lot this morning, and I took a look at Ingrid's coffee machine, but there's nothing more I could do. So, ma so my smokes must be out there. I want it. I hope I can get her stuff. Don't want anything else getting stolen. Oh, that's cool. I like the UI of the tasks on your phone. Like, we'll find the cigarettes and stuff. All right, well, again, only so much time for these games. I like the aesthetics and it definitely feels very cozy. I will say it didn't have like, like I, I'm not hooked on the story yet based on like this brief time I played. Um, let's do quit. But this was all, this is also a three, three out of five, three out of five. Oh, it won't let me quit. It's really persistent. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have to hard close the game then. Was it fall of porcupine? Last day of summer. Last days of summer, kind of a long title. Um, okay. Only a couple more. Let's do, what do we got here? Um, let's see, I'm in 23, 24, 25. I mean, there's probably like more interesting stuff I could do, but well, let's do It's a Wrap and then we'll do Match Our Internship. Again, it is a match three, so it's kind of like straightforward, but it looked really cool. Well, let's start with it's a wrap. This is either going to be awesome. Well, this is either going to be like pretty good or like not work at all. Okay. Let's see which one it is. Start with the settings and see if we can put everything to like set. 80? Yeah, 80 is good. Might be a little too quiet, but at least it won't be like too loud. Oh wow, that was that was actually pretty loud. Okay. It's like Adobe Premiere platformer vibes. Johnny! What, oh, what do you do? Oh god, shooting stars, get a move on it. That was today? Is there a modern equivalent of new grounds for zoomers? I don't know. Wall slide. Oh, I love a wall slide. No, who just has to show up? There you are. Where is it? Get dressed. Oh, did I get dressed? I figured I'd come out the other side, like, dressed, but maybe not. Okay, ready to roll? I was born ready. Okay, let's see what this is like. Oh, my very first scene, so exciting. Okay, when first day, stage ready, we have to read the script. The place is known as Dead Eye Mountain, covered in snow. Okay, porter, crocodiles. Hurry, crocodiles, why did it have to be crocodiles? Without looking down, Ace quickly makes his way across the fragile board before it collapses, so he has to run pretty quickly. 
Um, press Y to open and close the script. When wait, we are getting ready to play our first scene, press action to enter action mode and reach the flag. Okay. Uh, I mean, let's just see what happens. Action. And see what we have to, what we have to change. Oh. Oh, he didn't run at all. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so we have to like add stuff. That didn't seem right. To really, let's fix that. Okay. Timeline rearrange the events of the scene. Preview the timeline with R, B, and L. Okay. I mean, I did this already. Yes, R, B, and L. I guess they wanted me to go like all the way. The cursor is best asset to preview and place it right in the spot. Use it as much as you want. Adjusting the timing of events, trimming the clip along the bridge. Um. Is he like automatically gonna run though? Can I like add actions? Action. Cut. Like action cut zoom pan I mean hmm. Action. I guess we'll just see. He's not moving though, how do I get him to run? Oh I have to run. Oh, duh. I have to run. I'm the one running. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Let me try now. Action. I didn't realize that I had to move. That's kind of cool. Okay. Did I mess up my line? I feel like I messed up my line. Don't sweat it. You did yourself. Yeah, we're good. Cut. Moving on. Let me also like reset. Hmm. Okay, I think it's cool, but I don't I don't think it's for me. Just cause I think it's a little too tedious to have to like go and then I read the script and then I run through it. Like it's an interesting idea. Um but it's not one that I'm interested in doing personally. So that's it's a wrap. Um, like I just don't want to have to like solve the puzzle of that. Like it's not appealing to me. But it's not bad. Um, ooh, final ones. I do want that match our internship game. Um, and. Honestly, just because it's already like eight, I might just do my um, dream setup one that I, I've been interested in checking out. Okay, the first floor up to the first boss, first three characters, unlock a level, all right, all right. Okay. Maybe this should better uh, mouse and keyboard. Matches using uh, your specialty orb always deals more damage. I feel like I'll sense it. We'll see. Yeah, me too. It's very cute. Did you read the memo about the new toy posse? Read it. Okay. If I work hard, one day I will be CEO too. Oh no. Oh no. Your goal is to bring your enemy's HP down to zero while keeping yours above zero. You'll be fully healed after every boss fight, but not after every fight. Okay. To do so, simply click an orb and then drag it to another orb to swap their places. If you match three or more of the same color like this, you will gain one mana per orb popped. And if the orbs matched were the same as your specialty, you will even deal damage to the enemy. 
one damage on match three, two on match four, etc. The enemy will take its turn and play just like you did, except their special or will not deal damage. These are your skills. You will learn a new one with every fight. Hover over to learn more about it. If you have enough corresponding mana, simply click it during your turn to use it and end your turn. Okay. Also, while hovering over skill, we'll show you more about the upgrades. We will learn at the end of the fight how to improve your skills. You can see your character traits down here. These are passive traits that are always active. Simply hover over one to learn more about it. Okay. You can gain more at the end of manager fights, common and rare at the end of boss fights, rare and epic, and in break rooms um, against money, common and rare. Match four is going to another turn, match five is going to another turn, and a driver orb, and the further you go in each round, the more you're locked. Okay, I think I'll just suss it out for the most part. Okay, so this is my turn. Um. Wait, what? Wait, can I just... Wait, what? Hold on. Maybe I don't understand this, actually. Just kidding. What can I not just swap? I think your move has to... Oh, it has to hit the match three. Okay. Which, it's funny, because I never... I didn't play almost any match three games. I think there's, like, one other match three game I have played. Um, I just didn't... When the match three qua craze was happening, I just didn't end up doing any of it. Okay, so I guess I would go with this one. And then I'm definitely gunning for this at some point. Which, maybe I can do for now... Mm. Oh, here we go, here we go. Nice. Okay, and I'm like super powerful, so I'll be fine. Yeah, this will be good. Hmm. Those bots kind of snapping right now. Damn! Okay. Oh, I got one, I got one. Because that, that does damage. That I have figured out. Okay, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Hey, still going, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're almost done. Uh, just getting towards the end here. I didn't realize I was doing double, but... Um... Okay, this is damage. This is cool how you're liking it. It's really cool. I like it. Um, it... It's a match three puzzle game, as you can see. Um, it seems like it has, like, different... I wouldn't say buffs, but, like, events happen. There's, like, extra meters to, like, fill. Um... Like, apparently, like, I can deal a snarky comment, and, like, that does damage. Um, and then I have, like, I think these are my passive matches using, yeah. If I have my, my passive thing is that I'm a bully, so if I match with, like, my icon, I do damage. Match the intentions of games I can play forever. Um, yeah, I, I like the UI a lot. It's super cute. Um, okay, let's see. I'm not sure what these do, or like maybe I unlock more that'll like fill them or something. I'm like not really sure, but. Ooh, I want to do that. Okay. It was just much that I get bored, but if there's enemies and abilities, eh, it's very much my jam. Yeah. Um, fairly similar. So, and then you have, like, it's, like, has this, like, funky job structure. So, like, 
At the end of every fight, you'll be able to learn one out of three possible skills. Um, and, um, yeah, it's as if, okay, if you still have an empty slot and then picking a new skill, will, you will automatically learn it. If you don't, you will have to pick a skill to replace. If you already have the skill at this level, picking it will fuse uh, that skill and then upgrade it to the next level. So, like, that's cool. Base level plus uh, level 10 is, like, the highest. So, you know, create two bombs on the board is that one. This one is steal one of each mana type. Deal one more. Deal one damage per mana you couldn't steal. Apply one stun. I think the bomb on the board's pretty cool. So I guess this is like, I need five in this meter and then like three and three in these meters to like, like do those things. And then salary, I guess I get money for each one too. Um, get money based on your performance and then the enemy you just beat, you can only spend during your breaks and they will be lost at the end of your runs. And then you automatically heal after bosses. And in between, I forgot how you heal. They probably did tell me, but I kind of forgot. Solid tutorialization, I tend to like gloss over a lot of these because it's just hard for me to like absorb information when it's just like a bunch of text boxes, but I feel like it's fairly like straightforward. So not too bad. Um, oh, and I forgot the name of this game because I didn't write it down, but I'll write it down after this and then we'll have one more game to close out. Um, I'll do the next enemy oh my god he's adorable this is so sad pizza party will be canceled this year it was just too unprofitable oh yeah i'm an evil boss which is uh hilarious like i'm an asshole boss mail delivery please ignore the drill on the envelope um like the characters are really fun okay let's see um what do I want to do first? I guess just this because... Hmm. Oh, you damn, you bitch. Hey, thanks for the follow! <laughs> Um, I'm not doing damage to him yet, though. I'm not sure how, like, the bombs will, like, work, but... Um, let's see, let's see. I guess it's this one. Oh, does, so does that hurt me? So, like, I have to maybe set them on stuff that I'm gonna trigger? I don't know. Oh, this worked out. That worked out. That worked out, though. Okay. So it's a little dangerous, it seems, but... Oh, fi hopefully I can use this, finally. No, he gets another turn. Don't, you, don't take my thing. Damn it, but now it's I can't do them anymore. Um, I'm not that good at it, you know, but is there a standout next best thing from tonight? Um, I do like that uh, branding. It's very good. Um, I think I want to save my full recap for the end, but ooh, honestly, it it is a little flawed. So not gonna, but rusted moss, I think was kind of my sleeper hit. Um, that one I think you might have missed. Um. But it was like, it's like this, well, we'll kind of look over them at the end. So if you're sticking around, you'll be able to see that. And if not, you can, you know, scrub through the VOD at the end. Um, yeah, then I have my, my snarky comet that deals one damage. Oh my god, finally, please. You little jerk. Good, now he's dead. Or I popped in briefly. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Choose a column to destroy and deal one. Grab it. Choose a line to destroy and deal one angle information. 
Base version of an enemy skill of your choice. Um, choose a line to destroy and deal one damage per anger orb destroyed. I think these are the anger ones, right? One match gain on random mana. I guess I'll do the healing. This is some kind of weak. Um, floor manager. I think this, this might be the boss. Yeah, I think this is a manager. With only $9.7 in benefit last year, heating is a luxury we simply can't afford. <laughs> it's so bad. Grr, wait, you got treats? We're cool, dude, we're cool. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> oh, man. You hate to see it. Um, you see it often, too. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, perfect. I oh, oh no, the damn he got his damn match four. Oh, you bitch! He fucking took the shit I want to use. Okay. Um. I've yet to get a match four, which is kind of disheartening. Okay, finally. Or maybe I got like one match four, but uh, I actually don't think I got a match four. Okay, boom. Then so I can build up these like abilities and stuff, like these moves. So now create two, uh, I don't know if I wanna make the bombs on the board though. I guess I'll try it. Man, I feel like the bombs never work for me. Okay, and it's like more for each like anger one I do. Okay, that was that was really useful actually. Um, okay. Damn, he's on a roll. Oh my god. Why is he so strong? Got him. Got him. Yeah, it does definitely have some of that energy. Foam blaster, transform one. Yeah, that's cool. That's useful. Character trait. Perfectionist, if you have the exact amount of mana of the type required for a skill, its base is double damage. Use, uh, apply on skill use. Oh yeah, I like that trait a lot. Oh, so that wasn't a boss, it's like a mini boss, I guess. Um, and then you can take a break to spend your money, but like you can't take money between floors, I don't think. Um, yeah, this was cool, I like this. Um, let's go to main mid. It was honestly a lot deeper than I kind of expected it to be. 
so the name's kind of funky. Um, it's like, what is it? It's Match Our Internship. Match Our Internship. Um, yeah, I guess it's like, like kind of like Tinder, I think. Match Her, like Tinder, like, I'm not sure. All right, y'all. Um, as the final demo, um, I want to go for one that I, I think I'm going to enjoy and one that's pretty chill. It is, oh, let's see if I remember the name of it here. It's like the My Dream Setup demo. This game looks so fun. Thanks for the follow. Um, and then we'll do like a, a recap of everything that we've done as well. So stay tuned for this and that. Okay, let me go ahead and plug in my controller. Oh. Okay. Oh, not my controller, my mouse, my gaming mouse. Full game review of February 20th. Oh, that's cool. It's really loud though. My brain them Let's bring everything down a bit. I do like the uh, music though. The music is chill. I feel like it's not like getting quieter. Okay, there goes. It is getting quieter. Okay, um. I don't know if there's like a campaign at all or if it really is just like. So not all of it's in the demo, fair. Okay, let me put my timer so I don't live in here. All right. Uh, let me also tweet out the stream again. So yeah, let me just post that real quick. Okay, eight hours and 25 demos later, we are on our last game. Come through to say hey and to get today's gaming recap of everything we played slash game analysis hashtag steam next fest um I think I actually will run to the bathroom really quick just so that I can actually like not feel like I'm kind of rushing through stuff um, so let me test the BRB screen real fast and then we'll, uh, get going on this. Um,
All right, uh, here we are back again with the final game. My dream setup, kind of just a, a little sim moment here. And not all the uh, customization options are available right now, but we can probably get at least a pretty decent, the question is what's the best desk? I actually don't like too much storage with my desk because I find that I'll just fill the drawers with garbage and they'll just always be kind of messy and they also get in the way of like hmm actually this way the lighting is always like kind of messed up is there a way to change where the window is? Maybe not. You can at least change this color. Ooh, I like that you can, like, it's like a full color selector. Actually, I kind of do like my wooden, the wooden color of my desk. Maybe I'll pick it just a different one. Oh, well, they, some of these are just not in here, so... Uh, I guess white is good. White is actually good. Well, unless, what if I make it not work-based? What if it's just like a chill room? That would be nice. These are nice. That has potential. This is like all computer stuff. What is this? Oh, this is just like, oh, it's so cute. Look, it's just a little mouse, a little gaming mouse. That's adorable. Okay, let's see what else we have here. I like, we're just gonna start with like stuff that we like. Hold on. Can I like, yep. Let's just put random stuff that we like and then see how it goes. Here's a Smash Bros. music. This room is only so big, so... Oh, can you change the... Oh. I didn't realize you could do that. Blueprint mode. Can I make it bigger? Oh, now it like kind of, okay. I'm trying to see how to like put the window back. I just go back to what I had. Oh. Okay, okay. I guess we'll have just like a lot of natural light. I don't know. Maybe it's too much. I don't need this last one. Probably don't need this last one. Hold on. Oops. <gasps> no. It's not too hard to fix it up. Yeah, and iPad's great. And iPad does great work. All right. Ooh. 
I do kind of like this. I was gonna pick stuff that I like, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> these, these beds are cute. This plant's cute. Um. I do like this picture. Oh, I like the little spider. Oh my god, the Kratos! Oh, look at him. Hold on, look at this guy. Oh, we'll, look, we'll look at him later when I have time to zoom in. That's adorable. Kratos is here. It really is the dream setup. Okay. I do kind of fuck with the vending machine. Oh my god, the little dance machine, so cool. Oh, co nice. They got the little, they got the little neon bars. I don't know what they're intended for, maybe the sides of desks? Probably the sides of desks. Um... I might be able to recreate my room, but my room's not my dream setup. <laughs> um, it will be one day. Not not today's not one of those days, but I do like what we've been able to do with it. Ooh, I would like the store instead. Yeah, I came I came to this game to escape, so. <laughs> um, Some headphones, some speakers. So I think what I'm making here right now is just like, this is just my for fun room. Oops. Like, it's a little doofy, it's a little tacky, you know? It's like, we're just having fun. I guess we could be more in the back corner. So it's not as invasive. Q and E to rotate. Music fits the vibe so well. Yeah, they did a nice job with it. And I kind of would picture like actually having a part of this be like you're chilling by the window kind of thing. Like, like half silly bro room, half like chilling. I think we obviously need to like, can you copy elements? That would be nice. Oh yeah, control C, no control V to duplicate. Oh. I hit control plus V to do. I, oh well, I don't know. I guess I just couldn't figure it out. I can just grab the same one, it's fine. Yeah, my bro room, yeah. Well, this is like half of a bro room, half of a chill space. What game is this? This is uh, my, it's called My Dream Setup. And to my knowledge, it's kind of just like, oh, not really a campaign, just free range to just 
use the uh, elements and just make a little setup for yourself. Oh, oops. Oh, I guess I ended up like, I didn't realize I was putting this, putting it there. I don't really know the optimal spot for these speakers, so I'm being honest. I guess, really, what I would have is, like, I probably would have these kind of, like, over here. And then we'd maybe have, like, speakers on each side kind of thing. Again, there were elements of this in my actual room. This kind of thing. Oh man, we can do. I think that little table was pretty good. I love a little. I love a good side table. And I can see people open the door, so I don't get scared, hopefully. I mean, I guess it's fine there. These are both pretty big items, so it's like, okay. So cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly grab these and put them there, and then we'll zoom into them. A lot of coffee would be there. Okay, so is this the game music? It's straight fire. Yeah, yeah, this is game music. I wish they had more tracks, but yeah, look at this. This is so cute. Is this not adorable? Oops. Sorry, some of the rotation stuff gets a little, gets a little wonky. It's like a more little like figurine things. like cute stuff. I have a couple books. And they have like other little characters, but they only have a couple in this demo. I guess I would probably actually like put these like at the bottom because they'd be heavy. I'd probably like I don't know if I'd have two piles that are this like messy though. At least not in my in my dream setup. In real life, yeah, definitely. Oh, look look at these guys hold on wait look at them look the little, little buddies yeah still alive uh, last game uh, this is my dream setup it is really cute um, I'm enjoying it they unlock more um, I did a viewing and an on reviewing of uh, last of us oh, no spoilers <laughs> one of the rare times that I haven't actually watched it the second it came out uh, just because it has that weird Friday early release date situation going on uh, but I'm gonna watch it after this so it should be fun 
You know, I think I'd want to flip these. Maybe, like, have the plant more on the side. But I feel like that feels very closed in, though, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of stressful. Um, okay, let's see. But yeah, this is our grand finale. Um, it has, like, quite a bit of uh, items. And I've seen, like, you know, people have made some pretty cool rooms. Um, are you serious? Hold on, I have to look. Is he actually? Or are you just, like, joking that he'd be playing the same game? Because I think I follow Snowbug Mike. Like, I don't see him on my Twitch page. Oh, no, he is there. I guess I don't follow him. That's so funny. I have to tell him that. His setup looks way better than mine. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, I see him there now. He, I think he's frozen for me for some reason. Maybe he had some issues. There he goes. Oh my god, he's adorable. I love him. Um, that's so funny that he's playing the same game. I have no idea what he's saying because I can't hear him, but I did tell him that that happened. That's so funny. We both put the... <laughs> now I'm watching his stream. Um, he's talking, but uh, camera is blah. He said, what do you think of his vending machine? And he's shouting you out. It is funny because we both have the vending machine. We're gonna have to raid him um, after this. What's up, Luda? Um, we're gonna have to give Mike a raid. He's only been live for an hour, so I think he will um, still be live when we are done with this. But how'd you make your room bigger? Um, so you can go into this icon in the upper left corner that says, it looks kind of like a blueprint and it's like blueprint mode. Um, thanks for all the follows, uh, especially if you're from uh, Mike's chat, because I hope we were just talking about so I might can give him a shout out and he did the same. So yeah, and then you just take the pencil and you like draw the lines and like the room can be pretty big. I didn't make it max, I probably should have, but also like I'm kind of struggling to fill the space. So, uh, oh, y'all are, are real nice. Um... That's so funny. Um, <laughs> he's so funny. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but he's so funny. Okay. Mike has more charisma muted than a lot of people have with their mic on, which is pretty fucking crazy. He has the wrist. Um, I. I don't want to comment on that, uh, to be honest, but Mike's cool. I fuck with Mike. Um, I know he had to put the racing wheel in the room. Yeah, but Riz is a little more like romance based, you know? Mm, Riz is more like romance based. He said Jack gets it. <laughs> I appreciate y'all just telling me what he's saying because like, I have no way of knowing at this point. Um, yeah, man. Okay, I definitely don't want this to be... Actually, I, I want to delete this. I hate this. This is not my dream setup. Ew, this is ugly, though. <clears throat> no. This is less ugly, but maybe still not, right? Ooh, green screen mat. I actually like... Uh, maybe I'll go back to the circle mat. I actually like... Like a fake grass. 
kind of color. Like I think that's what I'm gonna have in like my office space. When I eventually get one, well my home office, like when I finally don't have my desk in my bedroom. Like I love that fake grass feeling. Like it's so cool. You can like buy them at Home Depot, like those indoor grass mat things. I feel like it's gonna be kind of weird to people, but I don't fucking care because fucking fake gra indoor grass is elite. Um, so there you go. Ooh, they have some real cute. <gasps> oh, they let you do an accent wall. That's that's really cool. That's really cute. Let's just do a quick accent wall on this wall. Oops. This is really cute. Yeah, I would play this more um, after it comes out, especially if you can make like connected rooms. I don't know if you can make multiple rooms and like save a bunch of rooms. Ooh, you can change the time of day. That's really cool. This is so cute. Hey, I'm back. What's up, Dark Haze? Good to see you, man. Okay. It's not even the full room. I guess we might as well, like, try to fill the room a little bit. I think, how do I get out of this photo mode? Do I just hit escape? Or oh, I can just hit play again. Since not everything is available, it's like, okay, well, there's a couple things I can't fully do. I guess this is fine. I guess this is good. I do want to change the door color and I can't seem to do that. Um, but yeah, full game will be available on February 20th. I don't know if they're going to like continue adding items or if they have like, you know, like how that functions or like, I guess we can look at the store. I don't know if they have like a price in mind for what's going to cost. Probably not because they haven't listed it yet, but um, this was really cute. I enjoyed this. Uh, let's go back. Let's exit. Um, and let's finally um, go ahead and do our recap uh, before we close things out. Let's see. Let's see. Um, also, before I do the recap, just because to get the info out there, um, I will not be streaming on Tuesday. Normally, I stream Tuesdays and Fridays with potential of bonus streams tossed in the middle. Uh, I will not be streaming Tuesday because I will be off um, for Valentine's Day. I'll be hanging out with Isaiah. I don't know if I'll pick up an extra stream on like Monday to make up for it or like one on Wednesday because I do really, 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 really want to be Yakuza Like a Dragon. And that probably means we're going to do another like really long stream because I just need to get that game finished so I can be ready to play the next Yakuza game that's coming out later this month like I got that's like my big um motivation to finish it um so stay tuned on that you know follow me on my channels um follow here put notifications on patreon I put my schedule up um if for as low as a dollar you can get my weekly schedule with all my info and all that um so yeah, stay tuned about that. Um, before we close out, I do want to go through the, all the games that we played because we played a lot of them. Um, I will probably, or what I would like to do is make a more standalone, you know, YouTube video, series of TikToks, things like that. 
that highlights some of these games, maybe do some articles on it. So I do have plans to do other content with this because this was a lot of work and I want that work to get the most use that it can. Um, but let's take a quick look at, yeah, like a two, you know, some, some kind of more easily consumable content. But let's take a quick look at some of these games. Um, I guess I'll just go through them and just say what they are rather than do something more detailed just for sake of time. So the first game we, I guess, so I'll just start with my top games. Uh, Planet of Lana, Shumi Come Home, Super Raft Boat Together, Mr. Saito, Unmerk, give me a second, Scene Investigator, Mr. Sun's Hatbox, Tower Full of Cats, Rusted Moss, um, mm, Light Yes to Fall of Porcupine Last Days of Summer, Match R, Internship, and um you know light shout out to this game the my dream setup because I, I do think my dream setup like i don't know for sure that i'm gonna go back and play that game but i think it's a really enjoyable experience so i want to like give that a shout out even though it's not like moving heaven and earth for me um we played a lot of games today we played 25 games today um did take a little longer than i intended to probably like an hour more than i had planned um pico didn't hit we are kind of go in order of what i played pico did not hit this is a game where you're like making tea and for like different animals the animals kind of look creepy to me and the controls were kind of unintuitive the general process of making tea was not appealing to me in this demo so that's an l for me i will say i've been looking forward to this game for a long time so you might still see me fuck around and play the final build because maybe they'll kind of get together but based on the demo alone no do not recommend then we played uh planet of lana this game was awesome i didn't play the full demo but i did play um like you know 15 25 minutes of it um has a bit of that inside limbo puzzle design vibes and you have like a cute little companion and i like that aspect a lot too the art is very pretty it's kind of like you're inside of like a, a nice painting the flying witch game to hit either i no, it did not um spoilers for later <laughs> um well that wasn't wasn't nearly as bad though so that's dope. Uh, then we played Shumi Come Home. I was nervous that this wouldn't control well. I thought it controlled really well. Definitely giving, invoking the uh, short hike little gator game. I don't know if it'll hit those highs because I think those are like borderline, if not for sure, like five out of five games in my book. Um, but it has a chance. And I really enjoy this kind of games. Like I think if you're like me and you just love that kind of setup where you're like going around the area and you can uh, you have your glider and you can kind of climb. Like I loved that game. Had a great time with it. Um, Super Raft Boat Together was the next one that I played. I have to find it here to at least point to it for y'all. It might take me a while. Maybe I didn't wish list it. It should be in here. Um, give, give me a couple seconds to see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Super Raft Boat Together. This is a... Um, like a wave-based... Okay, so you you and up to three other people, I believe, um, can be on a raft, and you are fighting waves and waves of enemies. It I don't know if it counts as rogue. Roguelite is one of the labels, so sure. Top-down perspective um you have different every character has like two different guns you can choose from you're also crafting the raft that you are standing on and enemies can destroy that raft so over time you gain crafting materials automatically it's like okay you can craft five pieces oh five more and you're kind of as a push and pull between fighting and crafting well and from pretty much all these games i have like critiques of but i'm kind of only gonna hide the critiques when the takeaway was more negative generally this game was really fun i would love to see this hit game pass i would love to see this hit ps plus because i could see them really like getting a boom in player base and just having a really good time with it um the power-ups you get in the waves themselves have some roguelike similarities yeah um so that's kind of that element of it but i don't think you unlock persistent progression either which is probably why it's a light and not a like i don't know um but yeah that was really fun i had a good time for it Cl like classic multiplayer fun Next, we played Town Seeker, and um, I wish I had these all more easily pulled up. Um, this game, it's funny because when I picked it, I'm like, I love the art, but I don't really get the gameplay. And having played it, I still barely get the gameplay. It feels like you are very much just going from place to place, clicking to trade, clicking to buy. Sure, there's some dialogue, but 
frankly, in this demo, I did not feel compelled to play more. The art is very striking, and I could see someone enjoying the quaintness of it, but it wasn't for me. Uh, Bionic Bay was the next one. This is a platformer with, um, it's kind of like sold as its funky shtick being you swapping, I think, with different objects. But overall, this was a big pass for me. Um, I just feel like it did not... Um, oh man, I'm sad in place because the developers have been telling me to play there to try, give it a try. Um, and it did seem actually pretty good. I did pick it genuinely, but I just didn't have time to get to it. We'll see uh, what the future holds. But what am I looking for? That game, that game. Yeah, Bionic Bay. Uh, it just wasn't good. Dungeon Drafters is the next one I played, and I'm trying to show you guys these but I don't always have them. They're in like a funky order. Here it is. Dungeon Drafters. This is a uh, dungeon tactical RPG. Well, let me try to simplify it. It is a pixel, like classic dungeon crawler, um, turn-based tactics game, but you also have cards for powers a little bit. Kind of think, uh, you know, Play Forward called it indie Marvel's Midnight Suns. Not the perfect one-to-one, -one, but kind of does start to paint that picture of what it is. Um, I think it's a lot more exploratory than Marvel's Midnight Suns, as Marvel's Midnight Suns is kind of just like you're dropped into like an arena, you know, versus here you're going through like an actual area. It was really cool. I think the animations were really charming. I enjoyed the combat, even though I ended up dying. I like that one a lot. Uh, Mr. Saito was a very funky story game. Um, this is kind of on the... I'm not as hot on this one, but like low-key I fuck with it, even though it like wasn't... It wasn't a banger, but I kind of liked it. Um, there was something really charming about it, even though it was very strange. Uh, Unmerk was a puzzle game where you are rotating, like, empty... It's like a 3D, like... It's a 3D puzzle, basically. And uh, you're rotating the thing instead of rotating the pieces. And it was really cool. And it has, like, kind of a voxel art style to it again unfortunately i cannot find all of these because maybe i didn't what oh here i finally found bionic bay which doesn't matter because it's not a good game but i just still want to show you guys it um yeah i don't know where un Merc is right now um then we played accelerate to the tropics this game uh was not good it was really just like oh chill party game vibes but since it's single player i was like uh, i don't really care for it you're trying to balance an egg on a bike and it just didn't hit this was it excellent to the tropics nah pass slope crashers hard pass uh it did not control well amazing premise i always love these racing games but like man it didn't work and that sucks because i wanted it to be good and it wasn't uh i did not delete some but but then i'd have to like click on each one so it's like, ah, uh, I'd rather just kind of scroll and struggle than have to, like, keep clicking in and out. Uh, Micah, the Witch's Mountain, the Witch's Mountain, uh, this was, like, almost good to me. I didn't like how the, f the flying was, like, with the broom. I would be willing to come back for the full build because maybe they will improve that over time. But, yeah, I found the flying with the broom to not be good. That's my beef. Uh, last case of Benedict Fox been into this since e3 was really shocked with the gameplay it wasn't like anything i expected yeah it was in, it's an action roguelike and it's like kind of metroidvania like i guess and then there's like this demon speaking to you and the combat doesn't feel good like i just if i didn't know anything about this game i would be like oh no hard pass i guess i'll still play it because i was originally excited for it but like i really did not like this demo and i was kind of shocked by that mm -hmm. uh, then we played scene investigator uh that's this game kind of simple but frankly i still didn't get the answer right so maybe it was harder than i thought um i like this you're kind of just going around a area clicking on stuff and trying to get info on this crime that took place mr sun's hat box is mm, where is that at mr sun's hat box ah uh, this is kind of like a um oh here we go multiplayer it has multiplayer co-op functionality but you can play it on your own uh it's kind of like a goofy vertical cop okay so <laughs> it's like a lot you are moving up an area that's predominantly vertical you're fighting enemies along the way you can like shoot them you can attack them you have different hats that have different powers and you're kind of building this little uh army for lack of a better term of guys to like help you try to get mr hat sunbox Mr. Sun's hat box back. Um, 
And in a sense, it kind of has like some light Fall Cry shelter vibes. Not nearly a one to one, but just kind of like the the way you look at like the the not dungeon, but like the base that you build out where you can like heal up people and stuff. Not nearly as deep as that on that element, but it's kind of like a genre mess up in a way. It was cool. It was all right. It was solid. Um, then uh, Tower Full of Cats. This is great. It's a um, I Spy game where it's cats throughout history. Very solid. I've played better versions of this, but I enjoy it. I think it's good. I would continue playing it. Then we had um, Rusted Moss. That shit hit. It was low key fire. A little hard to control in some parts, but that might be because I was using mouse and keyboard because they said we recommend mouse and keyboard. And then I realized they did have controller functionality. And I was like, why the fuck was I not playing this with the controller? It's so much better with the controller. Um, Metroidvania, the, the art for the female protagonist is incredible. It's a platformer. You have a grappling hook that's also kind of a bungee cord and it it fucking rocks. I really like this game. This is probably, you know, Eddie asked me a little while ago, like, what's my favorite? Like, what's the next best thing from uh, Steam Next Fest? And honestly, low key, it kind of might be this. Like, I don't know if it'd be like the best game because like, I'm, I'm just not sure if it has like quite the sauce, but I really love this game. It's the game that I'm most excited to get back to. If I could get any game to be fully done in my hands, ready to play right now, I think it would be Rusted Moss. And I think that's why it's my pick for next best thing. Um, Ralligator, uh, just didn't really care for it. It's cute, but it's a little harder than I want it to be for something that's so like cute and chill. Um, then we had Looking Up what the fuck is it called here goes looking up i see only the ceiling moody vertical uh point and click spooky but it gave me so little that i honestly you could just look at the pictures and that's like the same as getting playing the demo because they don't let you play very much and it's probably because it's a really short game but for that reason the demo didn't hit well but like look at the art and like if you care about that wish list it um oh my god what is this it's a way what is this it's a wrap. This is cool and interesting, but I just didn't want to do it. So <laughs> you are going from left to right, kind of like a, it's a platformer, but you like are editing the video. It's like a movie set and you edit the video of like what happens with the objects and then you have to run through it as the character. It's a cool, funky premise and it's not bad at all. It's just like, I just didn't want to do it. I like, I like did one level and I was like, I don't want to do this. Maybe it's because late at night that I'm like just more tired, but I was like not into it. Uh, match our internship now hi match are now hiring or match our internship i don't know match three rogue like slash light arcade game it's Love a it. rap it's a rap it's a next fest demo <laughs> from the top make it drop it's a steam fest demo um i wasn't sure if that's where you're going with it's a rap i thought it was gonna be a more reference but yes um match are now hiring uh, it's a match three puzzle game and i think it's a good one so that's like the easiest sell on that one i like that game i recommend it that was like a game I liked from this collection. And then my dream setup we just saw. Uh, it's cute. It's enjoyable. It's like something to to do and like relax to and have some fun with. Um, but yeah, that's Steam Next Fest. I will at some point do some form of additional content with all of this because it is too much work not to you get more use out of it. And obviously not all of you guys are going to watch this entire stream. So I do want to um, do some more stuff with this. And maybe it'll be small and it will just be me like sitting down on TikTok, highlighting one, five, ten games. I don't know. Um, maybe it'll be more involved and be a full YouTube video. Maybe it'll be both. Um, but next week, next week is kind of packed for me. This month, I would say, you'll see some extra content about, like, games to look out for. And unfortunately, like, these demos are only available for until, like, Monday or something, like Sunday or Monday. So you don't have a lot of time to play them yourselves, but um, those are my favorites. That was my experience if you were, you know, here for the entire the stream or some of the streams. So there you go, y'all. Um, lots of fun stuff. Well, do you want to do Snow Mike Mike or Kim Chica? Because Kim Chica is, I was going to raid Mike for the vibes, but Kim Chica is doing more demos and she's raising money for charity. So I think we're actually going with Kim Chica. Uh, but we have Mike in the rotation now that I'm finally following him because apparently I wasn't. Um, and a couple things. We're going to do our goodbyes. I'm going to do the raid. Please stay here. I know it's tempting to leave. I know we're done, but say hey to Kim Chica if you have the ability to do so. 
just say hello that's all say raid asses when you get there spam the tier one emotes uh if you have them you also get channel points for it um and right before we do that i do want to remind you that um i want to say thanks to all y'all watching following subbing moderating and of course my sponsors over on patreon you too can join over on patreon.com slash game analysis with rewards as low as a dollar all the way up to the 25 dollar tier like my sponsors who am i talking about you may wonder where their names are appearing right here on screen we're talking about biscuits with davy edwin garcia ian dobbins Kevin Fair, Nina McKee, Mick, aka the nanobiologist Abram's son, talking about people like Platform Fanatic, Play Jason, Railton, and Spencer Icasiano. So if you want your name said at the end of each and every stream, and uh, you know, you get other cool stuff like the letters and the early access and the schedule and updates on all my stuff and a bunch of posts, go join. $1, $25. Hundred dollars, you know, whatever you feel in your in your heart and your spirit and your soul. Um, ooh, let's hold here for just a few more seconds because uh, she just cut up and walked away from stream. But I think she'll be back here in like a second, and maybe she's bringing a cat. People are saying beans in the chat, so it might be super worth sticking around for. <laughs> so um, hang tight, y'all, and then we'll go ahead and do that raid uh, after uh, best of twenty twenty three watch, which has been Seam Next Fest. <laughs> 